Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard the Dick Coughlin, aka Brother Neuro, but for the purposes of this podcast, I am the titular Dick Man. And I will be joined by a guest I'll be bringing on later, but I just wanted to welcome you to this is going to be, um, hopefully this will be a new podcast. Um, I say hopefully because... Um, those of you who remember my last one, the Left Wing Propaganda podcast, this is going to be uh, pretty much. This is going to be something a bit different from that. It's going to be something me trying going down a, a slightly different avenue, and uh, and doing so in a different way that I've, I've never done before. Um, but uh, but also this is going to be a sort of uh, the the first few episodes of this. They're probably just going to be on YouTube. We're going to be it's going to be trying some stuff out, uh, and we'll be feeling our way around, see what you know, see what we can grab hold of. And uh, whatever works, whatever fits. So this may evolve, but I want you to please enjoy and uh, and uh, and for, enjoy it for what it is, and offer us whatever reasonable criticism you can in the comment section. I know you'll do me well on that one. But so, welcome to the podcast. It's called Dick Man: The Adventures of Dick Man and They Hulk. And uh, in this podcast, the effect essentially the idea is this and it it centers around uh myself um and my co-host uh, go, uh basically uh responding to things that have been written and said by complete and utter nutters now some of you are probably sat there now who are familiar with my other stuff and going whoa rich that 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 sounds if i'm being honest not too much of a radical shift from literally everything you've ever done for the last 12 and a bit years. And that is, that might be the case, but uh, I'm using a source that I, and this is a sort, this is a source, this is a sort of a, a resource of, uh, of information that I've never seen anybody else utilize fully to its extent. And I think it's about time we, we did this. So, and I just, I'm, I just don't think there's a, I think there's enough people out there who are just sit there, sitting there, pontificating and sounding off about shit that's in the news. You don't need me anymore to tell you what's going on and that we're fucked. This is, you don't need me to do that. So I figure we can, we can do the same thing, focus on the same issues, but we can do so in a much more interesting way. Now, in, now what I'm going to be using is a resource, uh, a website that, you know, that if you're not familiar with it, it's called Scribed. I think that's how you pronounce it. Scribed. It's uh, C uh, S C R I B D. No E dot com. Now, Scribed is basically um, what you know what YouTube is to videos and what SoundCloud is to music. Um, basically, uh, Scribed is for text documents, and people can go there. You can open an account and you can upload any text document that you want, that you've written, or one that someone else has written. There's apparently no issues with copyright because there's loads of shit on there that you can download. Loads of books you can get that, you can get that uh, I'm sure the authors are very happy with, but there seems to be no issue. And I discovered it many years ago. And, uh, it, you know, I have to, you have to, there's a monthly subscription, but you realise that there's a certain type of, see, there are nutters that make videos, and there are nutters you find on Twitter and nutters who write blogs. But Scribed is reserved for that slightly more unique nutter, the one who's a little bit scary, because they're the, these are the sort of guys who write manifestos. Right? And I think if there's one thing that we've always learned from mass shootings in America, it's that the first rule of gun control, the first gun control law should be any man who has written a manifesto, who is not a member of a political party, just an individual, needs to have his gun taken off him. And so what I'm going to be doing is going through each episode, the plan is this, uh, me, and my, me, and, uh, me and my co-host will be taking, uh, there'll be a theme I will have searched for, and if you want to come up with any, any ideas, if you want to come up with a theme or suggest something we type into the search bar, uh, but for this one, we're going to be looking at a specific type, and we're going to go through... Basically, just read these things, and I, and I want you to make it clear: these are not, you know, these are not things that I've written. I'll link everything below. These are not things that I have written. These are not jokes. These are not. Th these are actual things that real human beings, adults who are the same species as you, have written. But before we do that, I need to introduce you 
to my co-host, because if you're listening to this now, you already know me. Um, but you certainly, the, the odds are you almost certainly do not um, know uh, my co-host, who will, who is known, in, who, again, titular uh, They Hulk. We will explain later. Would you please welcome, standing, you know, stand up and applaud wherever you are, and please welcome to the podcast, Danny. Let's go, woo! Here woo. I am. Hello, everybody. Here I am. Now, now, Danny, I will leave links to all of Danny's stuff below, specifically her YouTube channel, which if you're subscribed to me, you definitely want to subscribe to her. Because if you guys who are subscribed to me, if you guys think that I am a frustrating, procrastinating bastard <laughs> who takes just far too long to come up with a, come out with a video that he should have released six weeks previously, and just Dilly's that she, she's she you know, nothing. She's got nothing on. Yeah, you know, I've got nothing on her. <laughs> she's much very much the next evolution. So, so Danny, this is going to be the first. So this potentially, if you don't get your video up before this this one, this could be the first thing ever of you on like YouTube. And the it internet. could be, yeah, it, it definitely mm. could be. Uh, I guess yeah. that's a pressure. <laughs> The other great thing about subscribing to Danny is like, un, is like, whereas if you follow me, you know, I've got seventeen of each social media account. Well, she's already got them, right? <laughs> so she's so so you could have like, you know, there are people who could max out their fucking, you know, their their followers or friends list just on up with the accounts that we've got. Yeah, right? my now, only so, friends are my alt accounts. Actually, I'm, I'm a fraud. <laughs> I had I had a I had I had a guy the other I had a guy the other day. A couple of this a couple of months ago, and uh, he was like, he said to me, he said, I think I'm one of the few people who on Facebook who fo- who is friends with all six Dick Coughlin accounts, and I'm like, I've only got five, mate. I've I've only got <laughs> five, mate. So, so like he's gone and friended some geezer called Dick Coughlin, who he just thinks is. I'm like, Ooh. not everyone. There's gonna be there's gonna be other Richard Coughlins. On he's there, got more you know, of you than you do. Hmm. Exactly, and I thought, well, and I thought, well, maybe, <laughs> but then I started like I start having an existential crisis. I'm like, well, what if I'm the fake one and he's the oh, real no. one? What if, like, how do we fucking deal with that? But anyway, That's so we need, But what we need here, what we need to do now is we need to sort of introduce that. And why is Danny here? Why have I done something? I, you know, I've been doing this for twelve years. I've done a hundred million hours of, of live streams, some of which have been over, you know, 24 hours long. I've done loads of podcasts, loads of videos, and I almost never, ever do it with a co-host. And the reason for that is I am very bad when it comes to letting other people speak. It's, I've never <laughs> seen the point. I've never, this is, but in my defense, it's not a malicious thing. I know what I want to say. And I, that's it to me. And I'm like, yeah. why do why why do you know other people can? They're allowed to talk and have their point of view. But I just like this is why. But in my defence, this is why I don't work with people because I know that I can't sort of I can't really do do that. This is why I do stand up. Stand up comedy is me. I go into a room. There's there's fifty people sat there who I don't know in pitch dark. I don't know. I can't see them. I, I can only hear. They listen to me for an hour. They react and then they give me money and fuck off. And at no point is there any need for them to sort of chip in. So, like, I did do, I, I did do a, a one of the few live streams I've done with someone uh, was a few, it was a few years ago. I was on a, a ContraPoints live stream. Now, ContraPoints has known me since, like, since you know, since the you know, in the, since the early days, since the before times. <laughs> uh, she's known me so and and so and and i t- i show up to um we we get on the live stream it's not it's not broadcasting yet and and she and uh she's like but she's like really sort of like um seems a bit fidgety and that i'm like you okay and she said yeah i've just uh, ate like a whole packet of caffeine pills like which is what <laughs> she had to do she felt she had to do that to sort of deal with me Take as a, like a, for, <laughs> yes so one of the things you're gonna have to do is sort of learn to sort of like force yourself into uh, a, the, the conversation, right? Is it, uh, Interjection. The, yes, you know, you're just gonna have to. You're gonna have to be. You know, the, you're gonna have to be the dom and just be like, shut oh, up, you know, shut right. up, you know. Yeah, I'll practice. <laughs> I got a funny feeling you don't need that much anyway. So, <laughs> but we all, but why is Danny here? Well, the reason I asked Danny is like, first of all, she's you know, 
first of all, she's she's very she's brilliant, right? She's a brilliant artist. She's you know she's very funny. She's oh. very intelligent. She's switched on. She's got wonderful. I love her hair. She's <laughs> very bright, bright colours. Uh, every I, and I and I love all that. I think I think that's how we started talking, wasn't it? I I drew a picture of you, wasn't it? Like this is yeah. Our, well, and I've done. To be honest, I, it's a good job that you, you know you 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 know you're a bit weird because I've drawn the amount of pictures I drew of you. <laughs> like it's the kind of thing like people would be like, I'm starting to get worried now. Like he's probably got this is like one hour photo like yeah. sort of thing. You know, like this is like. <laughs> well, I mean, I post enough photos of myself that. Yeah, you do. I mean, you, you. To be fair, you do. I mean, that's the thing. You post like a fucking. You know, this you've never met a. You have never met a selfie. You didn't think you need thirty eight different versions of. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not even fully convinced that you don't have a twin sister because all of your pictures you upload two in one go because there's so, so many. But mm-hmm. the other the other reason that now, Danny, if you could please tell them like basically a bit about yourself, you know, your, personally in terms of like how you contrast. To me, so like I'm 41. Right. I'm a I'm a cisgendered white heterosexual male privileged bingo. Mm-hmm. I won. Right. So and uh, and you all know the bits and pe- you know my um, political <laughs> leanings. But Danny, if you would please. Yeah. Give so your, I'm a, give uh, your vitals. <laughs> Here's the stats. I am a 28 year old. So I'm a millennial uh, non-binary agender. Mm person but i do use she and they Mm -hmm. pronouns so either one is fine um that's why they hulk is that's kind of what the name is about like there's already a she hulk there's already a hulk that's why why it's clever that's why it's clever you see because it's not like she hulk but uh i'm not i'm not actually green and super strong but the hair is green uh so i like that part you got green hair i'm missing another yeah (laughs) let's see oh yeah pansexual which is kind of like right. bi essentially i mean she, i mean at this point i thought i think you're just taking the piss because this is a point where i start to even to make notes yeah stuff. yeah you it's know, like the trading cards i don't even know what a lot of these things mean and i don't want to learn because i just want to <laughs> be i you know i figured like i just don't need to know because like these are people that you know it's like I'm, I'm you're a pansexual i've known I've known like two pansexuals in yeah. my entire life, like a you and another one, right? right. And, that, and that's and that's it. And but it's like it's like with transgender people, and this is totally true. And this is how this is what will happen. And this will happen to you when you're my age, right? This is like, you know, I, I, when the whole when the whole sort of like the whole sort of rise of the, you know uh, of, of the transgender rights movement. Mm-hmm. It's it's been it's been wonderful, but the problem is is for me it's like it's very it can be kind of confusing because oh, yeah. you've got a whole. Because you know, I'm at a, I'm 41. Like I'm 40 years old. You know, I'm, this is a new thing for me to learn. And you know, when I uh, the, the generation above me, like they always moan about all these things. Like you know, they you know you just put, they say things like, oh, there's there, you know, there seems to be more gay people than there used to be. And there's like yeah. there's not. There's just but like the thing is like they, they only had to deal with sexuality. With sexuality, you only mm-hmm. had to deal with gay people. And people one, are either generally one I mean, it's new thing too- to learn. Well, I mean, it's two really. I mean, there's gay, you know, p- people are generally either going to be, well, they're going to be gay or bisexual or straight. Most right. people, and right. if not, they're going to fall into that. I know it's on a spectrum, but like some people yeah. are so, you know, some so people are so. Ni- and bi- a bisexual pretty much encompass the same thing. Yeah, uh, I, I've I have seen people get yeah. pissed off about it, who, who get fussy about, it. and it's I'm like, like a personal, fussy. you know, preference yeah. for people. But I'm just like, but I, I just think like, does does it matter? I mean, I don't care. You know, it's like you know, I mean, I'm not. They're not going to sleep with me <laughs> if they are, or, or maybe they are, and that's in which case I right. don't really, unless I want to sleep with them back. There's no reason what they want to call themselves. They can right. call themselves, and and but and I've been on the internet. I've seen four hour documentaries about fucking people who who like fuck and mutilate animals. So, oh, uh, the, then, so yeah. someone yes. someone wanted to be a pansexual agent. I don't care what they call each other or themselves. Yeah, yeah there's, there's nothing. I've got, no, <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing to worry about uh, on that end, you know. But um, and the reason yeah, I've got Dan, uh, but this is but this is <laughs> why I brought Danny. What in. Means. But I just this is what means. this is why I brought Dan, I brought Danny in because I I thought you know it's probably a good idea because I'm getting to that age. Like I said, I'm 41 next week. I know that my Justin Bieber like good looks belie <laughs> this fact, but I am yeah. I am 40 I am 41. But uh, and, uh, and, and, and the thing is some new tricks. 
No, no, it's not a case of learning new tricks. It's like, <laughs> I want to... And, and this is not just a one-way thing. It's like, I, I know that... Because I've done it before. You know, I've, I know that I'm getting to that point where I will occasionally say something and that, that results in me uh, ha- having to put up with, you know, for three days on Twitter of just being bombarded by... by you know, smug little cunts who don't know me, but they th- they know. But I said something, you know, um, I've said something that I didn't know was a bad word. And mm. because I've got to that, because I've got to that age now, like where, like most of the bad words we use in certain, like they're, you know, I remember when being younger, when they were the real, they were just the words you used. Yeah. Um, like, you know, things like, things like, um, like, uh, you know, for, you know, a lot of the ableist slurs, mm-hmm. um, you know that we that you don't use now. I mean, you know, uh, like the spastic. Spastic is now a derogatory right. term. Or you'd call it spaz. But when I was growing up, that's what people who had, you know, a cerebral palsy. That's yeah. what they were. The, the charity it's was like called a perpetual spa- language thing. Mm. It's... But that's generally that's generally the interesting thing about slurs. Yeah. And it's true. It's true of a lot of them. Is it generally? It's just. You know, we, they, we do invent new ones. I mean, that's one thing you call. You, you know, one thing you've got to give straight white men credit for is we, <laughs> we, we, we we've got a lot of variety um but like but, but a lot of them but the most popular ones or the ones that stick are the ones that just were already there in yeah. the first place my favorite one incidentally mm-hmm. one of my favorite ones because of just how in, immensely fucked up it is is um is the is the ableist you know is you know we used to refer to people with down syndrome right. as uh, as mongoloid Oh my god! And which which is actually you know which would be a, you know uh, abbreviated to Mong now is what is what what you would hear, but I they didn't were called that. <clears throat> but this is the brilliant thing about it. This the reason the reason we called them Mongoloid is because and I don't know how they had they came to this. I don't know who bravely advanced this idea that apparently everyone had. But the reason we called them that is because there was a general consensus that people with Down syndrome looked like people from Mongolia. So oh we God. called so them. it wasn't even so not, an evolution like No. So it's not only so not only is it ableist, it's racist at the same time. Yeah. And there's the, they're my sort of favourites. When you get a double Jeez. one in there, when yeah, you get like a you know, double whammy. Yeah. I mean fortunately, I mean I don't think any Mongolian people have ever given a shit. Um I mean, because there's a you know there ain't many yeah. of them there and the, there's, there's only like forty of them in the first place. But I mean, I feel like the only time that I personally heard people use that word was, like, the people who believe in race science and, like, skull, yeah. skull-shaped type people. Yeah, they use kind the of, term mongol. Yeah, they'll use they the term try, mongoloid. They think it makes them uh, sound smarter, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, the thing is, it's not... I mean, the thing is, if, you're, if you are a Nazi, and you, I mean, it's not hard to make yourself sound smart. <clears throat> <laughs> to other people right it's quite Only listening to you is already <laughs> i mean i mean you look at people on youtube i mean there are people i mean look sargon of a card has over a million people yeah subscribe to him these are people i mean I think it's this is what I've always, no no well, this is the thing i've always said this about <laughs> i've always said this about youtube is that eventually if you're a youtuber the one thing you learn is that people might bang on about Oh, this YouTuber's terrible, and this YouTuber. I'm like, no, you got to remember the YouTubers are bad. These guys are bad, but you've got to remember the people subscribe to them mm-hmm. are people who sat there. The, you know, those that million people, they they sat there, watched Sargon of a card, and thought, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that guy uh, sounds like he's he's the man. You know, the, oh. the, the people. It's like the people who buy, like Rouge V is Rouge V. The you know the the. You know, prof- the, the, sort of tra- guy, right? the, tra- the travel writer and and the serial date rapist. rapist. Yes, he's basically he's a cross between Bill Bryson and and rape and Ted Bundy, basically. Yeah. But he writes these books, which basically teach you how to stalk and uh, you know and and manipulate force, women and force women into. Well, some of them are, are quite funny. I mean, there's yeah. like, I mean, he, he literally the guy that he, invented he, the term negging, or I don't I don't think he invented it. it. Like you, I don't. Th- I don't know if he invented it. I, do- I wouldn't want to credit him with anything. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, you read his books, and his. I mean, it's not even a strategy. I mean, you don't even need. His basic strategy is this. It's very much a case of you know the way, you know the way lions 
will in a, in a nature program they'll like sort of surround secretly the wildebeest and they'll see a straggler yep. and they'll sort of circle the straggler it works on effectively the same principle he'll see a group yeah. of women and he will single out right which of these women are most drunk and he will then basically yeah. fucking drag them uh, yeah, away the from people target because they're cowards yeah. and, and he'll want a woman away. who like knows what's happening yeah. And he'll drag them away. One of his vi- one of his books, and I can't remember which one it is. They all sort of blend into one. But in one yeah. of his books, he basically talks about how to pick up women during the day. And he talks about how if there's a sort of par- if there's a um a sort of a, a, a green area like an area with like parks and like trees and uh, and bushes, hide behind a bush <laughs> and wait and wait for a woman to go past, and then just sort of jump out on her. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, this is not. This is not fucking a, a good pickup advice. This is not like that's just. <laughs> what imagine is just that? The vampire imagine, imagine, slayer. Like... Just, oh no! It's just imagine you walked past a bush and a guy just pops up out of that. We go. No bring, one hello. is going to be like, oh, I'm interested in staying here to chat with you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, bush you jumper, know, like what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, there was another one. You said like, if you if you go to a bar, like find a ta- find a table near the women's toilets because that <laughs> gives you an opportunity to talk to them. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's when that's when a woman's gonna really be up for a conversation when she's running for to have a shit, isn't it? That's when you really want to. Amazing you know, can... that he has yeah. met women. <laughs> like well, and... met them, one of them. The best thing about the whole th- the, the best thing about Bush, Rush's whole series, which is called Bang, and it's just Bang, and then the name of the country. God. The best thing about it is one of them in one of them, which I think is called Bang Bang Denmark. He goes to Denmark for three weeks and he doesn't get laid. And the funniest thing is, like, he ends up putting this down to this is the fault of socialism. Oh, right? yes. apparently, it's because of socialism it that he didn't get. Him. It's always socialism. Because, because socialism, obviously, the one of the goals of socialism is to turn uh, women into men and men into women oh, until right. we we don't know who's what. Is it cultural so, Marxism? Yes, it was like it was no, but it's literally that. But the funny thing is, it's like I, I'm like, dude, you can lie. Like, no <laughs> one's going to question. This like, true. This is like, yeah, I call you. That was a standard thing with blokes. I mean, you know, you you always lied. Whatever, whatever happened, you'd walk, you'd walk home with your own. You'd go to a party. You'd you know smash something, steal something else, take a piss on the bed, tell the next door neighbour to fuck off, do a shit in the garden, mm-hmm. and you'd walk home on your own at four in the morning, and then tell your mate you were shagging all night. And that was the stand. And even if you did get laid. Yeah. You have to over exaggerate that, but he just and people bought the fucking book. Wait, who yeah. wants to buy a book about a well, guy? Well, they're having even less sex than that. That's the problem. Yeah. But what are you going to learn from this, other than <laughs> don't go to Denmark? And if you do, maybe try and advance your game a little bit beyond hiding in a shrub and pouncing on women who are going for a piss or something. I mean, this is what it. This is the whole thing. But I mean, but it's like I said, Ru- like this is what I mean. Rush is awful, but yeah. these are the people who choose to follow him. They give him, he's got a career out of this. I mean, this is the, yeah. that's the disturbing. I mean, he's earned enough money to do that. And that's what you get with all these people. But I don't, but now I'm that's really a constant- cuck, Like, yeah. <laughs> paying a dude you know, who's not getting laid to tell you how to get laid. I kind of hope, I don't know this because obviously <laughs> I don't know at the time, but I do kind of hope that he didn't tell anyone that and they didn't know till they bought the book right that you know and like like it's like i can just see i just want to see like a rouge fee his, his new books coming out like they're all queued up outside the bookshop at midnight like when a harry potter's coming out and they've all got like their leather gloves on and they're oh, just like you yeah. know and i'm just like you know but it's but it's it's sure but in one of them i mean what in one of his books i've mentioned this i've done one video on the guy and in the in the one video I sort of like talk about, like he actually talks about when he's in Finland, and he basically describes, uh, you know, admits to and confesses, you know, to raping this woman. You know, in the book. Uh, in the book, yeah. I mean, he nope. says that he he, but he says that he, he says that. But what he says was in the book is that he goes back with this woman and he says, if I was in America, uh, this would technically, you know, she would be this woman would be too drunk to consent, so this would be rape. But he says it as if it's not true in Finland, but it is, you know. Wow. And uh, and he basically admits admits to this. He just uh, he just he just like lies and says that it's he doesn't know that it's a crime. He also in one one he teaches you how to fuck a woman, how to take a condom off when oh, you're God. fucking a woman, so she doesn't notice. No. And, uh, mm. No. Oh, God. 
Yeah. I mean, th- I mean, to be honest, I don't know why he'd need to. What he, he, I can't imagine him being with a woman who was that self, who was that aware, who was that sober and in and in touch with her surroundings that she noticed something like that. I mean, most of these women just probably wake up and like, who the what, what the fuck yeah. was that? You know, why why am I in the woods and you know why and why are my feet tied together? But this is but yeah so. But uh, but the thing the thing that worries me is as I, as, as I want to sort of so I brought you in because you're going to sort of you can be a different you're a different generation you know mm-hmm. I found out yesterday for example that Limp Biscuits chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water album is now twenty years old, right? <laughs> yeah. which means Fred Durst must be at least sixty now because he was in his forties easily when Limp Biscuit were in their prime, <laughs> and. And that's like my, that's my, so Limp Biscuit is now dad rock, you know. I mean, and uh, I will say this for them, you know, Limp Biscuit, their music, whatever you think of them, you can't say it hasn't aged well because <laughs> it's as fucking shit now as it was uh, back then. Yeah, back the then. standard is still, you know, it's still right, mm. right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I thought I thought we'd also, because everyone, uh, uh, because people listening to this are not going to be as familiar with you, Danny, I'm going to spring this on you a bit. I have okay. got a load of questions I'm going to ask you now, mm-hmm. and I want you to do, you can do as best as you can with them. Okay? And All we'll right, see. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm put, and this is genuine. I want you to know this if you're listening. This is not something we planned ahead. Like she genuinely didn't know I was going to fucking do this to her. So, and I thought I've got to, I've got to mess with her. So. Right, so we're going to now learn about Danny. Okay, are you Alrighty. ready for these? You ready for these? Okay, so if you could do any in any job and you didn't have to worry about money, what would you choose to do? Um, I would be an artist and a taxidermist. Right, right. and and do this podcast, obviously. Yeah, you know, I mean, a taxidermist. Right. That's interesting. That's yeah, I love that stuff. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit. That's a bit grim. That I've always found taxidermy weird. You know, yeah. You know, it, 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 it's it's not for everyone. Not everybody has the stomach for it. I mean, it's not it's it's not gross or anything, but it's just like if you did it with people, when it's finished, like it was, it's not gross. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, making stuff with the skins is like you know it would be interesting because I mean, like it'd be quite funny if you said like right, you know, we're okay with you using animals to make clothes but right, they've got to all die because you because then it would take someone like you know a, a, a woman would have to go out and find a load of mink right. who died of natural causes a whole bunch even of even though quite frankly i the only of all the i you know i'm totally against cruel eater animals and i, right. you know, and I really I, okay, but fuck minks you know minks <laughs> are the worst minks are seriously the, they're the worst <laughs> fucking thing they're just not they're never met horrible one. I used to go like I used to uh, uh, go fishing a lot, and there was there was these minks on this lake that I used to go to, um, uh, that my dad had sort of like my dad worked on the grounds of this like uh, they they go in the water, but I mean they I mean they're very much like sort of the otter stoat hmm. sort of very area. But I watched this mink do this right. I watched this mink. He was running along the bank, and I had to keep an eye on him because they're vicious little bastards, right? But this mink stopped, <laughs> and then he looked out, sort of just looked into the water. And then he dived in about a few feet and came back out with this tiny little sort of carp about a pound. And he just ripped it to pieces, didn't eat any of it, and then walked off. He just, he literally stopped to dive in the water, catch a fish and murder it in front of me. As if he was saying, you know, fucking, you know, that's me. Yeah. Like, like, it's like. It's like in that film American Gangster where Denzel just shoots Idris Elba in the fuck. Just I, fucking, it's just sending a message to everyone. I mean, I knew but cats I, were known to kill things just for the yeah. like fun of it, but I didn't know that there was. They like, can do, but I mean, minks do it all the time. I mean, and wild. all minks it's are like, like all minks thing. are like this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> imagine if, it's basically imagine if all minks were basically like Jeffrey Dahmer or Joseph <laughs> Fritzl. That's what they are, you know. And um, so, yeah, so that's it. So, tax me. Okay. Get, name me three things that are in your fridge right now. Uh, leftovers that need to be thrown out. Leftover what? That could be anything. Leftovers could be. Oh, geez. Probably some like Chinese food, Mexican food. Um, let's so see. Cheese and beans, basically. Mm. Yeah. Um, bunch of pickles. A bunch of pickles. different types. A of bunch pickles. of pickles. Is that like the, you could just what? say pickles. Just I wouldn't assume just pickles. one. If you said pickles, I wouldn't have assumed it's just one. Pickles. You couldn't have to name them. Plural of pickles. 
<laughs> okay. If you're if you're stuck in at home on a rainy Sunday afternoon, you can pick one movie to watch. What are you going to watch? Um. Oh, jeez. I mean, right now I've been wanting to watch Hocus Pocus, but that's I wouldn't want to watch. I, it I know, I know it. I've never, never, see, never seen it. It's, I just know it's got Bet Middler, it's, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's it's not the best. The the little girl's name is Danny. That always that also helps. Is um, it one of those films that you like? You watched it when you were younger, and then you when you and you still like it, even though you know it's shit. Yeah, it's like a like, nostalgia, yeah. but oh my gosh, cringy kind of. At, okay. I don't know, but everybody okay. enjoys how bad it is. Hmm. I think we have that in my generation like with the film the Drop. Girl we have that with my, my generation, <laughs> I, I, I have that with the film Drop Dead Fred. I think everyone who's okay. my age who watched Drop Dead Fred likes it, but the, they're the only people who like it. Like, <laughs> everyone else thinks it's shit, and uh, and uh, and it is. It's a terrible fucking film, but it's got Rick Mail in it, and he was amazing. But anyway, like so next pleasures. <laughs> it's not even the guilty. I think guilty. I see. I don't go well, in for guilty, really guilty pleasures guilty. because <laughs> it's like for me, it's like I, you know, I think. For me, I, I was watching. I remember I watched it again uh, not that long ago because uh, I forgot how amazing it is. It was, I watched Face Off, you know, with Nick Cage and John Travolta, and I'm just like, this is just brilliant. I don't care what anyone says. And there's a role, you know, people always talk about great actors. They'll always talk about your Brandos and your De Niro's and your Gilgoods and Olivier's. They'll always talk about the the obvious actors. But for me, it's like. If you're watching like you know a film like Rampage, which has got there's a, there's a moment where The Rock fist bumps a thirty foot gorilla. I'm like <laughs> Lawrence Olivier couldn't do that, you know. Fucking, you know, you couldn't get any fancy actor you know, oh, to do you know, to, to 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 do that, you know. So I can't. You know, Alan, Rick, <laughs> Alan Rickman could not. Do, Alan Rickman couldn't have been. It could be in Commando or like you know or Terminator or something. So yeah, you, I can't imagine that at all. That would. It would be awful, wouldn't it? Anyway, <laughs> next question: If you could dis, if you could uninvent one thing, what would it be? Uninvent. And you can't say capitalism. I was gonna be like, capital. can I choose an ideology, or like, does it have to be a thing? Because I was gonna no, be like, I, fascism. It, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think it's really an invention, though, is it? An invention. How about um, if I can undo Edison and replace him with Tesla? Really, you know, then there's a lot would of all have free electricity. Yeah, but it's a lot of stu- other stuff that Edison did. And plus, the thing about Tesla was there was two sides to Nikola Tesla. There was the brilliant scientist, and mm-hmm. then there was the bonkers, mental, absolute nutter. Yeah, you know? I mean, he definitely he probably needed some some mental health help. I think didn't Edison have like really fucking three hundred? Didn't Edison have like three hundred fucking inventions? He invented ridiculous. all sorts of stuff. I think a lot of the patents entered the uh, public domain fairly recently, too. But I think a lot of that, you know, it's just to do with luck of being around at a time when there was fuck all around and, and mm-hmm. inventing stuff because there was loads of options. He was like, literally if I went, pulling stuff out of the air. If I went back in time a thousand years, I could be a scientist. Like I could just drop a stick in a, in a river and right. go and then and then come up with like my, you know, my theory of like the stick river theory yeah. and i'd be you know because like, you, you, that's all you need i, I mean, mean you fucking... could still do that but you know you have to call it something cool like pick a shape and say the earth is that shape yeah i mean but did we need i mean you know isaac newton did you know came up with the, you know discovered gravity and all that mm. but did we need him to you know we <laughs> knew it's not like anyone was trying to fly or defy it we all knew it was happening you know but like, you can experience but, it but we well, but once you, once you've sort of done it, it's like if you were a scientist. I mean, like, what would the fuck? What the fuck would you? I mean, when, when Stephen Hawking comes out of a book called Theory of Everything, well, mm-hmm. well, that's it. Then in it, you know, feet <laughs> on the table now with that one. Well, there's all of it. We did it. We did all the yeah. science that there is. And <laughs> I've, 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 I've the thing about Stephen Hawking's books because I I owned Brief History of Time, and like most people, I you know I picked it up and then within ten minutes I was like, this ain't this ain't. I, this ain't going to happen, but, you know, because like, and I thought this might as well be in backwards in Chinese, being translated directly into Klingon, because I can't <laughs> fucking understand. And that's the thing about it is he's he's like, this is the problem when you're the smartest man in the world and you write a book yeah. about something that literally no one understands, right? And because he could be, because who are we to sit there and question? And no one's, I'm sorry, I'm going to sit there and halfway through go, this is bollocks, Hawking. I'm going to write him a lat, big angry yeah, email. There's not a lot of peers to review it. He doesn't have a lot mm. of like 
the only good thing I got out of my brief history of time, the copy of it, is I, 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 I got this, I did this joke where I basically covered, I got a tyre print, in, I co- covered a tyre in boot polish and then rolled over the front cover. And I used to tell people it was a signed copy of Brief History of Time. <laughs> by Steve, that, that was it. And I did that as a joke in my stand-up set. That's for a, terrible. It is terrible. I've never, oh, yeah. never said it was, I mean, it, weren't, it weren't true. You know? Yeah. Um, Stephen, Haw- Stephen Hawking. I didn't know you were pop- a prop comic. <laughs> Oh no! I was properly. I was like a proper carrot top. I used to go um. on there with like you know. But the thing, <laughs> thing about Stephen Hawkins is that he's he's whatever you think about him, he's got like he loves it when he he's 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 genuinely doesn't give a shit when but he, he actually likes it when people put him in their comedy because yeah. and I suppose why wouldn't you? Because I mean like you know it's something that makes him you know you know sort of relatable I, I suppose and um but yeah he he definitely uh he definitely goes into it but it, like that was b- back in my. That was back in my early years when I did have a certain sort of like edge lord quality. <laughs> I, try, I, I was trying to be provocative, you know, a, a little. But like everyone had a Stephen Hawkins joke. I had another one, but I mean, I won't do it now. But I mean, <laughs> I, I, but it was this was quite that. But it was like uh, it, 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 everyone. Had, but it was just one of those things. That everyone had a joke about. It. Everyone had a Stephen Hawkins joke. If you could be a member of any TV sitcom family, that, what would it be? Absolutely. There's just been there's just been an accident. There's just a No, it's just like angry white. She literally truck. She lives on a fucking yeah. she lives on a NASCAR track. Like <laughs> everybody's trucks are really loud and everyone's mm. mad at each other. It literally sounds like you're stuck you're in a Formula One pit lane. I, like, yeah, <laughs> I I live next to an intersection. And of course of course it's, it's America. Like so everyone because, because you're in America because you're in America. Because you're in America, everyone's got yeah. a fucking engine that does four. <laughs> like a fucking Spitfire taking off, you know. No one's got oh, that. Eh, eh, eh. You know, no one's yeah. got... Anyway, so yes, if you could be a member of any TV sitcom family, which would it be? Oh, geez. Um, Sabrina. Does that count? Because then magic would yeah. be like actually like tangibly real and not just like. Thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna say. Uh, the like that could talk. That would be cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say. That, yeah, I want to be. I want to be the Huxtables. Cosby <laughs> Show. Because I just want to see how they'd write me into this. True. <laughs> if I was a cartoon, that would also be pretty cool. I would like to be an illustrated being. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty neat. Mm. Okay. Okay. What would be the best thing about not having a sense of smell? Uh, farts. Yeah, Never. that's not. That, oh, come on. I mean, come on. Pretty, no, don't. don't uh, uh, let me think. I mean, you can't just have. I, I have a farts. very strong sense of smell, so I really appreciate. Like, oh, there's a skunk there's got, around here. Let's not. But there's got to be some. Um. I mean, I always find like if there's like I used to live near a glue factory. And Whoops. like that thing fucking just stunk. I mean, just the whole fucking, the whole town mm-hmm. stank when they they were fucking going. Or like, or like you know, a sulfur plant. That's much, that's much worse than. You know, or just I've been to wrestling. I go to a lot of wrestling shows, you know, and just being in surrounded by other middle aged men who were wearing black clothes, you know, it's just like you know. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Well, I'd be worried because then I wouldn't know if I was stinky, and then. Yeah, but I don't care. So that's whether you or not you care about that. I mean, I never care about what I smell because that's, that's well, at least I could be like, no, else. no, it's me. Like I, I'll call myself out at least. Like, oh no, I can tell. It's not you guys. Wait, so, <laughs> that's the great thing about social. That's the great thing about social distancing is people right? will come near you. Like you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like don't. It's like people would. Just, there's just this force field of like fucking. You know, oh, you know what? I figured it out. Mm. It's the dishes. I'd be able to do the dishes without. Yes, because sink. I used to I used to wash up for a living, so sinking is that, um, yeah. <laughs> mm. That's much worse okay. than parts. <laughs> is there is there an app that you hate but use anyway? Uh Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Why Facebook? Why Facebook more? Because normally, but I would expect people to say Twitter. Well, I um, barely use my Twitter. I can't get like hooked on it really i guess and you've got seven and you've got seven of the bastards, haven't you? Like, you've like you've got. Oh yeah, I mean I. I don't remember. I I only use one of them really. I made one for this they Hulk, but I I don't know. Yeah. It might become the main one if if anyone actually gives a shit about what I tweet, but 
Yeah, Twitter's it, weird it, though. It, Twitter is literally. I can't think of. Place. I can't think of any website that people. I never hear anybody say anything good about it, and yet they never get off it. It's it's almost like it's a. It's it's like it's a fucking like like a drug addict who knows they need to quit, mm-hmm. or someone who's in an abusive relationship mm, yeah. who knows it's bad for them, and it's, it's like why, why don't you trauma just... bonded to uh, mm. it, like arguments online? But if, also, I think people, I think I think the problem with it is that there's an hypocrisy to it in that people will always talk about like like whenever there's look, we'll always have this thing about cancelling or boycotting stuff, and I'm but to me I'm always like well. All you do is complain about how twit- our Twitter is, you know, uh, is facilitating and growing, you know, Nazis and that, mm. and yet you don't quit Twitter. You stay on here, you know. Yeah, like, leave it for wanna, them. If, let there be. I'm like, if you <laughs> let like, if you, 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 you want to cancel it, I'm like, if you want to cancel, so if you want to talk about, if we're supposed to boycott um, a, you know, a comedian or someone's music or a TV show or whatever uh, over. Something, some, what someone has said, or like you know that Mulan film because that mm. Chinese girl said some said some dumb shit. Then what? What? Then why is why do I have to boycott that? But you're it's okay for you to stay on Twitter, a website that you admit is 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 aiding mm, and abetting exactly. in the proliferation of right wing, you know, right wing ideology. Well, I also think that there's a huge difference between people being like, I'm gonna not watch it because blah blah blah, and being like, how dare you mm. go watch. A thing like I, we can't. I think it's, I think it's different in that case of Mulan. It's a case of her her views don't affect the film, right? Is one. But like when you've got certain things, like there, there are certain things. It's like you know, they're, they're, you know, if it's a musician or it's 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 a, a writer or a comedian, is the you, you, you then realize it's going to inform maybe what they uh, they do. Like I, like Roll. I always said that like when people talk about J.K. Rowling, like mm-hmm. one of the things I said to people and they're talking about how oh, i loved harry potter as a child and now I do this. and i sort of said right whatever you do if you're a fan of the books of roald dahl don't google his name with the word jews yeah because will never be a because yeah because like i watched it, as soon as i sort of i mean and if you're not familiar with what roald dahl said about jews like i mean this is this ain't one of these things where There's it's a like lot of those it, it, it's not one of those things like you get where someone he said he didn't like bagels and they turn that into yeah. like anti-Semitic. Like he literally he, he takes a very interesting view on the Holocaust. He doesn't mm. deny, he's not a denier. He admits that it happened, but he says, but they must have been asking for it uh-huh. because literally it's like, yeah. it's like you've got to have pissed. Like you don't choose to just exterminate someone, so they must have mm. really done something to wind Hitler up and like to wow. get him. And I'm like, that's an I'm like, that's an interesting take. On that. You know, it's, I don't, apology, it's, yeah. It, yeah, but like he's got that. Um, I mean, I can give you a quote from Roald Dahl: "I hate the Jews." Like he wow. literally said that. And and then I start thinking about stuff in his, but like like the the book, the witches, which I loved. You know, when I was when I, uh, when I was younger, mm-hmm. and the witches have all. But when they take their masks off, uh, their human masks, they've all got like you know fucking big nut big jump massive noses right and stuff like that and you start well, being yeah, that that whole caricature of witches was yeah a race but you start you, you start think it's like when you sort of realize about this that you you know it's the things in disney like you know there's uh, or uh, some really old like cartoons from like tom and jerry cartoons mm-hmm. you'll notice these things that were you didn't that you didn't see before that they're sort of like it's it's not a case of you know, not it, not everything is deliberately done that way, but it's like it just informs it naturally. And True. if you've got yeah. this, if you and if you've grown up in a culture, like if if you grow up in a culture where you, you you're used to seeing bad guys with big with big noses and sort of evil, then yeah. then, then that's it what it looks like. You know, knowledge because exactly, exactly. you don't have like a, a comparative. It's not like you're meeting yeah. bad people all the time and they're like, exactly. "Hi, I'm a yeah. bad person." <laughs> Okay, if you could, if you could have one person, if a member of the human race, locked up in prison forever, who would it be? Locked up in prison forever. Yeah, you can you can get one person thrown in prison, no questions asked, no no appeal, no reprieve. Hmm. See, this is hard. I'd probably say me. I'd, 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 I'd send me there. Just put me in a fucking solitary confinement and lock the door. I don't want to. Don't give oh, me any. No. Yeah, I would. I've I've got enough. 
mental health stuff without being all alone. That, that would be rough stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of which Republican has the most power, honestly. <laughs> I think it'd be Paul Joseph Donald, Watson would be. Paul but Joseph he's, Watson. He's not got long to one. live in there. Yeah, that would. Oh, you want someone young, didn't you? Get someone really yeah, young. Yeah, it, it would be a waste of to use it on the old people. It's ironic. We are, I asked that question because today the, the news broke that that, a, that a, Ryan a, guy. What's his name? A, a, Ryan? A, 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 Amos, no, Amos Amos Yi. This this hmm. news broke today about this YouTuber called Amos Yi, who was this from Singapore, and he was known as this like fucking you know internet. He called himself a troll, but it was like he's not. But like one of his things was defending pedophilia. Mm. Uh, saying that paedophilia, you know, he didn't believe it was an immoral action. He and he made all these videos defending it. And would you believe it? He's now he's, they found child porn on his computer. Wow! Uh, you, I you know how that happened. Who who would have thought? I mean, who would have thought this? I and mean, this has happened. Like, I mean, I don't know why people don't get don't see this. It's like I've seen so many people who don't necessarily go to the obvious. I'm going to defend paedophilia, but I've seen, right. I've certainly there are people who have I've made videos. You know about age of consent mm-hmm. and arguing that. And there's a debate you can have there, but you see people who just like go, oh, abolish it. on themselves. Yeah, but, I, but you just sit there and think, people. look, dude, if I, made, if I made 20 videos about legalizing marijuana, it's not unreasonable mm-hmm. to assume that I'm probably mm-hmm. a pothead, right? If I, made, right? If, I made, if I made 20 videos about why you should abolish um, speed limits on the road. It's fair to suggest that I'm probably a bit of a fucking Larry, you know, a Larry yeah. driver. You know, I like, you know, and, and if you make twenty videos arguing why, uh, if you if if you make twenty videos arguing why age of consent should be low, should be mm-hmm. abolished, or should be, should, yeah. or should be redefined a in a sus. way. It's a yeah. lot, sus. It's it's basically it, you know basically it's only you know. If, if a woman is anything, you know, unless a woman is running away, setting her head on fire and, you know, putting a hand grenade down her pants, then it's still blur- it's still not definite then, you know, or something right. like that. It's still like- but also the woman can also give consent afterwards via the means of telepathy to the man. If just got her ass or something like that. You get these ridiculous redefinings of, of consent. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's just... Uh, it's like, oh, do you do you want that definition to shift so that it doesn't apply yeah. to you? But also, they take it to the ridiculous extreme, like you know, oh, what? So I need my lawyer there. So I'm like, no, no one's going to fucking end up like this. I mean, what? Yes. you know, it's like, yeah. I mean, that would be Don't quite funny. I'm quite... Lawyer, that's... <laughs> the thing is, I'm okay with that being true, but just for them, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. It's like, it's like that it's person like, no, you. specifically. Yes, you need a you need a full you need a full in a form, so, you know, it, it, five mm-hmm. page form filled out in triplicate, signed by your next of kin, vicar, local yeah. police officer. Okay, any dude um, who was like, "Oh yeah, this Me Too thing, can I even be friends with women?" and I'm like, "You yeah. no, because you asked." <laughs> Yeah. Everyone else yeah. can still be friends with women, but not you. <laughs> You're not invited yeah. anymore. But I mean, that's just, I mean, that's like, it's like when men, it's like when you see these men, like, the, it's one of the things that I think is one of the sort of motivating factors that is behind, you know, the constant, these people, these the sort of like, when, when you see these videos being made about, you know, oh, was she, you know, putting the victim blame, like, the, was she asking for it and all this other stuff. And I'm like, to me, this is like, this doesn't mean they've done anything bad, but to me, it's like, this is a guilty conscience. This is that you saying, mm-hmm. you're not sure. You know, they want you to know that there's, themselves. you know that there might be someone in your past who you could who could possibly leg- have a legit complaint. You know, mm-hmm. definitely. Uh, okay, uh, you did. Um, what's what's the wildest thing or the or the best thing you've ever done in a hotel room? Oh geez, um, well, I haven't really had much fun in hotel rooms. <laughs> Unfortunately, I used to work at a hotel. I don't know how it's. I don't know how you no. can't. I mean, it's it's one of the most corrupting influences ever. Is uh, going into a hotel <laughs> room because because you just, the first thing you do is steal everything when you get in there, and right. you know, and then you just sort of like just just you can't help but just fuck and you jump on the bed and then you know you. Uh, <laughs> I, I also do you want know to a couple. I don't know why I started doing this a few years ago. I started the, two thousand since two thousand and seven. I have. Every hotel I've been in, they've never had a Bible. They don't have them anymore. 
you know. Oh, I've got I, we we had Bibles in all all the rooms that I went in. <laughs> in America, in America, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, it's weird. It, but the funny thing is, one of those things. It's a I very don't care. weird thing. I don't. I don't know I don't why. Care, it's but I always there. sort of think. I, I, I sort of think I should get a load of job lot of Qurans. So if I'm ever in yeah. a hotel, I just, just, replace pop, just pop it in there, just to fuck. Because in case the next person is a Daily Mail, yeah, room, and they get the agenda. It's just yeah. to replace all of the hotel Bibles with Qurans. They're gonna, mm. they're gonna do it. <laughs> well, I mean, you've, all, you've already got Muslim. Love it. You've already got cases. You've already got cases over here, like. You know, the, the, the religion in, in this country, hotels. in this country, in this country, Christianity is like you know. I mean, we have Christians, but they don't do anything, and our, our churches are so empty that there are certain churches in certain towns where Muslims use the church because yeah. there's more Muslims who go there, and you know, and people like complain about it. I'm like, you complain when they build a mosque, right. you complain when they use a church that you're not mm. using, and surely it's a bit silly anyway because i mean it's the wrong god isn't it i mean isn't doesn't the building you're in count if you're in a well, cathedral, the same god yeah i mean neither of them exist as far as i'm concerned but surely <laughs> they just call but, the same thing the different names but it's yeah but it's like it's like it's like ringing up a sex chat line and ordering a pizza you know it's <laughs> like they're, they're in the they're on the wrong they're in the wrong game okay uh would you uh, did, uh would you rather look like a potato mm. or feel like a potato Ooh. I think that I would rather feel like a potato because, like, I already do. I like how I look. Uh, I'm not very potato. No, no, but you're not very potato. No, no, you're very, you're very. I love sorry. potatoes, though, so I would be like. <laughs> okay, I'm know. not going to go. I'm not. I'm not going into that because I just sort of. I was immediately going to say, "What? Uh, so you taste? You taste like a potato?" And yeah, I'm like, like I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> At least I'm not made out of like candy or something. That would be harder to be like. Oh. I don't know. It's, it's, it, it, you do see that. There's one of my favorite anti jokes I've told before. That I that was I saw it on um, it Matthew Perry told this on Ellen, and uh, and and this was a, this, is, this is one of my favorite anti jokes. But it's like there's a, so there's this guy standing on a corner of a street, and he's got a giant peach for a head. <laughs> And uh, this guy walks past him, comes up to him, and says, "Hey, man, what's with the uh, what's with the giant peach on the head?" And he goes, "Well, it's a funny story that I cut last week. I found this this little lantern, and I polished it, and a genie came out, and he granted me three wishes. And the first wish I asked for was I wanted to be you know be rich, be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I want to have so all the all the money I could. Suddenly, bang! I got a hundred billion dollars, and I got a huge mansion. You know, everything's great. Then I said, second wish." I want I want to be married to the most beautiful woman in the room in the world. Suddenly, bang! Uh, Mila Kunis comes out of nowhere. Bang! She comes over, gives me a big kiss. Married, says I want to marry me. She's in love with me. And the third wish was I wanted a giant peach for a head. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I do. You, know, you see, you you get you got that too quickly. See, your your anti jokes work with you. Oh yeah. And, um, I I, uh, I love that. But this, 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 the oldest joke in the world that everyone knows is actually an anti joke, which is why did the chicken cross the road, right to get to the other side? I mean, that's yeah. that's a non, that's like a non joke, and um, you have to try and very, make it funny. But you love, I love them because like there's nothing that pisses people off more in than when mm. they're watching a comedy show and everyone else is laughing and they're not. Mm -hmm. It just drives them insane. They can't fucking deal with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, would you would you rather have a permanently clogged nose or a piece of green food always stuck to your teeth? Oh god. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I guess I'd rather breathe. <laughs> I don't want to become well, a mouth breather just never being able to sniff comfortably again. I've always found them fascinating mouth breathers. I've always wondered it's like it's like because I, I, I imagine people have told them they can breathe through their nose, but they've just thought, why fucking risk it? You know? Yeah. Like, I think some the... people it's like a habit, and some people it's like uh, they just, they're so. Maybe they've just got a very big, blood. heavy, maybe, they, maybe they've just got a very heavy jaw. Yeah. You know? It's maybe and, uh, it's just structural. <laughs> but it's, it's one of those things, but it's, I like it because it's one of those things. Like, I've never met someone. Who is got? Who's a mouth breather? Who's got uh, like a university degree? Like they're always idiots. Who's got? <laughs> like they, they just can't be bothered to fucking 
you know, or they're not, they're not too, I mean, you can't even breathe properly. You know, that's the sort of like point when you know it, you know, it's fucked up. Okay. Would you rather be able to breathe underwater or have the agility of a cat? Ooh. I think I'd rather have the agility of a cat because that would really yeah. help with my, uh, like height phobia, but the yeah. underwater thing, uh, I'm still scared of. Big I, water. I just don't know. But the thing is, I've always said this. Like, I don't know why people like going in. The ocean is disgusting. Like most <laughs> water is disgusting. Like if you went to the to- if you went to the bath or the shower and s- s- water came out that was as dirty as seawater, yeah. which is just mud and shit and fucking <laughs> salty and fish just, piss. It's salty and there's fucking just waste in it and it's got a thing and if you go to places I mean, like Australia, now now it's gross it, it wasn't always that bad it was no, just it, it was always gross. salty but... <laughs> it was always disgusting it's that's the thing it's, it's always a gross place to be and like why would you want to go underneath that and like and then, <laughs> You wouldn't want to go to a place that had like lots of sodium in the air, and like you know, and there was like you couldn't go into the place without like you know coming out covered in fucking you know covered in salt and dry skin and fucking you know, or like or like in Israel they got the Dead Sea. What's the big oh, about yeah. that? Because so, you're so much salt it's floating. You float. <laughs> I, don't know you, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I float anyway. <laughs> Are you a buoyant boy? Well, no, it's just I'm a human being, and that human being. <laughs> Blokes, like you know, there's like very few of them. I imagine there's some like who struck Sargon, probably. And the, 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 like <laughs> those of a more robust nature. Uh, but um, anyway, what? Uh, okay, in what situation or place would you feel most out of place? Um, a sorority. No, see, see, let's see, we don't have. I know what that is, but we don't have them. In, oh yeah, in, we don't have sororities. I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people have good experiences with it, make friends and stuff. But a lot of the things I've seen were like, uh, a lot of like gangs pretending to be. Both of both frats, both frats and sororities seem like excuses for people to victimize. Other people, you know, yeah, like... that, the the whole concept of like hazing mm. it, it does not appeal to me. Like, I'm I'm not like, yeah, you know what? I want friends who mm. enjoy hurting me. Mm. <laughs> That's but I mean, not I mean, appealing. Even in, <laughs> about, but I mean, the thing about frats, the thing about these uh, frat uh, frat houses in like is that even in their most positive light. It's still, I mean, you go watch Animal House and Porky's. I mean, these are films that have like, I mean, there's a there's a scene, I think, in Animal House where a guy is con- is deciding whether or not to have sex with this girl who's passed out drunk. Yeah. You know, the, uh, Porky's, there was like, there was, the, you know, the scene where they go put cameras in the girl's shower room and they yeah. all sit around and watch it. And this was funny, but it wasn't done right. like as in, isn't this awful? This was like, you know, right. oh, God, men, men, eh? <laughs> What are we like? Eh? Yes. <laughs> Telling on themselves what? again. <laughs> but I'm like, when that's the most positive, uh, you know, aspect to put on it, it's just, you know, it's uh, it, it just they just all seem to be. It's like it's like one of those things. It's like it's like um, it's like, it's like those assholes who were like join mints. I remember this. This is one of these the funniest things I've ever seen in my fucking life, and no one else saw it but me. And I was I was in I was, I was in uh, I was in London. I was in this bar. And I was just sort of sat by looking out, and there was a guy walking across the street, and he he had one of the, he had this T-shirt that I'd seen several I'd seen before, but it has this quote from Oscar Wilde saying, <laughs> "I have nothing to declare but my genius." <laughs> and and he had a book in his hand, and he's re, he sort of got the book to his side, and he's looking at it. And this guy, I watched him fifty yards. He walked, and the cunt walked straight into a lamppost. <laughs> And I have ne- immediately. I was on the floor, fucking just. At- People thought I was having a That's fucking so like. Perfect. Oh, and I just thought I just wanted to go up and point in his face, like you know. I don't, I don't care what. I don't know. He might fall. I know he might have fractured his skull and died. But I'm like, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> I'm I like, if you're giggling and then, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, but what kind of wanker reads a book when they're walking down the street? It's like, who does? Who does that? I mean, if you're gonna. Yeah, and wearing that top. I mean, there's there's some things you don't want to do, 
Well, at least like, don't, yeah, at least don't announce that you're a genius publicly to everyone. I mean, Oscar you're Wilde, trying to Oscar Wilde did it where you're going. Oscar Wilde did it at customs. You know, I'm sure I've walked into polls. <laughs> yeah, I've walked into polls, but I didn't have... I but didn't I'm have, actually, like, I am I the smartest. I didn't, have a te- I didn't have a teacher on advertising how much better I was than you at the time where I did it, you know. Um, Declare okay, uh, your genius. Okay, th- this is this is this is a quite an interesting one. Okay, when when you're old, so like when when it's me, you sat here, and you've got hmm. some younger person on this, but you know, because that's how this is going to evolve. Some zoomer like, kid. It's going to be. We're going to be like the, this is going to be like the podcast version of the Sugar Babes. Like this <laughs> is going to be. It's going to keep changing members until there's like you know there's like been five fifty different pairs of people. Finally, going to have a legacy. Yes. <laughs> So when you're old, what do you think? Uh, what do you think your, your, your children will ask you to tell stories about when you were younger? You no, know, what, oh, what stories will you tell them? You know, uh, were... Can you tell us what life was like before there was a YouTube or a Facebook? Or will they even be a thing though? I mean, what's the next? Yeah, stage like I, that? I don't even know. Like the internet. Like I'm. There used to be one computer that the whole family used mm. like that kind of stuff <laughs> there's, a, there's a comedian called peter k who does a routine a, a routine about this which is like he's saying he's going we'll all turn into our parents you know yeah. it's like you know they, we're all gonna stand there and go oh you kids today you don't know how good you've got it we, you know all we mm. had when i was growing up all we had when i was growing up was sky digital all we mm. had was yeah all we had was a plate we only we only had a car each we only had a car, you know, and that music you listen to, it's crap. Put some Prodigy on, put some Basement Jacks on. You know, this is what we're going to, and it probably, you know, and it probably is. We're going to be like, you know, there's going to be like something, some advantage. I, 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 kind I, mean, of like, I, I like the fact that in a few, I like the fact that in a few generations, there's going to be so many uh, kids whose grandmother had an OnlyFans. Right. Yeah. You know, but that, that's, that's they, they had a little like, Polaroid shoebox before that, you know what I mean? Like, do you, but do not you know? That do you, but here's the thing about like <laughs> this is this is a true story. This just this says everything you need to know about not just men but the sex industry in general. Like mm. the the geezers who invented the first ever working camera that could take an image, right? Yeah. They finally got there's these two geezers. They finally got the fucking thing working. The first thing they did, they go we'll go out to the butt pub to celebrate. And that night, they had the barmaid getting her tits out so they could take pictures of it. <laughs> I mean, that's it, isn't it? That's like... I mean, yeah. Still, you know, and photos so of cats. There. That's what yeah. cameras are for. They're for boobs and for cats. And that's... Yeah. Well, I mean, this it. is one of the things... I always <laughs> say, like, whenever people talk about time travel, I'm like, well, do you know what I'd do? Like, I would get... I'd go online and I would get... I'd get, like, an external hard drive and I would download... Every single viral video that, like, you know, they're from like Sneezing Panda to Gangnam Style to fucking, you know, to, you know, to dramatic pause hamster. Right. To all, all of them. And I would just go back to 2005, mm-hmm. open the channel, and upload all of these viral videos and mm-hmm. then monetize them. You, I mean, you, or, you know, or go back and I get like a load of, I'll go back and just buy a load of kittens yeah. in 2005. <laughs> because that was back because viral videos really sort of, don't exist anymore in the, in the same way they used. They to. don't last as long. I mean, it's not that they don't last. Just, you've, got, you've got people like you've got people who have got enough subscribers that every video they upload will get five million views. Right. And that would have been, that would have been a viral video. But I mean, there was a long for a long part. I remember when like the most viewed video on YouTube was uh, that evolution of dance. In fact, no, before that, it was Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne. It had like a hundred thousand <laughs> views. That was the most. Um, viewed video still a and, better um, love story than twilight but then you've got like but you look at gangnam i mean gangnam style is incredible i mean there's four and a half million billion four and a half billion views yeah that's got i mean that was the first i, mean, I billion guess that views. that counts as viral because it it happened yeah. quickly well also, well also because it's like it's it, it's a it's a song in korean that mm-hmm. was popular everywhere it but wasn't also, yeah. the, but the thing is when you think about it it's like that's the first song he uploaded on yeah. youtube and you think Four billion, four and a half billion views on ad revenue alone. That's right. got to be five, six million dollars just on ad revenue before he's sold any albums or merchandise or you know or anything. Just the ad revenue from that. 
Yeah, be... it's a weird like lottery, the like mm. the viral video trend. You never and yeah. and like memes and stuff like you, mm. you can try all you want to make. Plus, everyone's make trying to do it now. You know, because, just, obviously, well, obviously, like viral videos and memes, these are things we didn't know were going to happen, but they right. did. And it's, as soon as they do happen, we then suddenly people start trying to force them. Right. Happen, yeah. yeah, it's like uh, when Tim and Eric started making like ads for people and then every commercial was like, let's just have as much random juxtaposition and strangeness as possible. Yeah. And we could not it's they kind were of trying like, to recreate something that you can't it's not a formula. Yeah. I mean it's kind of like what I've I said uh, this is something I think I think this is a bad thing. I don't I don't think this is, uh, has worked. It's like because you've got all these one thing the internet's done is it's given it's given birth to these to these people who do film reviews of bad films. And it's and now you've got these films that 20 years ago that were just shite, but now they're famous <laughs> because like, like you've got things like the room and all these right. other, other and, and the thing is that, like and a the problem, phenomenon that film. Yeah, it is. It is. And it should, it should be in this and it should be in a way, but like it, it's a, but the thing is it then gave birth to this idea. Like, why don't we deliberately make mm-hmm. so bad? They're good films. And I'm like, you right. can't deliberately make that. That's the whole, but cause the thing that makes the room and bird things like bird Demic and that, the thing that makes them, the thing that people love about them is that there's a heart and soul to them because you know it doesn't know want to be bad. It wants these to be were, an the, amazing the, movie. Yeah, the guys who made them, the guys who made them, they totally believe in it, and they they mm-hmm. did it. They did it with complete and utter sincerity, right? And and you can that's tell what when makes it's it. Yeah, I mean, it's like you know, and people people have a go. It's like Neil Breen. It's easy to make jokes about Neil Breen's movies because they're fucking awful. But like, what I'll say to him is like, do you know what? There are so many people in this world I know who would who want to do something with their lives like that, but they don't have the they don't have they don't have the cut they, they don't have the balls to do it. They're too scared to take a chance and fucking you know and and do, you know be trying to make a make a movie mm-hmm. or try and become that. And I'm like, that's a guy that. Whether he, you know, whatever reason he's been successful, he went out there, he made these films, he did the, he made them himself on his own back, and he happens to have, you know, done very well out of them, and he's got a huge following now. Mm-hmm. So I say fair play to people like, you know, like that, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, it, it sort of, uh, it, it begs us to ask the question: like, is a film, if it is something, even if something is bad in a technical sense? Or you know, if something is bad, if it entertains you, is it actually you know that bad? If you're looking right. forward to seeing the next Neil Breen film because you know how bad it's going to be, if it hasn't you actually know, failed as entertainment, it just yeah, it and there's no way he could have lost money on those intended. fucking things. It doesn't yeah. know. I mean, the intended response, but it yeah. definitely I mean, elicits something. There, and there's no way he could have lost money on those things because they fucking. You know, I mean, there's because you look at the effect, the thing I love about it is just that he never get. He doesn't get better. His films <laughs> get. His films, are, you know, if anything, they get worse. Like, but like he's like, but it's like there's no improvement to it, and it's like he cannot have watched this and thought that that looked. And he's and he he's like he has that thing where he finds there's one of his movies where literally. Every two minutes, there's like he makes he does that thing where you know like, he fades out. It looks like the person's vanishing, like they're just there and they just disappear. And it's like you just figured this out, didn't you? Like that day, one morning, you figured out if you if you shoot someone there and then you take them out and shoot the same thing, you can fade it in and it looks like they're disappearing. Mm-hmm. And he does it every fucking single like two minutes. And there's something just quite it's like if you took a drink every time <laughs> uh, that. That fucking happened. But, oh, but that's I love that, drinking that's the, games with bad movies, like Italian yes. Spider Man. That was the best one I think I've done so far. I only ever did when when I was younger. The the only um, I didn't do any uh, drinking games with. This one drinking game I did uh, as um, uh, in there's two versions of it. One of them, I, one of them I definitely don't recommend. But there's a yeah. there's, there's a there's a British film uh, called With Noel and I. Um, which is uh, you know, Richard E. Grant. It's about these two out of work actors in London who are like, you know, who are living in absolute squalor, and they decide to go on holiday in the country. They've got no money, but they're they're always pissed. And and there's two versions you play of this. There's is drink a lot. It's called drink along with with no and I. And the first one <laughs> is you just where, you know whatever you're drinking, whether it's beer, wine, you take a drink every time they take a drink in the film, mm. and yeah. that's that that will get you fucking 
hammered within the first half hour. Or you can play the extreme version, which we did once, which is where you drink what they drink oh. when they drink in the film, which is well, quite... That's an expensive game. It's, it, well, not only that, it's fraught with danger because within the first 10 minutes of the film, Richard E. Grant's character has fucking downed a bottle of fucking methylated spirits. Oh, no. And, um, like, and, and, like, and like, lighter fuel. So, like, that is there. That is there. So, um, that's Pushing not the fun. limits think, of what a game is. Well, there used to be another one similar called Drink Along with Dallas because they're mm. always. They're, I suppose if you're teetotal, you could play Drink Along with Davis or Reney, you know, mm-hmm. and, and when you you could watch his videos and just like. You can do it's, it's, um, the healthy version where you just have water and you uh, yes. actually hydrate yourself because I never I never drink enough water. Maybe I could convince myself if it was a game. But well, the thing is, human beings are seventy percent water. Yeah, so... mostly water. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. It's like, you know, what, what you know, I'm going to swim across the channel. Oh, big whoop. You're 70% water already. You're only, th- only 30% of you is technically going, <laughs> going across. You know? <laughs> um, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do, t- I'll do two more questions okay. and then we'll, we'll call it a day on this. Cause I think we've gone there. Are, I had 133 written down here. But, okay. Um, Wait, okay. What? Uh, I had 133. Quick. It doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Uh, but, uh, okay. Um, Okay, this is a good one. Describe your life using one word. This oh used boy. to be an internet. This used to be an internet meme. I remember early days on YouTube, where people would upload a video saying "my life" in two words. I think one of them was just a geese. I think it was, um, it was M Bison from a Street Fighter cartoon going "yes, <laughs> yes." And that's like is that it or something? I want to go with like rainbows, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, it applies aesthetically to most of my life. I'm always, like, putting too much color yeah, but you're, you're very, but you, I don't think you put too clutter, much color. Clutter makes sense, because I'm just... I think you put the right amount of color. I think, I think it would look weirder if you didn't go as far. I think yeah. If you're gonna be bright, if you're I, gonna commit, be I commit to that palette. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're going to be bright and leery, if you're going to be bright colors and, you know... And so I mean, and that, you know, this is why I love. I love drawing. Like, if you look at a lot of the people I know that I've I, I I've drawn, like as soon as I see someone, they've got bright red hair or they've got you know bright pink this or that. I'm like, that's what I want. I'm like a. I'm, I'm a bit like you know, I just sort of. I'm attracted to like big bright colors. I'm a bit mm-hmm. like a sort of. I'm like that sort of ditzy. I'm like sort of boxy. I'm like, but you know, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm just, I'm just like, okay, bright colors. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, it is one, but. Uh, my life in one word, I would say, um, uh, Christ almighty. Um, what my life in one word, uh, colorful, no, not colorful. <laughs> um, I, 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 do you know what I'm trying to think of? I know what I want to say, but it's like, it's, it's like, I, you know, I'm trying to sort of like, you know, I, uh, uh, I shouldn't have like because I, I, the idea is like I shouldn't actually be alive at this point. Mm. So the fact that I'm still, you know, it, it, the fact that I'm still I'm still going is people um, would say miraculous, but you're not. The... Miraculous is a good word. That's yeah. actually that miraculous. I think is um <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to go with that one now. Yeah. This uh, okay. This is one list 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 all the movies or TV shows that you cr- that that you cry at. Oh. Um, I mean, I, I'm one of those people that like, when people are emoting, I like, I totally tear up at mm, almost, yeah. like yes. when they want you to cry, I'm like totally crying. I especially like, I mean, I grew up, I said, I, I watch wrestling and the thing <laughs> about wrestling, that the thing that's good about wrestling, uh, one of the sort of advantages is, you know, the way they sort of say that if you buy your kid a pet, it helps them sort of develop a, a, a an understanding of death yeah. and grieving. Well, the same's true of wrestling. Because wrestlers don't live that, you, you know, you don't mm. see many old wrestlers. The average wrestler's got a lifespan of about like pre New Testament sort of yeah. lifespan. You know what I mean? And and the thing is, whenever they do these tribute shows for wrestler, a wrestler who's just died, and you see the wrestlers, cry, and these are like guys, Aww. these are all guys, and these are all guys who like you, you, you grow up and you. They're always playing these big stupid cartoons, but yeah. then you just see them there weeping, and there's something more fragile to that. Yeah, to see like to well, see these guys. They're not pretending yeah. for that yeah. moment. But it's like it's like you <laughs> see these guys who like who like 
six foot five and they're yeah. 300 pounds of solid muscle and they're always playing like these like you know and then you see them you see that fragility in them and they're like you know like you know this is the you know and and, and you you know that and that's that always gets me but i mean i've cried probably more i cry more now when i'm older like than i used to i've gone the complete people always say like you know you get as you grow older you get more sort of cynical and you get you know become a lot more sort of hard mm-hmm. you know hardened and i've gone the opposite i just burst into tears uh all, uh, everything <clears throat> now i mean there's like you know there's so many things that i yeah sort of get um oh. get it's just emotionally <laughs> uh invent- there's certain there's certain things that i can what that i will like um that i won't even get through i mean that scene there's a scene in uh for example one of them is uh Jesse Pinkman's uh, monologue in Breaking Bad yeah. when he's in hospital with, and he and he does, and he's he's there saying, you know, I've got, you know, I've you know, ever since I've met you, everything I've ever cared about is go-. like, I mean, it's two minutes long, and it's like to me, it's like it's one of the best pieces of acting I've ever fucking seen in my life because I yeah. I cannot get through, I'm I'm being, but I'm bursting into tears in the first minute of it, of it, and it's like it's just such an amazing piece of uh piece of uh, uh piece of acting yeah and uh, i loved that the- show it was really well done the acting was mm. fantastic yeah there's a couple of songs i think do you know, what, do you know what's so interesting is, is there's there's one song that i, I came out it, it came out in like 97 i think it did and I, I remember it and i've always listened to it but as i've got older it makes me it you know i, I get i get more upset now and it's it's the sunscreen wear sunscreen song by baz mm. lerman which is like everybody where, and it's just, it's the line, it's when he starts talking about like, you know, get to know your parents, you'll never know when you'll be gone for good, because that's the sort of thing like you start thinking about now. Right. Like, <clears throat> like my mum and dad are in their 70s, bless them. Like they've managed to, they'd probably be, they'd probably live to their 90s if it weren't for me. You know, but like I've probably definitely knocked, knocked a good few yeah. years off, which is useful because they're giving me the house. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, um, that's how I'm getting on the property ladder. In this my long, I'm playing the long game, which is <laughs> oh, you know, wait for my, wait for my parents to die. There you oh. go. They, but yeah, I, I, but I, there were so many things I I just um, I remember when I was young, the first film I ever cried at was E. T. Mm, yeah, um, I could see that. And you then what, um, um, one thing that stands out for me that always makes me cry, but I always make fun of myself for, is uh, the Blue People Avatar movie. Yeah, do you know what? I didn't mind Avatar. I don't know why it got so much stick. I just, you yeah. know, I think people, it's, I think it's because it was billed as like the most expensive. It's, yeah. It's cost 300 it was trillion definitely hyped up. Were... The visuals were cool. Uh, yeah. But when they blow up the tree and everyone's panicking and that they're crying, yeah. I always just, I'm like, oh, the tree, they blew up the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I always like it when, it I do like it when a cartoon, it. Like, yeah, in Zootopia. Zootopia ah, does that to me. Zootopia. And, uh, I, no, always I, 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 I went to see. Let me. This is, how I, this is how much I love Zoo. I love Zootopia. I went to see that film at the cinema four times. Like, you know, like and, 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 and I've never been to the only other time. The only other film I've seen at the cinema more times was in nineteen ninety in the in ninety four or five when it was when Jurassic Park came out. I saw that mm. three times. But I saw Zootopia four times at the cinema, <laughs> and I watched. I and I, I just fucking love it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I think it's such a good film. And um, I remember enjoying it. Yeah, and, and I the, feel like I'd have to rewatch it a couple times. You can tell it's a good. This, but this is how you can tell it's a good film. It is a film that is overtly, obviously about prejudice and society. Mm-hmm. You know, society's prejudices and bigotries, and yet you never, you you didn't see it. You didn't see. All of these shitlords slagging it off for no reason. It was that because <laughs> it was because the brilliant thing about doing when you do a satire like that, the reason the reason it's good, the reason they tend to use animals is because animals don't uh, the the society is not divided up in the same way that humans are. Yeah. So there's no so you like people it's not a everyone, direct parallel. So, so there's no sort of like thing people. Say, this is not a film about sexism. It's not a film about racism or anti, or Islamophobia or you know or prejudice against. It. It's a film about all of it, mm. right? Because because anyone could be, you know, because because you can you can plant yourself in even the honey badgers. You know those fucking stupid cows who are like those MRA mm-hmm. people. Even they they made a video 
fucking saying, oh, this was all about, you know, this was a film was clearly about, you know, how you know, feminism has done this. I'm like, I'm like, no, it fucking wasn't, <laughs> you stupid. I mean, like, you, if you want it to be, it can be. But, but do you think Disney thought there, yeah, we need a fucking rank on, we need a rag on the feminists here. <laughs> is what we need to do. This is why we, this is why we need the lead character to be this, like, you know, plucky, under, you know, you know, undersized and underestimated female lead. You fucking idiot. I mean, it's the, um, yeah, the they're, same Nick. They're gonna take away your uh, your mail card because because yeah. you, cause I'm you assuming watch that the movie. The cool, they probably thought that, that Nick the Fox was a MGTOW, <laughs> like a main guy. Wasn't or he like the cool guy character though? Like, that was their cool. self insert. Like, Who do they want to be? His thing, his thing wasn't that he was cool and that. His thing was that he, you know, he basically, you know, he was a he was very he was lonely. He was very, yeah. Lonely. He was like he was, but, he smart also, guy, but he was the fox, and then the, fox, he, the whole thing was he was the fox, and yeah. the fox was portrayed throughout the film in the same way. Like they would go into a shop and they'd go, "We don't serve foxes in here." Right. So it's clearly the implication is that you know foxes are all Seems and and, and the, the idea is and the, the idea is that there's this you know the, the because the predators are basically you know they think they're going rogue. They didn't yeah. say it's a part of their biology. It's in them, so you can't trust them. So like, it's all the arguments about racism that you, we, you know that you'd have against black people. There's that, a you know, they're, they're gen- stars on Netflix mm. that has a similar dynamic where it's animals, mm. society, humanoid mm. foods, but they're like. Well, I mean, it's the, old, the oldest, together. easiest thing. I mean, you know, you know, Animal Farm did it. I mean, it's one of the mm-hmm. easiest. I mean, Disney yeah. does it all the time. Right. But I just felt that I felt that for a Disney film to go to do it in that way that they did, where I thought this is quite sophisticated. It's it's quite overt. It's not like there's a little subtle right. message or it's just, it's just part of the story. Like it is with a lot of, it's like, this is quite overtly about the problems we face in, to, you know, to, we're facing today, you know, like anyone could. I think it definitely calls film. attention to that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, anyone could, anyone could watch it and sort of like, you know, and, 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 and understand. And plus it's got, it's got one of my fa- my favorite joke, and me and my mate Neil went to see this. And again, I think this is a generational thing. But the mo- the bit that always had me crying with laughter was when um, Nick and Judy are they're in the um, mayor's office, and the sheep is on the computer, and he starts squashing her hair <laughs> like that because that is what I've seen. I, you know, I used to see old women do that to little black kids on yep. the bus. Like, you know, yeah. I'd, I'd see them just go, oh, it's just like wool, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's just like, oh, you know, wow. And I talk, I'm just that, you know, and it's just Make like... A spectacle me, of some poor person. Just... And I thought oh, that's, that's such a clever joke to put in, because kids mm-hmm. aren't going to get... You don't see that anymore, obviously. Yeah. But like... I this mean, is the, some the, the people still about... do it. It's sad. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, the thing about it is that this is what I think, this is, the, this is why Disney works, is Disney does films that parents... Can mm-hmm. get as well. Yeah, it's those nod and a wink. It has those nod and a wink jokes where it's like, yeah, your your kids don't know this. Mm-hmm. You know, get this, but we. Yeah. I but like. We do. I like. So there we kids stuff that's obviously for the parents and the kids. Like um, Sesame yeah. Street actually always did a pretty decent job of like, not just entertaining the kids, but if the parents were listening, they could get a couple little chuckles in. Well, I, I, I there were certain cartoons. I mean, like SpongeBob. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I know so many adults who watched that. Um, and it's not like, and it, 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 but then when you go back and you, you sort of go back and you look at things like I remember Ren and Stimpy, and mm-hmm. there's some sort of like that was definitely adult there. I mean, humor. Some quite some, with, yeah, but then you sort of wonder. You look at a lot of the Disney stuff, like you know, these, and it, it's really dark in places. Like I mean, they yeah. killed, like you know, Bambi's mum died. Yeah, it's well, every, pretty like, much you know, everybody's got dead parents in Disney movies. That's like this. Yeah. Start. They yeah. follow that hero journey to a T. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are sort of scared to uh, scared to do that, but it's not like these are these are. It's not like these are. It, they're not like like you know South Park or The Simpsons where they're made mm-hmm. for. A yeah, more sophisticated, intelligent audience, you know, um, such as it, such as it is. Did, uh, so yeah, so that was. It. I remember the the film I cried the most. I, again, I, it has the most scenes I cried. It was Forrest Gump. In fact, Tom Hanks has probably yeah. got the most films. That's an incredible film. He, very well, very yeah. well done film. It, it's the. Uh, it's this. It, you know, I also think this. This is one thing I find fascinating about Forrest Gump is, it's it's a it's a very commonly held 
view that Jenny is a nasty, horrible bitch. And I'm just like, and to me, it's like, how can you watch that film? I mean, I get it. You're you're looking at it from Forrest's perspective, but it's like it's quite obvious that this girl was abused by her father, which kept her, you know. And the only person she was ever had of friends is this guy, who he's a nice guy, but he's yeah. not that fucking bright. He's a bit very dim. He can't really. He doesn't really understand a lot of the stuff that she's doing and that and she ends mm-hmm. up going down this road all of her boyfriends abuse her yeah she ends up on drugs you know she and then she ends up you know probably doing on you know, prostitution and she ends up getting aids and dying yeah and i'm like there's nothing like she's not I and mean, you can say what you want at the end i mean yeah but at the end of the day forrest gump was fucking happy he didn't care. yeah like and, and it's I, I, think, I think it would be i, and I just think sympathetic in my eyes but there's so much it's such a commonly held that you see so many like like you know, people like is this is so many people posting about this, like you know, videos and blogs yeah. and threads, and Reddit posts, and, and in the comment. And I'm just like, what someone needs to do, someone needs to do like a film called called Jenny, right? What they need to do a Jen, and they need to do the film. It's the same film, but from but her from perspective. Her. That would be awesome. I, th- I would watch the shit out of that. Mm. I mean, it's an <laughs> idea. I could write. I could, I, if I could be bothered, I could, I, what I want is someone <laughs> else to do it. You know, right. and I'm going to do that thing that thing now, but. But I've been trying. I've been. I've been planning. I've been thinking. And there needs to be. I need to. There needs to be a video out there defending Jenny Gump and her and her junky whoring ways. Because, like you know, because like I just don't think. I think. I think Forrest as well. You know, as well. Like you feel sorry for Forrest, but he's done better than anyone. I mean, you know, for for a guy for for a character like you know, he, he did. He look at all the stuff he got. He was probably. You know, he probably had the most success and and uh, interesting life and uh, you know, achieved more than anyone hmm. else. He just didn't know. I mean, yeah. he, just, he, had, he had no idea. But yeah, I mean, the Green Mile as well. I remember crying hmm. at the Green Mile. Um, and I, Michael Clark Duncan, I just thought this poor bastard. He must have been so fucking miserable during the making of that film. Because he's in tears in every scene, he's just oh. crying his fucking, he's just crying his eyes out. But the thing is, at the end, is like when he gets executed at the end, and I'm just, I'm just gone. And then I watched the film again about a week later, and I started crying about an hour before the oh. end because I knew what was coming, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 don't do it. Oh. It's just if we turn it, if we turn it off, will it not happen? You know. Yeah. But I do that. I do that thing. I don't do it anymore. But for a long time, I did that thing where, like, you know, when you you, you watch a film. You tend to do it on your own, but when you're watching a film or something and you start crying and then it ends and you just go, stupid, you know, stupid, <laughs> silly, fuck, cry, fucking Put crying. Put those feelings back in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're but leaking like, you know, out think, again. But I think it's important because I had this idea, like, because you, know, you see people these days, whenever you see, there's, you know, there's the whole sort of trend online of people doing, like, reaction videos. Mm-hmm. People have got entire channels, which is just them watching like stuff and reacting but it's always the same reactions it's either laughing at something or losing your god or losing your you're getting angry at it mm-hmm. and, and around and i'm like wouldn't it be interesting to do like a reaction series where the reaction is i'm gonna cry i'll mm-hmm. be bursting into tears every time that would be <laughs> just, an think, interesting take on that for sure i would yeah. I, i'd be pretty good at that one i think but everyone would just think you're faking it you know but which is uh, mm-hmm. i'm like no i would really cry really this much ugly I'll be like, no, I'm not faking it. I am this much of a fucking pussy. Honestly, I just like a pen leaks in my pocket and I fucking burst into tears. You have a lot of feelings. <laughs> anyway, so I think anyway, at this stage, I think that we, you know, we've all got to know each other mm-hmm. a lot a bit better, and uh, and so we can now uh, move on to uh, the next part. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, f- first half is out of the way, and I think, uh, I, uh, well, I hope there was enough information there for you to feel that you've got to know, that we've all got to know each other a little bit better. I can't remember. What did you say during that, uh, the, uh, you know, during, during the first half? Oh, I'll, I'll go back, you know. You, you've heard, uh, just for the, just for record, just for the sake of uh, clarity, anyone listening to this, this second half is being filmed about two weeks after the first half. <laughs> so, however, however, to make to sort of like make things easier, I am wearing the same pants. So that works. That I that, yeah, but, yeah. Oh, to be fair, 
I could have picked any date within the last 17 months and it would have applied anyway. But let's move, <laughs> let's move away from that. So let, now we get on to what the actual – this is going to be what the actual podcast, you know, whatever you want to call this, moving forward is going to be. Uh, and it's going to be uh, – I'm going to be utilising a resource that, to be honest, I've, I've, bought, I've wanted to use this for years and it's just one of these things I've just thought, fuck it, I'm, getting on, I'm going to get on it now. And it's it's utilising the content that can be found on a website called Scribed. Uh, Scribed is it, it, S C R I B D because everything's got to be cool. See, in my day, we used to put words backward, letters backwards. That denoted hip and trendy. Now you have to like cut letters out <laughs> of it, and that's it. So, so you've got Scribed. Now, you, now I'll leave links to. Uh, the website below. Now, I, I, I have a. Now, the thing about Scribed is it is a place where it's like, like YouTube is for videos and SoundCloud is for music. Scribed is for the just the the scrawlings and the random sort of like late night, the, the just the people who have vomited their fucking inner their, their psyche and their inner torment onto documents like PDF documents, uh, text documents. You know, even Word documents, people upload things. That's when you know they're proper. It's going to be something dodgy, like they've <laughs> uploaded it on a Word on a Word doc. They're not even a PDF document. But basically, and 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 to to say, I mean, these are people who, and and you'll you'll notice this as we go through. And uh, but the, 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 there is a special, unique kind of nutter. These aren't people who want to make videos. These aren't people who want to make podcasts or audio books. Most of them can't even write more than a page and a half. And uh, but but what they write is 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 quite. You're, you know, we are going to spend every podcast we do. We are going to spend you know uh, whatever amount of time we can uh, going through a selection of them. Now uh, today we've we've selected a few shorter ones, and each 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 uh, podcast there will be a theme to what we are. Um, to, to to the to the things to the uh, the documents that we are going to be going through. Um, now there are uh, uh, now we can't look at anything too big. It's got the, there are bigger ones on there, and I think we should certainly at some point probably do a poll. Like they've got things like they've got C- Cernovich's book on here on PDF docket. I started trying to read that like in Jesus, you know, you know it, my God. And then it's got my, it's got like Milo's book. It's got, ben, it's got all these <laughs> fucking, but it's, but like these are far too big. These are hundreds of pages, but yeah. there's loads of shorter document. So I think, so for this one, uh, so, and, and, and I've all, we've already got ones ready, but I'd, I'd like to hear, I'm probably going to do it as a poll. Might even do it as a poll. So like you tell, you tell me, give me a sort of search session. So it could be like, so for this one, it, this is going to be, um, the, the, this is going to be uh, sex, sexual, uh, uh, sexual advice. You know, this is basically you know sex therapy. These are documents written by people who feel that they can help you and assist you in your sex life. Uh, that is the theme for these ones. Uh, for these ones now, and um, we're going to start big. Now we're uh, now we're going to put. Now I don't know necessarily who has written all these things because a lot of these documents they're uploaded by people. Who probably haven't written it? I don't think you know. It's a, a, you know, there's some, so we don't know. And to be honest, the ones, the one intelligent thing some of these people do is they don't put their name on the fucking uh, document. Anonymous manifestos. So, I don't think it's anonymous as a case of like you know just uh, yeah you know, they they probably got some name that's like incredibly. <laughs> Easy, uh, you know, and based on this, based on the first one, right? And and, and all we're going to do, we're going to read these documents. We're going to go through, and I want you to understand these. The people who've the, these documents have been written by someone who is from the same species as you, <laughs> listening to this, right? Um, and uh, and Danny and I will uh, you know, chip in our uh, two cents. Now, the first one is a doozy. Um, it's uh, it's it, uh, it, it, it. I don't know who wrote this one. Um, but the title, the title would suggest that maybe English is not his first language, or not even his second, or just not even a language. But it's the first one is called "How to Masturbate Penis?" Question <laughs> mark. Now <laughs> I didn't know it was a question. The the, the document I, was uploaded as "How to Masturbate with Penis." How to not masturbate with, penis. With, how to masturbate with was the <laughs> upload title, but just how to masturbate not with your penis. Uh, but that isn't even true, is it? You don't masturbate with a penis. You masturbate 
a penis. Yeah. But you don't say masturbate penis. Like, you don't say it like that. That's like, that's almost like how Yoda would say it. But the, but the document, the title is How to Masturbate Penis? <laughs> Question mark. Like, like, even he's not sure of this. And this is definitely I'm a dude. I'm going to learn from this person. <laughs> yeah, you, you are, you, you are going to learn. I, I mean, you know, you've got a boy, you've got a boyfriend, so you can surprise him. Uh, you know, afterwards, yeah, you know, I'm sure he'll. Knowledge. I'm, sh- I'm sure he'll be grateful. <laughs> now, so I'm going to, I'm going to read this, and we'll sort of go for it. Now, I struggled to get through this. It took me about a week to get through this. Like, I mean, a brief history of time was easier to read than this. So let's start. Like, okay. That, that's how he starts. That's the first word. Who starts? Like, okay. Fair like, enough. all right. No, yeah. Already, he you know, and it's okay, A-Y, which I don't even know is that. Is, is that actually a word? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, um, okay, the topic might have raised your eyebrow. That's all it's going to raise. Yeah. Um, you might be thinking, what does anybody need to learn about masturbating with penis? Like... <laughs> That that is barely a sentence, isn't it? I mean, that's just read that again. You might be thinking, what does anybody needs to learn about masturbating with penis? It's like he's just I was he doesn't do. <laughs> yeah, he's just like he's, he started like you might be thinking, what does Lenny masturbate penis? Go? And he just gave up and just sort of couldn't yeah. be bothered. Yes, that was yes. I was even was thinking. The, the, he, he, yeah, he he continues. Yes, even teenagers do it, so it might be the simplest task ever. I, I don't think I think it's a bit insulting to suggest that because te- teenagers, if anything, are generally much more switched on and able to do things that fucking you know wrinkly old bastards like me. I certainly no teenager ever sat down and written this bollocks, <laughs> right? You know they're probably. I wouldn't that's have mentioned a, that's teenagers a, at all in, if I was writing. Yeah. <laughs> But he's, he's implying that masturbating is easy because teenagers. You know, but the way teenagers do it, so how hard? Can yeah. It be? E, but even teenagers do it, so it might be the simplest task ever. Right? Wrong! Exclamation <laughs> mark. Oh. Now, listen, are you ready? Now, this is a word. This is a this is a word that you're going to hear a lot throughout all of these sorts of documents. Masturbation is an art. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh no! It was it was was it Salvador Dali who said everything is art, which yeah, art but is it, you know. he did a lot of weird be, stuff. <laughs> well, no, it's because I, that that's the that's the position I would have if I was crap, if I was shit too, which is what Salvador <laughs> Dali was. Well, everything's art, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, why not? Yeah, masturbation is an art which has not received enough recognition. Oh. <laughs> What's even sad is that many of them do it the wrong way. Now, <laughs> have you ever had a discussion with another person about the way that you masturbate? And like, and and this guy's done it with enough, had this conversation with enough people to have collected data. Yeah. Um, Did he feel? I'm, I feel like I don't think that's ever happened. The wrong way. <laughs> I don't, here many I of, was many of, standing on my head, and <laughs> that was harder yeah. than it needed to be. Ma- many of them do. Many of them do it in the wrong way. Do it in the wrong way. Okay. And this is sad. This is sad. If I if I if some dude told me that he was jacking off the wrong way, I'd be like, <laughs> whatever. You know, I wouldn't like feel the need. I wouldn't feel the need to have a fucking dead poet society, like "Oh, captain, my captain" moment. Like this is a tragedy. Yeah, this is not like this is like fucking. Remember, there are innum- innumerable ways one can explore their reproductive organs. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think innumerous is. I think there's. One way. I mean, you don't explore. I always hate the way they use language like this. They say, "Oh, you're he's they're discovering your body." I'm like, "No, I'm not. I know what's there. I'm not discovering anything. I'm not exploring anything. I'm not getting to know myself. I'm not, you know, exp- no. I'm pulling me plonk around the house. You know, that's what that's what I'm doing. You know, it's an art. <laughs> it's an. I'm, I'm doing art. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm 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 being an artist. Yeah, mother, don't you know? <laughs> <short>. <laughs> stop, 
stop doing stop doing that you'll go blind i know it's the irony i will <laughs> masturbate so i will do so much great art and yet by the end i won't be able to see it because i'd have masturbated too much oh, it is the cruel <laughs> it, it, it is the cruel existential crisis that we go through um anyway this is that's the first paragraph so beautiful i think well i think we know enough already uh one problem one problem with masturbation is that it is a healthy activity for sexual health. Now that's not Ken, that's sent it's a healthy activity for sexual health. Wait, but, that's a problem. but oh it's more okay. No, yeah. It, it, masturbation is that it is a healthy activity for he's not saying that's the problem. Okay, he's not right. that fucking stupid. He knows that yeah. W- one problem with ma- masturbation is that it's a healthy activity for sexual health. But The social stigma causes us to feel ashamed of admitting that we have done it. I I just don't think anyone really needs that information, is it? I mean, like, what... It's not like... This geezer seems to, like, treat masturbation in the same way that sometimes I'm a shit, like, you know... You treat sex like, oh, last night, I got I met this girl last night, went back to our place, we did it 17 ways a Sunday, did it on a <laughs> trampoline. She jumped up there, you know, I wore her like a feed bag. For, you know, and you, you, and you get really sort of like, because there's a, per- what am I supposed to tell people? You know, <laughs> like, who needs it? What, what, how do we benefit from this knowledge? Um, yeah, it doesn't seem I like would say, something. I like would it. say... Uh, I would say, if anything, I think one of the things that the internet's done is like, and it's done it quite slowly, is it's normalised pornography to an extreme that we, we like. Oh yeah, I, think so. would, would, I, I guarantee you, like you know, the amount of people, like, if you went out on the street and stopped, you know, you, you know you're like any, like any anyone, regardless of how old they are, like you, and ask them, have you heard of two girls, one cup? <laughs> And you, you laugh, but only think about it. I mean, that's a that's a porn, that's a, a sex video that, like, my mum and dad who are in their seventies. Yeah. They would they would have they would know what two girls one cup is. Like, you know, people, you know, and it it's a video, of, it's, and it's a video of, but it's a video of women shitting and pissing and vomiting in, in each yeah. other, all over each other. It's not the sort of thing that if it would be common parlance that we would have as a sort of <laughs> as a sort of as a, as a sort of like you know as a, co- a connecting. Yeah, it's a pretty niche video. <laughs> It is. It's rather. I mean, it's fake as hell. Let's get that straight, because it's just. It's just ridiculous. It, it, there's no way it's real. Um, but it's. Um, but yeah. But like. And I just think it's normalised it in a way. Like it's. You know, because the the amount like everyone like. It's just but everyone's heard of you porn or Pornhub or, or mm-hmm. all these other stuff. Everyone like you know. It's just it's it's unavoidable now. Part of the it's, culture. It, because it's the yeah yeah and because like i think it was the well the last statistic i remember knowing regarding was that you know internet traffic like at any given time like <laughs> uh one one out of six people one 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 person out of five on the in internet like a fifth of internet traffic is pornography like at all times yeah uh, any at uh, any time yeah. it's probably it could be more than that i mean it depends it's um but um but yeah. it's definitely, but it's like, so if you're in a five person Skype call, at least one of them, <laughs> one of them's probably statistically, wanking. You know? Yeah. Statistically, one of them's jacking off. Can you, that'd be a good game show. Would that be, oh, the, that'd be like, just five people on a Skype call, one of them is wanking. In their hand. <laughs> you have to, and you get like, it's like 20 questions. You can ask them to anyone, and you've got to work out like which one of them's jacking off. Oh. And you say this, and, and we laugh. But that would be a success. Everyone would watch that. Like, you know people would fucking watch that. You know, It's a thing that's apparently happening with, like, Zoom meetings. Yeah, but, I mean, to be a th- that's been happening all the time. I mean, that's happened... All- I remember that happening with fucking Stickham. You probably, you probably don't remember Stickham, but, like, Stickham was, like, the... You know, that was, like... I mean, lag was ridiculous. It was like having a phone conversation with someone who's on the moon. It was, like... You know, it was all over that. And you had, like, you know... Nine, you had like nine people in, but like you know, but that that was stick. And then you had Blog TV, which was a bit laggy. But then, you know, then you know now all streaming is quite sort of uh, done quite well. But um, anyway, he then sorry, he then goes on. So you know, admitting we've done it. After all, what is wrong with self love? Like, and it's not saying self love. It's not yeah. self love, is it? It's you know, it's <laughs> not love. It's not it's not hate. 
it's not love. I mean, it's not love either. It's um, it's uh, you know, it's kind of it's like a pressure cooker. It's just <laughs> taking this take. That's that's paragraph two, by the way. I hope I hope you're taking notes. Is that is that all this guy thinks self love is? That well no, no well no he's just he's just uh, he just doesn't like the fact that we don't talk about it. Mm. You know, even though we have, I've got a podcast now with someone else. I'm sat here talking Ooh. to an audience of thousands of people We're reading this country. So if, if so, in, if, if anything, this guy wins for yeah. this one because we yeah. are talking about it. <laughs> um, paragraph three in this article. We shall be it. We like like there ain't two people involved in this. There is no a second person. This is <laughs> you on your own because that is the fucking that is the very base root of wanking. There ain't two yeah, people here. I don't. I don't think. I can't believe two people were this fucking stupid at the same time. <laughs> um, in the same room. In this article, we. We shall be educating you about mm-hmm. master- masturbating, and it would be beneficial for you if you read it till the end. Like, who has to tell someone that? Uh, the thing about this uh, piece of writing is that you should read it. <laughs> yeah, to the end. To the end. don't read don't all just of it, actually, <laughs> and, and don't just don't read every other word. Don't just don't don't cut out. Don't just cut out the adjectives please or please adverbs. Stop. Please you, don't stop reading. <laughs> don't be, you know, don't be one of those fuckers. You know, don't you sit there and. You know, but you got to read it. You have to read it to the end. And to be fair, I'm glad he fucking said that because this is a whopping <laughs> like 260 words or something. I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even joking. You could you could fucking tweet out this entire article it, it, during one good shit. You know, it's not exactly... Read it to the end. As there are no classes for it... Oh, of course. Yeah, that would be appropriate, wouldn't it, in this day and age? I think that's the fucking... There are no classes like for it. That would be a porno. Like... But, How because no, nobody's that nobody's that stupid. I mean, it's like it's the you don't need it's classes. I mean, it's something you can just say. By the way, just to see your hand, put it there. One thing, you know, there's that song, the, the OK symbol. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. That's it. <laughs> As there are no classes for it, and neither the school curriculum is planning to add it anytime soon. I I guarantee you, he contacted. The local education board has suggested it because he says that he doesn't need to like he says that like we need to like they're not going to be adding wanking to the school curriculum you know this is this... like the opposite of most of the fear mongers about school curriculum they're like yeah. they're teaching kids yeah. about yeah. their body he also f- he also fails to understand that sex education at school isn't about how to do it well no. or how to enjoy it. It's about the, it's about the just like the sort of fundamental basics and the biological and but like and all that shit and what happens when you did that. Yeah. It's not saying like you know it's not suggesting positions or ways for you can you know it doesn't have like well they don't have ejaculation etiquette like we yeah. like, you know like. <laughs> That would actually be a hilarious class. You don't go. You don't go. You don't go to. You don't go to woodshop. Woodshop, and they go like, "Today, kids, will be doing glory holes." Now, you know what? Can I, can you you... Future the leftists want. Let's have like a porn college, and we can we can teach the art of masturbating with penis. But no, but th- th- that's just no, no, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be with. I'm. Jo- I'm gonna have to join up with the moral majority. I'm gonna have oh, to be no. Jerry Falwell on this because, like, <laughs> that's just bollocks. That's just you know. That's just like. <laughs> I- I'm not paying because you know. Have you seen the fucking fees for edu- university? I'm paying fucking twenty grand a fucking year for for, oh, yeah, for yeah, an yeah, unnecessary. Yeah. The you know. college, <laughs> all all education should be free, and then you could go get porn education if you want. You can, mm. you know, we'll have every porn, porn education. Yes, yeah. porn porn you. Uh, yeah. As there are no guests, uh, it should be an essential topic in you, sex I education. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in sex education they they cover masturbation, but they just oh, don't yeah. say. But they don't sit there and <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not going yeah, into like various. You know, they're not talking about 
like different te- techniques or you know things you can do to play. it's not about enjoyment this is a thing he doesn't seem to get it's like you know he doesn't seem to understand yeah this that, this part of the not, fucking that's not thing. what belongs in school with children <laughs> it should be an essential topic in sex education but sadly it is more about pregnancy and ways to avoid pregnancy i'm pretty yeah. sure those are the same those are the same thing in yeah, the, those, those they're are, both equally important one creates because if you're talking if you're talking world. about pregnancy then you are <laughs> going to be by default talking about avoiding pregnancy yeah and you know what are they even thinking? <laughs> Planning to open a maternity hospital with a bunch of teenagers? <laughs> what, what are you talking? What <laughs> a maternity hospital? Because teenagers don't get pregnant. Yeah, this is why. <laughs> if they, t- if only they taught them about. If only we taught them about whacking all the time. <laughs> Just... Don't that'll, stop. That'll stop all the teen pregnancy. If you obviously. if you never take your dick out your hand or your vagina, then you can't put bits in it because it oh, won't yeah. fit. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, if you're always masturbating, then you anyway. can't <laughs> get pregnant. This is he's about to end. This is the preface. He's about to end. Okay. It. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> let us let us move on and learn about various tips while masturbating. <laughs> now I just said this. As he said that, I just had this image of you know, you know, of of I literally of Willy Wanker going, you deserve the world of pure imagination. It's just it's like him taking us on a, I'm taking you on a journey down Willy Wanker, the arc, yeah, over the arcing jet of semen and into the, the <laughs> oh god, into the gym sock of of wonder. That is, wonder. That is okay. So he's now divided it up into five subheadings or like chapters, if you will. Now, I want you to pay attention. This is the point when I nearly had a fucking just, you know, my brain short circuited. Num- chapter one or, you know, or bullet point. <laughs> chapter is a generous fucking term. <laughs> but it's called identify your stroking. Now, don't know what that means, but I want. <laughs> But the opening sentence, this might be one of... I, I think when I die, this will be in my top ten just, like, unimpeachably fucking stupid things. I have just unforgivably just <laughs> just completely and utterly, like, triple lobotomy fucking use. It's just stupid. This is one flew under the cuckoo's nest bonkers, right? <laughs> Bearing in mind... Okay, this is, this is about masturbation right now mm-hmm. keep in mind the components that are used during masturbation in regards to your own body right now this is this i i know i don't need if you need me to tell you what is wrong with this next paragraph of english then then you, you can fuck off right <laughs> like because i'm i'm not doing it okay are you ready for this okay y- y- the hands play the most important role while masturbating. (laughs) I'll say that again for the people at the back who didn't hear it. Your hands, plural, right? Let's get that. Your hands play the most important role (laughs) whilst masturbating. Now, I don't know about you folks, but there are only two roles in terms of body parts whilst <laughs> masturbating. And I'm pretty sure that the other one that's, is slightly more vital than your fucking hands. Because if you have no, if you don't have hands, but you have genitals, you can still masturbate in some form or another. But yes. if you've just got a pair of fucking hands and a fuck and bugger all else down there, what is the fucking point? This guy wants to wrote a. He felt he had the authority to write this fucking thing called "How to Masturbate with Penis," and he's and he's he thinks the most important thing, the 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 most important component, the most vital fucking bit in the two part components that bit that there is in wanking is your fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, what is it? The, the sound of one hand clapping is just the sound yes. of like, two hands whacking. Is, off I'm nothing. just picturing, like, <laughs> I'm just picturing, 
I'm just picturing like Action Man. <laughs> You know, like you know, like with the with the or like one of those geezers from the fucking Heaven's Gate cult who had it there, their, their, their nads cut off, and he's just like, that's just a yeah, it's, not, it's not doing much, is it? He's just trying sort of prodding it. It's like percussion yeah. at that point. Yeah, I mean, but it's like it could put some maracas on it. I don't know what he's <laughs> like, but, but your hands, and again, he hits hands. Like yep. nobody uses two. Like you know, nobody. <laughs> No one, and you wouldn't want to, would you? Can you imagine? It would look. It comes really a point. Funny. I mean, it would look stupid, wouldn't it? It would look <laughs> fucking. It would look ridiculous. But anyway, that. Ne- le- <laughs> I want you to just get. We can get over that now. All right. It next. So next bit. Now that is that. That should be the end. I mean, <laughs> he should be like in in. You know, when I am king, he'll be first against the wall for that. That's one, why right? he but, warned us we need to read farther than the next thing. Yes, I mean, I'm so glad he told me to read to the end because I never would have <laughs> got. I get to die knowing <laughs> that this fucking. I mean, it's what one, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight words. Uh, that's all. In, in eight words, he managed to completely and utterly destroy every bit of fucking, you know, faith or humanity or hope or <laughs> fuck, you know, just gone. Right. Next, anyway, carry on. It is important to recognize your own way of stroking lo- your schlong. Like, recognize what in case someone starts doing it for you, or like they sneak into the room, and you go, "Hold on, this that isn't me." <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's yeah, it's important to know what what rhythm you have going on. In it's like he talks dancing. about he talk, It's like it's like I can see this. I is can, that you know what the invisible got, hand is? I bet he used. I bet he had like one of those Yamaha organs with like the different beats, like bossa nova, and <laughs> you know, and 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 and, and uh, you know, cha cha and the fandag, and he's going. Boom, boom. He had he had a fucking metronome. <laughs> he, had, he probably he. he, he, he he had all this, you know, he probably had like a fucking one man bank. He had like a drum kit. He had fucking cymbals under his arms, fucking harmonica. Like, you know, like just. He's a one man wanking band. He's a one. He, he, yeah, he, he, that, that would be the one. Yeah, the one man wank, wanking band. Yes. You would hope so. Anyway. <laughs> However, it is a matter of practice and time. No, no, it's not a practice. If time by like minute, you know, like minutes or no. I mean, it's like there's no. It's Jim. It's quite sort of intuitive, I would say. If really? anything else, I don't know about your bits and pieces. I don't know about the the woman's. I don't know how intuitive they are. But <laughs> for the man, it's pretty much. It's like the night. It's like before the Nintendo came out with the gate with the pad. You had all we had was the joystick, which was the big thing stick with the button on top, and yeah. that was it. Like, like, you're like, oh, was, I already know how to play this game. <laughs> yeah, or, or the amount of things you do, like fish it, the fishing rod, you have like all the things you, you know, it's, how else are you going to grab it? Are you going to be like, right, under the under the leg? <laughs> like you're a fr- like it's a Freemason's handshake. Um, anyway, strokes can be rapid, slow, or a mix of them. It's your choice. <laughs> Change is as good as a rest, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. There is no generalization on how one decides to tame their dragon. <laughs> now, I'm quite if I'm wrong, but dragons don't exist, do they? They're mythical beings that that, 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 that call that thing of the toothless, which is you're so gross. <laughs> I've never, the name I've of the dragon. I'm, I'm, I'm a man who dragon. I like. I, I, I like to think that I'm a man who probably knows more euphemisms for masturbation and the male genitalia than most people <laughs> need need or require in one lifetime. I've never heard the term tame yeah. your dragon. You gotta add I've heard that oiling up, to I've heard you oiling up your already. baseball bat, slapping your granny. I mean, I've heard all these, you know. Uh, but um you know, you got choking the chicken, you know, strangling the purple headed womb ferrets. I've heard all these ones. Oh, you know, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard chasing the dragon. I used to do that a lot. Yeah, you know, but that's there was... a different <laughs> activity. You don't need to write about that. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep. Then he goes, keep your motion constant. Right, go to the end. Right? Okay, and uh, keep you your motion. Con- keep your motion constant until you achieve orgasm. Who needed that pointing out? Like, at what <laughs> point do we stop? It's like, dude, you're gonna know. There's a definitive <laughs> end. 
there is a definite ending to this. Okay, it cannot. That whole you know, that's the, was if anything, if anything, that's the one thing about the male. You know, the, when men orgasm, whether it's masturbation or with a partner, is when the man comes. That's the end. That's you know, <laughs> at least for them. You know, for them, yeah. The they're like, yeah. okay, it's time for break. Uh, but listen to this, how he finishes. Keep your motion constant until you achieve orgasm. If you are confused, which stroke to try? <laughs> what do you mean confused? Who's confused about this? I've don't never met anyone. Fast enough to hurt yourself and don't do it slow enough that you're not enjoying it. Like, wow. Mm. <laughs> what? And don't do it. And try and keep it in, like into a sort of like a 4-4 four, four beat. Don't do like some sort of like... <laughs> Don't be like one of those alter like those those white jazz bands that just it's a, you're making you know, it into like a waltz. But yeah, but you know, <laughs> but yeah, bum, 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 or, yeah, or maybe uh, yeah, maybe you do but it don't, like march. But don't, 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 do it. don't do it. Don't do it like you know one of those sort of like improvised alter uh, you know jazz fucking you know those fucking that, band, that, that music Before that sounds like a masturbation. The, that that music that sounds like a, a blues quartet being pushed down a long flight of stairs. Well, it is you know it is a you know j it is a jazz mag. You know, you would probably, it is jazz. You know that is an expression for pornography. A jazz mag rhythm oh, yeah. magazine. Um, remember, masturbation is an act of self loving and doesn't deserve a quick and abrupt ending. The one thing that masturbation Nick can be is quick. Who drags it out? Who's like got that much free? Like you know, it's like. <sighs> Man, the one—it's yeah. the one time when you can just go whenever. Like you could just like put your hand. You just think about it. And go, oh bollocks, I've come. Oh, but it doesn't matter. There's no one else. So you can't. You can't disappoint yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Number two. Number point two. Do it slowly. <laughs> now he's just—he's just spent a paragraph telling us to <laughs> fuck around. He tried. <laughs> To, to go like fucking, you know, you know, put your fucking death metal on, or listen to some <laughs> fucking, or put Portis head, or maybe right, some fucking, you you know, some, some Nina, some Mo, maybe some fucking Miles Davis, whatever the fuck you want, but go at what, just mix it up. And now he's telling us to do it slowly. Most of our stigma, reg our stigma, right, regarding masturbation, is derived from television clips. What? <laughs> <laughs> Television. Yeah, usually people on television talk about how quickly they orgasm when they masturbate. You, I remember television. That. How old is this cunt? <laughs> television. Oh, the old idiot, but ah, oh, the old talkies. <laughs> I bet he uses the term box social still, you know what I mean? Oh, man. They have marketed it. They have marketed it as a shameful act that should be done in utmost darkness. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have, I, I, I'm listen. I've been he doing stares so right at his own junk as he jacks on. I, I have spent this this November. I will have spent. I would have been doing stand up comedy like for nineteen years. So, and in that time, I have done thousands of gigs in front of rooms full of tens of thousands of complete fucking strangers. You know, right? You know, and I have told you know you know hours of material based on little else. <laughs> then, then me, you know, then you just, you know, then just me, just yanking myself off in various ways or fucking reasons why that's funny, you know, it's masturbate. Like, what's it like? The uh, uh, utmost darkness. <laughs> it's like, we don't, like we don't turn the lights off. I don't want to look at myself while I do this. I might be sick. Oh, the no. shame. shame. Oh, the shame. I'm clean. <laughs> Get thee to a nunnery. Um, uh, remember, you are not running in a race, and nobody is going to snatch your baton off your hands. <laughs> well, <laughs> masturbation is not a relay sport. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Now, now we're talking wanking Olympics. Like you have, like <laughs> where you have the relay with the baton. You've got to. You can't stop. You can't let go until the guy's, and then you carry on, and he's like. <laughs> Wow! That, yeah, now that's, that would be that's, a way more entertaining sport. Now that's than fun. just regular snatch, track. Snatch your, <laughs> snatch, snatch your bat on. That's the only time. That's the that's the closest to a snatch this guy's ever been. Is someone <laughs> snatching? Do it slowly and take your time. Masturbation must be enjoyed, and every moment <laughs> must every moment must be relished. Like. <laughs> 
must be relished. But is why? Why, like why, is, why is he so, boy? Why is he so intent on me enjoying this in a way that, like, it's it's so annoying. It's like he's it's alone not, all the time. Like, also, he, he's for got my the money, time to enjoy it. For my money, like, day. there's no, there's no part of masturbation, however long it is, whether it's thirty seconds or forty five seconds. Like, it's it's always, but it's the only the end bit you're getting for. It's not <laughs> like you just. And also, there's this little thing I don't know called like you know chafing. <laughs> but there comes a point, you know, when I'm just like, sorry, mate, but it's bright. It looks like my dog's <laughs> at this minute. It's, oh, no. this, bright, this, this fucking thing's Time glowing in the dark. <laughs> this thing's glowing in the dark. Right? Okay. <laughs> point number three. Lubrication is a compulsion. Compulsion. A compulsion. I, I, I don't think you know what that word not, means. Not, not advised. <laughs> compulsion. <laughs> <laughs> lubricants, which, by the way, lubricants is the only word he has put in bold lettering. <laughs> uh, lubricants are import- important in case of masturbation. In case of masturbation. In case, in case of masturbation, break glass and... I'm sorry. There's just like some vessel. Can I just say I've just I've just finished page one. We're nearly at the end, right? But I just want to like this is. I don't. I, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't think this guy, you know, went on to produce any more. This might be his. This is his to kill a mockingbird, yeah. right? And like, it's the only thing he ever did. Right? Lubricants are important in case of masturbating. Uh, if you are using bare hands over your penis, bare hand, the right to bare hands over the right your penis. to bare hands on your penis. Yeah. If you are using bare hands over your penis, like as a, like a lot of says bare hands, like like it's not normal, like that's not the normal way to do it. Like, <laughs> like most of us have gloves, but hey, <laughs> yeah, a pair of marig- a pair of bright yellow marigolds is what I've got. Is it gay to masturbate with bare hands? I mean, you're I know, a dick. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> I normally take the I take those the silicon discs off my longboarding gloves and do with Velcro because I'm like come on oh, a little no. bit you know? Yeesh. I use a, I use an oven glove you know it's a lot harder <laughs> than there's only two fingers there's like a thumb that is very, exactly it's like very, <laughs> much more challenging it's, it's much more... <laughs> or, or, or a baseball mitt you know or something oh, like no. that no that'd be so hard to do. <laughs> Or, or if you've got like one of those giant fucking like uh, replica uh, 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 Infinity Stone gauntlets. Oh, there you go. go. See, that's a classy way to do it. And then uh, which I'm sure you're done. You know, <laughs> which, uh, you know, which I need really. I mean, no one that big anyway. But if you are using bare hands over your penis for a long time, the friction. Thank you. I already pre- did. I not say this back earlier when he was telling us. When you enter hour three of your like <laughs> mastur- of your max masturbation opus, because right, you have be- to do it slowly. The fr- the friction developed might not be good for you. True. Um, well, I says might not, as if friction could be good for you. Maybe you know there's like you know there's a reason you need some friction. Maybe you're trying to you know I don't know, but like rubbing a balloon against your fucking head or something. <laughs> um, I don't- in, in, it can cause loss of sensitivity on your penis for a... Listen to this. These Listen to this. The last two words of this sentence. It can cause loss of sensitivity on your penis for a minor magnitude. A minor magnitude. A minor magnitude. This guy was so proud of that sentence. They have this. This is something. This is a, This is an expression they have in like because you've got skateboards, but then you've got longboards. But I've also learned there are there are short longboards. I'm like, what the fuck is the point in that? Like, isn't there? You can't have a short longboard. That's a skateboard. It's like, <laughs> like you know. Anyway, lubricant lubricants, but bold lettering are important for <laughs> masturbation as much as they are for sex. I would say no. You know, like, <laughs> like. They're not important. It's not important. It's not like you, you're going to have to postpone it because you've got, there's nothing lubricant. There's no lubricants around. You forgot your lubricant. People often use lotion in place of proper lubricant. Lubricants, but it should not. But 
lotion it, lotion should not be used. Remember, such lotions can cause irritation and allergy on your penis as it is highly sensitive. What lotion are you using, <laughs> mate? You, he's, put, he's fucking using toothpaste or something like that, isn't he? He's like, I mean, yeah, just don't get something that's, like, full of scents. I reckon someone's put some, like, DP some regular in his fucking... Lotion. Yeah, it's like, it's like DP, or it's like some of those fucking... Those creams that fucking, like, take your the hair out. Or yeah, it's like all that, or I don't know. Or what's the, um... Or just that... that, that fo- it's probably something like polyfiller. Or, or, you, know, that's, that's, you know that foam you spray in fucking things that expands? Oh, yeah. Stiff. Those it's are probably fun. I love those. Lo- <laughs> lo- lotions right. <laughs> i'd read to think the fucking you know, the size he's probably got a he's probably got a chest filled with just lotion like lubricants from around the just world have really sensitive skin <laughs> Especially this guy fucking, do it so slow the, the amount of fucking effort this geezer the amount of effort this geezer puts into it i don't i'm amazed he's got anything fucking left out there he's probably i mean he's a professional He's probably worn it down. He's worn it down to a nut, and he's not a professional. Professionals get paid. Professional <laughs> jack off. Chapter four: uh, testicles before anything. Now, that, I don't know about you. That is might be a t-shirt. I think that we need test. That needs to be a meme. Testicles before anything. Anything like anything doesn't matter what context you use it in. Right, what's what? Right, what are we doing tomorrow? Testicles before <laughs> anything, my friend. This guy knows where his priorities are. Right, right, class. Uh, the, uh, the 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 curriculum is testicles, <laughs> then anything. Right, it's like it's just, whatever it's we do, the first thing you must always do testicles, definitely. Yeah, before before anything and after nothing, testicles. Dude, the, I te- learned oh, that testicles. word from Fear Factor. Testicles today, <laughs> testicles tomorrow, <laughs> testicles <laughs> before all else. <laughs> well, this is what the, well the word testify comes from is a derivative oh, of true. testicles because uh, I don't know what fuck I can't remember but they used to hold their bollocks in their hand and if and if some men were it's unfaithful to their, their, their wives wife. when when they took their when they took their wedding veils they would hold their testicles and if they cheated they'd have them cut off. Oh my you know, goodness. Which, and people think feminists today are a little bit pushy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, your testicles are... Listen to this sentence. Like, this needed to be written down. Your testicles are very much a part of your body. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Very much. Very much so. They're, and, uh, they're a party. Very mu- <laughs> they're very much, very much so. As it's much as anything else, all body. testicle, all testicles matter, right? Don't, oh, ig- no. don't ignore, don't, ig- do not ignore them. Do, we, I need to, I need to, can we get, can I do like a sort of Martin Luther King? Going, do not ignore them just because they hang out of your body. <laughs> no. I love that, I love that, I love that experience. Don't ignore them because they hang out of your body. Mate, everything hangs out of my fucking body. That's what a body is. My arms, my legs, my head, my nipples, my arm, everything, yeah. nothing else. Like, like my bollocks. My it's bollocks attached. aren't like unique in that way, you know. It's like, it's like, a... like, did you know that your nose is actually part of your face, even though it's yeah, but, it's, but I just love it. It's like it hangs out of your body. Like, <laughs> like, like the, men, men are walking around ashamed of their knackers because <laughs> because <laughs> because, because, like, uh, because how dare they? Know? That's why men get older. Like they hang lower. <laughs> The yeah, shaming, the, <laughs> the, sh- the shaming, like they belong in yeah, your- the shame increases. You just want no, just go, you know, <laughs> go back in. Ha- hangs out of your body, <laughs> fucking hell. This ge- nothing. This geezer's never hung out of anyone's body, right? Here. <laughs> they are also, they are also. Did you? This another use, very relevant and necessary bit. They are also very sensitive due to their containment of various nerve endings. What do you mean? <laughs> Various nerve endings, but more than one. Yes, my bollocks have got more than one. It's not even nerve endings. It's to do with your bollocks being in there, mate. It's like I've got nerve endings everywhere. I've got nerve endings up the fucking wazoo everywhere, from head to toe. If anything, inside and out. My brain. Try, try, 
Try rubbing them with one hand while you keep stroking your penis with the other hand. Whoa, and, a novel idea. And I, which I'm just like, you know, that's next level shit, man. That's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. <laughs> and, you know, oh, that's like... Um, balls. They need, you know, <laughs> they need try... <laughs> I like to try rubbing. Try. Like, do try or do it. not. There is. Yoda said, do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Bring your balls. Lubricants you are, are yeah. compulsory, though. Lubricants, obviously. Well, I mean, but, <laughs> but, but testicles before anything. Like, lube, te- testicles, lubricants. And then. <laughs> then speed, then stroking your pit. You can. Right you can this is great. You can also improvise as per your prep. What do you mean improvise? Like, this is like, you know, well, I'm going to pretend, okay, uh, th- we, this is like, so I'm going to be uh, a shopkeeper and, and this is like <laughs> fucking improvise. Like, you're just like going, skibbity bab bab, skibbity bib bib. You're like, yes, and. <laughs> like, as if, as if, as if, like, as if like, all other mass forms of masturbate, as if when you masturbate, it's traditional to follow a pre written script or prepared fucking <laughs> I've got to go, I've got to ha- end on you know stroke 138 <laughs> and, oh that would be and, the worst kind of OCD that so what did we bad. learn there folks? we learned that testicles are a part of your body despite yeah. what our science would Before have you believe else. we shouldn't Testicle. ignore them we shouldn't ignore them just because they hang out and oh, be careful course. because they're a little bit delicate hmm. <laughs> Now, they now have finally, nerve yes, they have, nerve, they have nerve endings, not beginnings, because <laughs> be, you can't, you don't begin with nerves, because testicles, nerve endings, te- they're like they're before anything. Number, l- lastly, finally, stimulate your prostate. Oh, <laughs> how many hands does this guy have? Well, I mean, this is well. I mean, I, I don't. Well, I mean, how it could have long. You might have like that. What's that condition where you get long? Marvin's mm. s- s- syndrome. You know, where you get like long limbs and that. You know, mm. over that. Maybe he's got like. Maybe he's got like. What? Maybe he's got like a, a glove, like one of those ET <laughs> things. Or, oh no. Or, or if he goes, you know, or maybe if he goes like, if he, if he's like, if you angle it, maybe he could get round into his prostate and just keep going. Mm. And like you know, and tickle his balls from the other from the inside. I don't know. This is something I cannot. But this is what I've been reduced to now. Like it's like is is this imagery? So <laughs> anyway, stimulate your prostate. Mass stimulate your prostate. Yes, this is like that's that's like you know. St- <laughs> it just sounds like something like from some nineties fucking <clears throat> Def Jam hip hop. Like you know, like. <laughs> Stimulate, yeah, you stimulate. Go wreck yourself before you wreck yourself. (laughs) Prostate's gonna prostate, bro. (laughs) Stimulator's gonna stimulate. I like how the speed. He's like, yeah, you can try different speeds. I mean, do it slow though. And then he's like, definitely. Always stimulate your prostate. I bet this guy's a fucking good accordion player because he's got like you know. (laughs) Oh, but anyway, masturba- so let's get through this. Like, yeah, we're nearly there. Masturbating oh, yeah. is not own is not about penis only. Not about penis only. That's the how mm-hmm. we wrote that. Not about penis. Well, we know it's testicles before. Why does his penis yeah. have no articles? And and why would we only think that when we've learned that testicles before anything and lubrication and nerve endings and uh, now now we've got to add prostate to uh, mm-hmm. to the end of it. It's uh, you know, more uh, complex than i thought <laughs> yeah it, it's it's it, it's fucking it, it, yes it's um it's a real yeah masturbating is not about penis only people often mistake this thing that's just all you wrote that's the end of the sentence <laughs> this thing what what thing <laughs> do what that thing what thing they did <laughs> they mistake this thing you can't use the word thing in this fucking because it could be any Anything, prostate gland, the prostate, not you know, just prostate gland, like that's his name, prostate gland, like you know, Mister Prostate, you know, Sir Prostate Gland yes. is situated inside men's anus, not your anus, 
or the man, or the man's anus, but men's anus, and men's with an apostrophe in between the. It's S. a bunch not, of men, and they share an anus. Yeah, not men, you know, not the male mm-hmm. anus or the man's or yeah, man's anus. Um, a male anus. There you go. <laughs> it is. It is. It is prone to great pleasure when stimulated. Use lu- Use lubricant. <laughs> bold lettering. Or use lubricants on your finger, mate. If I'm sticking my finger up my ass, <laughs> once it, you know. Use lubricants on your finger, right? Not lotion. Oh, no. Um, use lubricants on your finger and insert it inside. Your... Right, I get that already, mate. I don't, this is... <laughs> Remember to take it slowly, right? You do not need to tell any... It's going to take, like... like I, I, I don't... I'm, I'm personally... I don't like anything. I'm not... I, you know, I'm, I'm not into things, you know, fingers <laughs> or bits going in and i just yeah. don't it's not my thing and mainly not just for my for the fact that i'm not into it but i don't want anyone i don't think any human being should be you know mistakenly ever go near my anus i mean it's <laughs> like it's it is a fucking there, there should be an exclusion and i'm like just go don't do it it's not fucking it ain't worth it you know <laughs> like this is like you know it's like this is the one chip cha- challenge of analingus it's not fucking <laughs> worth the fuck- you know, yeah. Everybody's uh, yeah. a mess these days. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm. I'm at this. Uh, well, uh, this is the thing. Well, as you get old. Well, as you get older, we always farts change. Like, like I occasionally, at least once a week, I'll do a fart that is so bad that even I can't stand it. You know, <laughs> like, like yeah, when you're go when you're sat on the toilet, you go, Jesus. <laughs> It's like if I've been eating Zyklon B or something like that. What the fuck the hell am I? <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, yes, so, so l- use lubricant. Remember to take it slowly and relax yourself. Before. No, I, I think I think you should clinch your buttocks and just... <laughs> <laughs> wrap your fingers... You can cut circulation your off of your fingertips. Yes, wrap your finger in, in skateboarding grip tape. <laughs> no! Clinch your, bu- clinch your buttocks and just fucking go for it, right? Oh, no. Let's see what Use for, for his pleasure. Now, 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 we've just got the conclusion, the end, and we'll finish. You'll we'll get through this now, uh, we're because we're at the end. I'm sorry. I, I know it's a lot you've taken on here. The above points are enough for doing a perfect masturbation session, <laughs> because that is what the that is what every man is seeking for, isn't the it? It's like golf. Yeah. It's like golf, you know. It's the it's a quest for perfection. Like mm. this, this is the perfect masturbation session. You can also. By, and he, he's actually got this is actually highlighted in blue and underlined because he's got mm. a link to it. You can buy certain male masturbators to enhance your masturbating experience. What further? But you just said it was perfect. Yeah. How can you enhance perfection? One should always remember that it is not a dirty act. It fucking is. <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, let's it be honest. Mess. <laughs> I mean, if it's any, fu- if it's going to be any fun, it is. It's, I mean, it's. He it seems to be ashamed of the idea that something dirt. I mean, it's. It's like it's not noble, is it? This is not like. This is not an act of fucking of gentleman. This is not gentlemanly. It's not chivalrous or anything. You. Are, we live in a negative sex culture. That I will okay grant him on that one. He's finally yeah. now. But he's not talking about sex. You know, um, he's like he's talking no. about. Uh, we live in this negative sex culture, which has influenced our thought process. Do you know that our culture has influenced our thought process? We I was live not... in a society. We live. We live. This guy lives in a fucking <laughs> in a box under the ground. He lives in a he lives in a shed in the middle of fucking nowhere. Right? This is the, take it take it as a way of exploring your body and loving yourself. Ah, the That's end. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is how to masturbate penis. Buy penis by by, by anonymous. The man who's like the hero, who you know the true heroes. You know, do not they they just give. They don't want the recognition, but. That because that's obviously useful for those of us with penises, uh, me and 
others watching. Um, but this is a if you haven't got access to your own or someone else's, then that was of no use to. So, so if you are, if so, so this one's going to be so, Danny, this one's going to be. I'm going to read this next one for you. Okay. And uh, anyway, now you do have to have, but you don't have to even be. Uh, well, no, this is mostly directed at uh, women. He just referenced <laughs> that. But I mean, you know, depending, like, but I mean, you could possibly, some of them might apply if you go. But saying that, anybody who gets anything from this fucking, what I'm about to read, you know, you should consider, you know, I don't know, castration, chemical castration, anything really. You should just uh, t- take yourself out of the, of the gene pool. Now, this next one is called How to Watch Porn with Your Boyfriend. Now, it, it is a list of 40, I'll repeat that, 40 fucking things. Uh, and, 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 and I, I can't imagine there being that many things. No, no, there are that many things, but, you know, um, he, he runs out pretty quickly. I mean, to say there's padding here, to say he's overcompensating, <laughs> you know, like, as if anyone, like, you know, but also the title... It, quickly becomes irrelevant because it's called how to watch porn. Like, like it's, so this is supposed to be a how, I don't mean how to watch porn. It's not like, you know, it's, it's like, it's not like, how do I, how do I watch porn? Where you use your eyeballs, don't you? Right. Yes. <laughs> right. Write you that, look at it. Write that, yeah, <laughs> write that down. Eyeballs. Right. Uh, so it's not like that, you know, um, so Danny, Danny, you know, again, again, you know, you've, uh, you know, you can, so this is a set, another thing you, in fact, you should get, you could get the porn out to surprise your boy mm, and yeah. then te- teach him some of the masturbation tricks. Oh, of course. You know, remember, I my test, notebook out. remember, right. and what do we, what did we remember? If nothing else from that, well, testicles, testicles, anything. And lubrication I'm, I, is compulsory. I, I, I am, I am totally putting that on my tea public. <laughs> I'm just going to have a black t-shirt. Te- plain white text, testicles before anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get a bold should, lubrication one? I think that should be Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's campaign slogan. Oh. Biden, Kamala, Biden, Harris, 2020, testicles before anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's got hairy legs. <laughs> yes, yes, lubricants in capital lubricants. letters. <laughs> Stimulate your prostate. That's yeah. like they're all of the. There was loads of good slogans. Loads of good slogans you can come. Loads of good catchphrases. But you know, just nothing else. Is yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's like weird horse horse names. For a bit of horse racing <laughs> and stimulate your prostate. Coming up behind, coming up behind lubricants and lubricants are there coming in. and in between here he comes now and, uh, and coming up right now the back. It's the wanker coming in with a late run. The uh, <laughs> big. Big tits is squeezing into the butt in between buttocks with a poof coming up behind with the prick in between. And <laughs> sorry, that's a Derek, that's a sketch by two comedians called Derek and Clive. I shouldn't, be. but it's <laughs> anyway. How to watch porn with your boyfriend? So get your notes out, folks. Yeah, in. I'm getting gotta get sh- yeah. getting ready. I wouldn't. But I mean, you know, don't. don't <laughs> this, but, you know. I'm about to get um, learned. Uh, you know, if you, you, you should be a number one. And now, right off the bat. This this it shows a detachment from like, reality and something. Number one, pick a por- pick a porn movie that is similar to your sex life. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, um, but if I had a sex life that was similar to the porn that I watch, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have any fucking porn in the first place because <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the thing, isn't it? You know, I mean. There is no, there is no disappointment pornography, is there? There's no like you know. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, there's uh, there's ruining. Yeah, but that's still ruining is still like preceded preceded by other stuff. True, and, and that stuff that actually like, you, don't, you don't get the key, you don't get the geezer who's too, he's so excited he's on the bus and he goes oh I can't believe I'm going to do it oh bollocks I've come I just might. <laughs> I had an idea of once for like a, a, you know for a gap in the market in the but which was asexual pornography, which was basically a, as a woman housewife bored at home, and uh, the sink's broken, so she calls a plumber. Plumber comes round, looks at the sink, spends forty five minutes fixing it while she's reading a book. He fixes it, she pays him, and he leaves. <laughs> the end. And uh, basically, that was, you know. Uh, you know, and it was going to be a new thing, eight of asexual porn. But apparently, you know, just uh, nope. Um, <laughs> so pick a porn that mirrors your. Now, do you? Can you think of any? 
you know, I mean, I don't want to pry too much uh, here, and uh, you know, I don't know how you know, deep, but um, I I also like how it's a movie, which implies yeah. that you're like hunkering down and like you're well, people on doing it. It's like you're not just googling like. A, but I mean, the movie, the movie, the movie aspect of porn is just that. I mean, like. This is why people don't really watch movies anymore. They just get clips from movies, or yeah. they have individual have that much attention span. And, and they have they're, they're set up in the most tenuous way, you know. And, and like you know, and that's the whole point of porn. It's just there because yeah. we, everybody everybody acknowledges that this is ridiculous. I just so, like, yeah. I'm I'm not. I don't, I don't need there to be a plot. Like yeah. that's not. <laughs> I, I, I like I like that's it. That's not what I'm there for. <laughs> I like it when you get one where it's like when it's like naughty schoolgirl disciplined by teacher, and you're like, this woman's about forty. Yeah, I, I know this because she was in the previous scene I watched as MILF <laughs> or or cougar. Porn. When you can do yeah. all across the board, you know, um, that's when you are fucking riding too close or to like, the sun. Honestly, just straight porn in general is kind of disappointing, in my opinion. But I mean, there's a lot of the thing. There's things about porn, like there's there's aspects of porn, like my favorite. My favourite position to watch in porn is reverse cowgirl, but you, I would never even attempt that because it's just <laughs> so, there's so many fucking. It's it's going to be a. You got to hold the woman up. She's got to hold herself up, and it's just. Why would you just do that? It's just like it looks. It's purely a position like for invented, sport. If invented for porn, well, for sport. <laughs> I, you know, I'd like to think that, you know, I haven't got that, I'm not that terrible. We have to sort of, like, turn it in, you know, but I mean, um, but yeah, but um, that, that's a, that's the thing that he didn't mention, and, you know, one thing you can do, this is a thing, is a thing called the danger wank, mm. right, if you want to try this one, which is where basically, if you're, if you still live with your parents, right, you wait until your mum's in, and like, and you basically, and you, 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 you start beating off, and then, just when you feel you're getting close to the end, you go, Mum, come up here quick! And you've got to finish before she gets through the fucking door. Right? Oh, and be no. like, and, and uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, you know, don't say, oh no, after what we like that. You know, I know. It's one of my go to, like, ooh. That, if, that, <laughs> if that geezer who wrote that last one fucking heard me say that, he'd be like, ah, I see you are a connoisseur. <laughs> I see you are somewhat of a traditionalist in this. Sort of, yeah, but anyway, ah, oh, the danger. Right? I prefer just to shake hands with a random homeless man and go home. I and can't not, not hear it in the same tone as Danger Zone. Mm. Mm-hmm. Day highway to the danger, danger wing. Yes. <laughs> anyway, okay. So uh, number two. So, so we've worked, we've established that you know you're going to be so farmyard frolic. Saying so that this would be quite good. Also, he doesn't take into account here. What if you are a porn star? And then obviously the porn films are going to you be. You just like, show your own. Yes, yeah, the thing. Like, if you make your own, you there know. you go. Here's me with all my stuff yeah. that I like. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> But also, if you, I mean, also, I just don't, don't know whether, like, oh, do you make, yeah, yeah, it's oh, totally like, you know, uh, my life is totally like poor. Like the other day, me, I'm just there, my, uh, with my best mate and my stepsister, who's <laughs> like 18, and like, you know, and we ended up just spit roasting her, like, whilst my dad was asleep on the couch, and then, and then he jo- woke up, and then wouldn't you know, he joined in. It weren't weird at all. Like it was totally, you know. <laughs> And somehow it went on for fucking what are you, 45 Trump? minutes. I'm no, sorry. No. <laughs> oh. oh no! I'll tell you what. Though, if you you know just that's that that was one of the big trends that just sort of like you could see like on when you went on to uh, like porn sites and the ones that were the most sort of trending. Well, it's always step. Categories. It's step, yeah. But they do. Well, to be honest, it's, it's, it's not. I have I have seen I have seen so, so, like individual scenes uploaded multiple times. Right. I, we've, it's, they just change the title. Right. You know, they just say step step brother and step sister. Exactly. Stepfather, stepfather, and stepdaughter. Yeah. You know. Which you know, is like, it, <laughs> I don't know. It, I think it's funny, well, like when they look by like in the U.S. by state. Like to see mm. what what each state looks up most. Mm. Oh, my, I remember it was like um, th- there was the funniest one was uh, I think in the south it was lesbians and uh, ebony lesbians was like mm. in the deep set, which just like is totally could have predicted. Yeah. 
Yeah. That. And um, and like, uh, oh, actually, I, I, I think I lesbian have... is the top category of porn Lemon. for all people. But that's not gay, gay. You understand when they talk about gay people, they're talking about it's men. Gay it's, porn you know, that's for for straight people a lot of the time. Let's let's, let's have a look at the um sort of like porn uh, categories, US. Here we are. Okay. Oh fucking hell! This is for um. Uh, this is for uh, t- for 2010, and lesbian covers one, two, three. Well, there's like literally about the, half the country is le- lesbian. <laughs> you know, big fat lesbian mammoth bollocks, right? Yeah. So we've got literally like Whoa. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Yeah, there's like and 25 states here. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously, I mean, there's Texas, Florida, with the dangling genitals of Florida, and then you've got like the the northeast, uh, the, the east coast, the west coast, um, the people in the middle, and um, cartoon right in the middle. There, it's quite, it's interesting. You've got lesbian. You've got a sea cartoon from porn. sea, really from from sea to shining. I wonder what C stands for. Yeah, from um, <laughs> from she to shining. <laughs> she. Uh, then you've got cartoon in the middle, stepmom, lesbian stepmom cartoon, stepsister oh. on either side, stepmom okay. in to- top left is stepmom. Then you've got cartoon okay. again, stepsister again, with uh, again stepmom in the middle. It's all stepsister. And ebony is two, 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 there's two flanks of ebony in the, it's sandwiching a lesbian. And then there's just, there's, there's, there's ebony, lesbian, ebony, black, lesbian, oh. cartoon. So lesbians, apparently. So you know, for a country that is it's like, weird, so that the reticent. terminology would be different in one place. Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii, Asian, obviously, hmm. um, and stepmom for Alaska. I think that is, oh. which is this, like you know, what was um, with that incest fetishing? That's here we are. The most viewed categories in the United States. There's hmm. only three, which is teen ebony lesbian, which is literally my. You. One of that is literally ones. what I. That is literally what's in my looking for <laughs> section of my dating profile. Um, it, in in any order, you know, I'm not a I'm not a fussy man. Anyway, um, but, oh uh, man! Welcome Sight. to Mississippi. Welcome to Mississippi, where we, you know, the foam of the Mississippi River and cartoon pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! The year in numbers. Here we are. Forty-two billion visits. Pornhub. That's. That means it, what each person visited Pornhub nine times in the course of the year. <laughs> that is ridiculous. 115 million visits a day. Do you do? 6,500... Right. The internet is for porn. 6,597 petabytes of data. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know either. You know, um, terabytes? Pet, pe- petabytes. Petabytes. P-E-T-A. Like the people... The ethical treatment of animals. I don't think they're related in any way. Um, I hate them. <laughs> per hour, this is seven hundred and fifty-three thousand gigabytes an hour uploaded to. That's about as much. That's more porn than I watch in a week. You know, and <laughs> voyeurism, okay. cartoon voyeurs. Oh, I tell you what, you know, uh, BBC. I mean, I guess the... it's a lot more ethical than real voyeurism stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cartoon, gangbang, Chinese, big tits, cream... Pu- this is like, again, this is a horse race, again. Um, we t- Most search porn stars... Oh, we wouldn't know. Um, am I on the top 20? No, I still haven't <laughs> made it. Um, yeah, I don't want to flex or anything, but my OnlyFans... According to my OnlyFans, uh, my profile is currently in the top 99.2% of profiles. So, you know, mm. I don't know who the 0.8 are beneath me, but... Um, <laughs> So, you know, just don't want to show off or anything. Most viewed verified... Oh, God. There's a, oh, look, there was a 15-second increase in 2019, 2018, <laughs> of like, there you go. See, that's people probably read that How to Masturbate Penis yeah, thing. Yeah, they slowed been, down. They slowed down a bit, like extra 15 seconds. That's a, I mean, in, in fucking... If that was, like, if that was like a guy, a guy who was an Olympic runner, that's a fucking year. <laughs> you know, um, to, you know, <laughs> Anyway, we've been doing this now for like I've been banging on for half hour. We've only done number one. Let's move yeah, on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so once you so once you've picked your gay, lesbian, ebony, teen, hentai right. pornography, um, uh, for, for the, whichever one it is, Farmyard Frolics Twelve. Mm-hmm. Number two, set a date allowing at least two hours for movie time. Like, oh I don't God. know why you 
like don't spring it on him. Just don't go like you know. Don't don't don't, Are don't you just sort to of like tell him that you guys have like a, a porn date ahead of. Well, him? I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming. Well, I, well, I don't believe that this is the kind of thing that a man would suggest. A woman would have to suggest this. I mean, it's called how to watch porn with your boyfriend. So I'm assuming it's not like the boy would boyfriend would suggest it, and then women went, "Well, how do I earth do I fucking deal with this conundrum?" <laughs> and then they Google it, and this fucker luckily. Fucking this mm-hmm. fucking here to help. Th- this this capeless hero came along and wrote this down for it. But I'm assuming to me it's like that's something that a, a woman would have to suggest. But so that's why you need to so set a date and date allowing for like you know whatever. What Number do you three. Write on the calendar. Uh, that well, I mean that's a judgment call. Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it matters. Um, I would just put like a giant, you know, the classic sort of, day. Or, or just the classic sort of you know. You know, cock drawing of just bo- oh, yeah. strong. You could bollock. put an uh, eggplant emoji on there. You could, you could do anything. I mean, you could do anything. I mean, it's like you know, you 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 know, whatever suits you. I don't want to <laughs> pigeon. I don't want to pigeonhole anyone. Okay. okay. Um. This now this number four. No, number three is this is possibly the most curious and confusing use of the of the term etc. Um. I ever heard number three set up set the room up with refreshments. Toys, safety measures, etc. <laughs> okay, refreshments. Well, presumably you're doing this in your apartment or where you live. So there's going to be refreshments in. Toys, I think there should be enough to keep you entertained anyway. Here, uh, you know, and <laughs> unless they mean things like, you know, like hungry hippos or like plunk or something like that. <laughs> it's like a slumber party now. No, well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Well, Hungry Hippos, there's probably a porn for that. It's just, you know, four, you know that f- five big, fat, sweaty lesbians in a, in a sauna called Gorillas in the Mist or whatever, something like that. But there's Hungry Hippos, and and um, I don't I don't want to watch Operation. That would probably... Ooh, or uh, That would be like yeah, snuff porn. Yeah, or like... Um, I'm trying to think of board games now that would be like... Guess who? That's just a that's just an orgy in the dark. Yes, right? who? It's a glory <laughs> hole porn. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, etc. Now, when you use the term etc., it's when you're listing stuff off, and you get to the point where you think, right, well, they they know the rest. You know they what can I work mean. the rest out here. But what are safety? <laughs> what are safety measures? Like safety, like what? Seat like belts, fire helmet. fire extinguisher? Yeah, <laughs> helmet. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and an actual helmet. You mean like a literal safety helmet, not like the like for your bicycle. Not, yeah, not 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 a helmet like the bell end dick, like the end of the cock helmet. You know, the, uh, we don't say that. Helmet. That's amazing. You don't, well, we have yeah, helmet or bell end is the um, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> well, it, it, well. The thing is, it does look like one of those Nazi. If it had a spike coming out of it, it would look like one of those like Nazi helmets. But the <laughs> the, the bell, there's a there was a band. It, there's a, a band in the UK called uh, a rock band. Who, it, 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 kind of shortly, but they were called the Darkness. I don't know if you. Heard, they, they, I believe in a thing called. Light. Yeah, I love that. Right, they had a Christmas song that came out called uh, called it, that was number one, uh, and, and it was a uh, it was like it was Christmas time. Don't let the bells end. And the only reason he did it, he wanted to. He said he always wanted to write a Christmas song with bell end in the title. <laughs> That's like. I'm and you'll hear so so whenever you hear the term if you ever hear a, a, an english a, an english bloke refer to another one as as a bell end that's what he's talking about gotcha. okay so okay the so you know. set, number 4 set the volume low to allow for personal choice of music like this is the one time you can turn the porn up like you don't have to she's in the she's in the room with you this was her idea you don't need to sit there like you know <laughs> jostling between like you know, like you gotta, two, those you gotta two. put on your mixtape, dude. Yeah, you need to put. You know, we just put on some like you know Burt Bacharach. You know, on some some. Uh, like, I don't know you what you figure would... out. What's going to sound good with other people moaning? We used to play this game. We're like, see, before the internet, we used to do this thing. That we, when we bought like the soundtrack for like um, Pulp Fiction, there would be scenes from audio from scenes from the film. Mm-hmm. And you'd get and and when we used to sit up in a get drunk, we would put on a Muppets Christmas Carol, turn the volume down, and then play audio from scenes 
in Pulp Fiction and try and match it up. Now you no. get this, and this was not this was before editing and YouTube and before any of this stuff. So you just had to like try and get it to match up. <laughs> and um, but when it did, it was fucking wonderful, you know. And it, like you'd be there all night doing this, you know, or you'd be watching Star Trek or, or Star Wars or something like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, so um, number five. Bring a pen and pad with you to take notes. <laughs> guys love guys love the studious you. Oh my god! Do they now? Mm. Notes. There's one thing I love. It's a woman who takes notes. You know, who's a, <laughs> oh. a studious. Be a student, like you know, like this is the point where the guy clearly is pushing his own agenda. Now, bring a you know, bring a pen and pad. I'm pretty sure most. You know, it's not going to be... You can remember most of the, And if you don't, you can ask, you know, what was the next bit? You know, like, what was that, you know? Um, then you... Okay, number six. Comment only on method, not on relevance. Like, like her earrings or how the cameraman is a ball gazer. Now, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm personally thinking, look, balls, balls are inevitable. Yeah. In, testicles before anything right as we you know, right. you know i mean so but i don't think it's the cameraman gazing i think it's like what do you want him to do i mean he's not the like the whole job is to look at it happening he's not this he's not this isn't the cohen brothers or like you know <laughs> or you know he, he's not going to be doing anything fucking but it's just a camera man pointing it he's like you can't have the balls removed like superman <laughs> like henry cavill's mustache in fucking justice league or whatever or like just um, but like yeah but like comment on her earrings like i don't yeah what do you um, know what i'm thinking about oh, it's, uh, you know, oh, it's, oh god i like you know I, I, I wonder where she got that eye shadow sh it doesn't matter she's gonna be fucking caked in 50 <laughs> blokes fucking she's gonna look she's gonna look like a roman candle in about two minutes so if <laughs> Um, you probably have okay, to know a makeup artist do it. Like, yeah. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't comment on irrelevant shit. Oh, so yeah, like, no. Just like that. No one cares about, you know, we don't want to hear about the cinematography or whether it's like, you know, or the, um, <laughs> you know, the sat or you moaning about the saturation or any of that bollocks. <laughs> um, we want to. <laughs> Number is seven. Artistic. Now, now, this is where he starts tripping over himself. Number seven, don't ask him what he thinks about something that's happening on screen. The truth is you don't want to know. What? Like, it's... What's the point of this? Exactly. I think, what if he's doing something, you know, I mean, what if it's something, like, that's only going to be his problem? Like, like, like what, if, what if she's fingering his dick, his dick hole? <laughs> And you are going to want to know because if he's into this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can make note. You can. What's the point you with the pen it, and pad? You got your notepad. Then he says, "I'm going to reverse the next two because it makes more sense that way." He says, "Don't compare. Don't ask him to compare yourself to her. The truth is, you don't want to know." I'm like, <laughs> <clears throat> "What do you? What? What exactly? Like, why? First of all, why would you? I don't think you would ask, but like." Why would you? Why does he insist imply that it's it's default that the woman in the video is obviously hotter than you? <laughs> you pig! I mean, what is like? It's like what is the? He's he's calling himself out for who's his prospects are maybe. Yeah, but this is number. Then we go on to the next one, and this is and again bearing in mind the last two. Treat this as a learning experience. Where you ask fuck all, where you learn fuck all about like, anything. Like... Treat it as a learning experience. Yes. That's why you have your notebook. I don't know what you're supposed to learn. I mean, it's supposed. To, I thought it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience. See, this guy's too obsessed with learn. See, this yeah, is what the geezer. Who, the, 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 he, the geezer who was wanking was treating sex education like it was some sort of you know. A porn, porn, pornograph lessons in pornography. Mm -hmm. This geezer is treating watching pornography like it's a fucking, you know, like it's a, an assignment or like something. Class. You know? Yeah, this is your exactly. Home. These two cunts need to hook up. You know, they're like the, they are each other's fucking yin and yang and be like a normal. Or, yeah, yin and or wing and wang, wing and wang. Or, um, <laughs> okay, uh, number ten. Be completely naked with your partner. This is bonding time. 
Okay. This. What time is it? It's bonding time. <laughs> You have to have a notebook time. and you have to be naked. Yeah, well, th- th- these are... Listen, you work the rest out, you know, for yourself. Um, <laughs> can't, isn't that a thing they used to call it for, for a woman to test whether, you know, to test her, her breast saggage was to put a pencil underneath her breast and if it stayed there... It was yeah. heavy. Yeah. You know, it was weird. Yeah. There, there's always those weird, like, trends that people are like... No, I remember saying. I remember. I remember. I've dated. I remember. I was dating one girl. And I was like, "Have you seen my fucking word processor anywhere?" And she's like, <laughs> no, and this is an interesting one. No cell phones allowed. <laughs> Not to, to, you know, turn them off. But no cell phones allowed. Even though you could take notes on that, and you know, <laughs> and watch porn on them, and watch porn on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, no cell phones allowed. And self, I mean, like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's a fucking library now. He is, again, he's treating it like an exam. Um, yeah, none of this sounds fun at all. Yeah, you can't, can you put your, have to put your hand up if you want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Unless, of course, he's into that, in which case you can just piss on his face. <laughs> but you still, you know. Um, number 12, only watch videos you are interested in. <laughs> like, isn't that okay. just... Like, it's pornography. Isn't that what you're interested in? Like, what's the fuck... <laughs> Like, oh, let's let's find something I don't like and let's put that on and take notes. I don't know about you, but I've been looking for you know I've been I've I've been waiting for the you know the scatter you know scat nurses seventeen <laughs> for years. It's in the, because I you know it, I'm hoping it answers all of the questions I had left over from scat nurses sixteen. Oh, did they leave you on a cliffhanger? Yeah, not since Kung Fu Panda three. Yeah, not since Kung Fu, Fu Panda Three have I been left you know, in such a sort of you know hanging in suspense. Anyway, um, don't be romantic if you're the bloke. You say right, let's put the porn on, and he turns it on, and he's hooked up a webcam, and it's just filming you two sat on the sofa. <laughs> I think that would be such a baller move. This is all I want. Ah, oh, coming yeah. <laughs> that's it, you know. You're in like a then you're in like a dirty shirt, you know. And um, yeah. number thirteen. Write questions down you want to ask, as long as it's not about the content of the video, what he right. wants, what he likes. And, you're and, not you know, supposed to or not actually the... talk. Of, you're just going to sit there quietly. And is it just me, or is this cameraman just obsessed with this guy's bollocks? I mean, I, 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 it's just like a lava lamp bouncing in front of me. It needs to be a gif. This is like this sort of this is like the ball bag meat spin, this is the meat dangle or whatever. There's fucking early days in there. If anyone doesn't know what meat spin is. <laughs> yeah, Google it. Meat spin, blue waffle, and lemon party. Yep. Go for it. They're Go all... for it. Now. Um... <laughs> the original <laughs> trilogy. Oh, yeah. The original. Oh, yes. And, um... oh, Tub Girl as well. Let's throw that in there. Just to... <laughs> um... Tub Girl was great because Tub Girl took you about 10 seconds to, like, but a twist in your head going, what the fuck is going Oh, my God! <laughs> like, you know, like... I always let impre- people I- tell me what the titles were so that no one else could trick me into mm. watching them. I was lucky. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, anyway, 14. Remember, the porn stars are only actors. Some of the stuff they do just shouldn't be tried. Like, <laughs> Why? Like, oh, it's okay to whack off to it, but don't do it yourself. I mean, it's okay for, you know. It's like watching Jackass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Jackass is like, we used to do that all the fucking time. I mean, that's why Jackass Jackass wasn't a... Jackass wasn't an idea that someone had. It was a show that was born. Women. It was just that's what people did. That's what everyone <laughs> did. We all did. we used to do it. Like you know, me and my mates used to do it. We'd be there fucking snorting chili powder and putting cigarettes out on each other and eating <laughs> mo- eating mouldy food and pissing on each other when we were asleep. That's what we you know. You know, men. that's what you did. They just oh, don't give me that men stuff oh. like. like as if women did not watch Jackass. No, we watched and it. it. We just exactly. were hot men. <laughs> yes, but, see, see, this is the thing I've always maintained. This is what I've always said. Women, whether they, they won't, they might not even know it and they, might, and they won't admit it, but women, things like man flu or things like when men do a Dutch oven, 
Like they blow off and <laughs> hold the curtain. Women love it when men do that. Like oh, they, yeah. they, oh. they, they, they and, and, and the reason why is it reaffir- it reaffirms every single thing that you've ever thought about men that they're <laughs> stupid, <laughs> immature, childish little twats who who wouldn't be able to fucking get out of bed and find their socks if you weren't there to fucking gold their hands. Oh my god! Because we're a bunch of gibber. Because we're a bunch no, of gibbering simpletons. So. Men are just like statistically more likely to do weird risk taking for like stupid reasons but also the other thing is that it, but also men are allowed to do stuff like that without being judged if, oh. if jackass had been a load of women pissing and shitting and <laughs> stapling, stapling, stapling their piss flaps stapling their piss flaps together like it would have oh, no. been no no you know it would have been you know it wouldn't have been tolerated but yeah women wouldn't have been allowed to do uh jackass uh, uh, like that but 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 also here's the thing i've always maintained that like programs you know programs like bear grills and the mm-hmm. survival these people who do these extreme survival and they show you how to survive the extreme conditions that is just jackass for, mm-hmm. for pretentious people who yeah. who uh, who want to fucking have, who who you know they can't jackass is just this is what it is here is a man you know you know you know, pissing on another. Man. Here is another man like eating, but eating shit. Here's another man stapling his testicles to his inner thigh. Here's a guy getting, a, you know, what doing whatever. But and and it's just for the sake of it. There's no point. It's just for the sake of doing it. Whereas <laughs> Bear Grylls takes the very same thing. There's nothing in Bear Grylls that you won't see in Jackass. Right? And all of the things you see are just as useless. <laughs> like, you don't need to know how to survive. In the ser- in in the sub-Saharan in the Saharan desert, or the Arctic oaks tundra, because you're oh never going to go there, <laughs> you know. And I've seen, I saw him in one. He was like to to stave off um, dehydration in the Sahara desert. He picked up this fresh elephant turd and squeezed it, the moisture out of it, and drank. Yeah. It. Now if St- now if Steve O did that or Johnny Knoxville, that would be like, oh god, it's so immature, it's child, you know. But it's like, but it's not, you know. But it's like that's what if you're know, dying. Exactly. Well, obviously they've got, but that's the thing. It's got to be dressed up as something because they haven't got the. They can't just sit there and admit that this is fun to watch, you know. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so write down questions. Uh, they're only actors. Uh, okay. Watching watching amateur porn is also on the table now. No one would have. Again, this is where he's running out of ideas. That's not a how to. Yeah. And, you know, surely there's the amateur porn is like what you're supposed to be doing, you know. Right. And, I mean, you know, it's, let's face it, I mean, amateur, I mean, the, the difference, this is the difference in, like, in porn, like the gap between amateur porn and, like, big budget porn is, it's like stepping over, like, it's like stepping over a manhole cover. Whereas in Hollywood, it's like the gap between an amateur movie and a big budget movie mm-hmm. is like the size of the Grand Canyon. But um, True. yes, but uh, yeah, but amateur, 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 um, amateur. Uh, yeah, a matteur, a matador <laughs> porn. Me- number sixteen. Men love a woman who participate in things men like. But that's what you're doing already. Like, so number 16, he's out. We can confidently yep. say now he's out. So let's burn now through these. To fill. And, he's, and he then puts in parentheses, like pornography. I'm like, what the fuck am I reading this for? <laughs> like, you know. 17, if your man doesn't like porn and you do, then have him take notes. How about just leave him alone? Like. <laughs> respecting each other's fucking boundaries or whatever like what did this like oh you don't like porn uh and what is he supposed to write down that's if he doesn't like porn and he knows that at this age yeah like what is what is he gonna take notes on you're gonna he's gonna yes what's gonna sway him one way what argument could you rationally conjure what logic ben shapiro get ben shapiro on this one mm-hmm. ben i need a lot i need an arg- i need a fact-based logic argument <laughs> to tr- to talk talk a full-grown man into pornography <laughs> like yourself basically um 
I just imagine he's so tiny. I just imagine his wife just like wraps him up in a bin liner and just shoves all of him up. Her. Um, <laughs> That's four. He, he's, yeah. Well, no, he's he's like he, he's so short he has to go up on his missus um, <laughs> <laughs> with a step ladder or um or a little hot air balloon. I don't know. I've just uh, I've thought too much about this. <laughs> Or like maybe like one of those like ladders that extends. Maybe like one of those fireman's ladders that extends again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because you know the, the speed that that guy talks, you'd think he'd be quite good at, at oral sex if he actually <laughs> could fucking if he didn't if he wasn't terrified of vaginas. You know? Yeah. And like, um, right, uh, number eighteen. If you don't know how to give a great blowjob, watch Lacey Duval. She's oh my in my top. <laughs> Brackets, she's in my top three. Who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> though. And I don't know, I've really never heard of... Actually, I, me. If, and also, what are you supposed to learn for, you know, from what... So he's in the top... He didn't say she's number one, just top three. Like, she could be, like... I, I, I've never heard of her. I'm looking her up. Fuck it, you know. I don't know who it is. I'm, I'm not afraid. I live on... I, I'm not afraid. I live on my own. Right, I can <laughs> I can look up stuff now without without fear of. Here we are. Lacey Duval, top three. This is this is the top three of the guy who wrote this. You know, uh, I- images. Right. Uh, oh, she's a she's a donkey. No, she's not. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, she. Uh, oh yeah, she's a. So what, uh, let's look, look at the actual. That she's a she, she's black. Uh, from Washington DC, moved to Los Angeles when she was six. You know, very keen. Hopefully, not to be por- a porn star. Um, yeah. uh, at the age at the age of eighteen, obviously, she began a career name under the name Pebbles. Um, okay. I just think of Fred Flintstone's door. Is it Pebbles or was it you know that was it Bam? Yeah, I think it was I can't Pebbles. Remember. Yeah. Um, before adopting her current stage name, Lacey Duval. Um, vagina hurts her screen debut was in Dirty Debutants which began filming two days after her 18th birthday fucking hell what, what wow. were you doing the next, what were you doing on day one then hmm? you fucking lazy bitch you could have <laughs> oh, there you no. go anyway Lacey Duval yes she's that's it I mean, no, I mean she's uh, how old is she now uh, she's 18 like, she's 38 now yeah, so she's still pro- 18 she's properly fucking you know she's a uh, She's yeah, the one that's you, good at blowjobs. Is that the? Is oh, that what we're learning? Well, she's fucking. She, well, I mean, I don't know that he knows. Top I don't five. know if you can tell someone's. How can you tell someone's good at blowjobs from watching a video? It can be <laughs> fucking awful for all. That, you know, it, it might be like getting sure, whacked off by Edward Scissor. It might be like getting whacked off by Edward Scissorhands for all I know. I don't know what it's fucking. <laughs> Number not okay, okay. Next one. Uh, and, and and just in case you weren't sold. On that, on that one. If you want to know how to give a better blowjob again, Lacey oh. Duval. So he's just written the same one twice now. Dude, what? If you want number twenty, if you want your man to learn cunnilingus the right way, show him the put, show him the tape. No, you don't. Why don't you, you just tell him? Like he's there. <laughs> again, this guy's got the reverse problem as the other geezer. Like he's watching yeah. porn as if it's like as if you're going to learn something. Like you know, I've never seen a woman like. That these women are like going to be interested in whatever you do. You could be down there, fucking, you know, missing everything. You know, you might, you know, it could be, it could be all like, you know, dick and bones and thumbs down, fingers and thumbs down there. <laughs> you could have all the sexual prowess and you know, and the excitement of a fucking Russian contraflow system. She's gonna be moaning still. It doesn't matter. Number 21, if sexual performance is low in any other area, show him that... Okay, he's just saying, watch porn. Just watch porn. Number 20, whatever the... Pornography is a source of visual aids, and I need to make this clear. He misspelled the word aids. (laughs) (laughs) No. And and there are only a couple of... And only the the last few movies made by John Holmes were technically visual aids for learning and not just filth. No, they are just filth. I've never... Do you know what? I accidentally learned a little bit of German once from a porn film. Oh. But without intending to. <laughs> because it was a it was a VHS it was a VHS video it was in English but it had German subtitles and I watched it so I was like fourteen and, and so like didn't, this is pre internet this is pre internet so so like I watched it so many times that eventually I just after a while I could just speak fluent German porn but like none of these like. <laughs> 
Like these these phrases were of no use in any. I wouldn't have passed any exam with it. But it was like you know, like. Oh. <laughs> okay, twenty three. If it's filth you're into, show him the. T- Again, this guy just runs. A- I'm actually going to skip any skip the next few because it is just showing the tape. This is a good one. If he tries to disrespect you in any way, he doesn't deserve poor night. Kick him to the curb. Like, <laughs> I like that one. I like the fact that he says, insists that this woman forces this guy to watch <laughs> pornography against his will, and yet she should dump him <laughs> if he says, "If he says, love, I'm not interested." Right? Honestly, you know. How to watch porn with your boyfriend? This isn't, Don't this have isn't a even boyfriend. how to. This isn't even how to anymore. This is just watch <laughs> porn. <laughs> This is watch porn. Watch porn on. It's like this is like the fucking elixir of any. Por- it's like, what's the solution? Like watch pornography. It's like, you know, <laughs> what do we do? Are we? Have you got corrupt? Have you got a? Is he got a headache? Put the porn on. Right? Have you got a? Mm-hmm. Like it's like this is the default solution. Watch porn and call me in the morning. Exactly. This is like the fucking broad spectrum antibiotics for fucking you know relationship if you're not turned on by po- pornography take notes of what i know <laughs> take notes yes uh note number one i do not like this <laughs> i think this guy needs to take some fun. you know i mean i mean the fact is, the fact that this guy i mean uh, he clearly wrote this in between por- he was probably watching porn whilst this was going on and like mm-hmm. this is why if you're disgusted by pornography, stick with Taco Tuesday, not um, not with porn. You just said we should stick with it and take notes, you fucking brat. <laughs> now, and Taco Tuesday, what the fuck is that? Got? What, because if you're not into porn, yeah, if you're not into pornography, eat Mexican food, because then you're up. At least your anus will probably still sting the next day from... <laughs> I have no. I am not ashamed to admit I did use that line once with a woman. So like, I, like you make like you go on a date with a woman, she eats something really spicy, and you go back and you say, "Look, your ass is going to hurt in the morning anyway." So, <laughs> and uh, because I can't not think of a joke and not say it, it has to be <laughs> like you know, uh, it could ruin everything, but it's you know, it's worth it's it. For the, of, like for the sake, for the sake of art, you know, and um, my art, the art of ruining. Sex, not the art, of, not the art of fingering, or the art of fucking of of, you know, of cock fingering, or like, <laughs> or whatever the fuck. If you think this is a bad idea, you're probably getting cheated on. Sorry, what? I don't know why he's apologising for. Like, <laughs> he's the one that is the other person. Y- yeah, <laughs> but, but he's the other man. Yeah, this is that guy at school. This is like the guy at school who you thought knew everything about sex when you were like a teenager, who you <laughs> asked, who di- who didn't know fucking, who didn't know jack shit. You're like, you'd be, but you don't know. You know, it's all like, it's just they just say anything. It's like Jay from the In Betweeners or whatever. Um, right? Do you put your balls in as well? Yeah, you can do. You can put your balls <laughs> in. You know. Yeah, I got sucked off and I pissed on her face. Do you, do you piss on her face? Yeah, that's how you finish blowjobs. Like, that's, <laughs> Did she have an orgasm? Of course she didn't. She's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> if you okay, if you have never okay, um, if you've never watched porn before, pick movies with a theme. Isn't porn the theme of the movie though? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a porn movie. It's like that's the. No, I heard you liked Star Wars, so hear me out. <laughs> yo, 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 dog! I heard you like. <laughs> I, I heard that you're into you know the uh, you know you know the history of of rugs in late eighteenth century fucking sp- you know uh, Persia right well this is the porn for you um, like this some epic stains get on it okay pornography will not save a bad relationship that's not what we've been led to believe so far. <laughs> I'll agree with that point. Yeah, but it won't fucking destroy. But you know it won't necessarily not save it. <laughs> it could be the it could be the source of a bad relationship. True. You know, it's okay to fool around during the movie. Oh, is it? Well, thank I you. We were supposed to be fucking notes. Thank you, R. Kayla. Let me thank you, Nurse Ratchet, for giving us permission. <laughs> you know, 
Like we're going to be sat there going, oh, we can't touch. I can't. Oh god, no. <laughs> just, you know, just like can I, can I just like prodding, just Learning poking you. Only no pleasure. Twist, allowed. Twi- twisting your nipple, doing the radio. It's the BBC, you know. The, uh, trying not to. Oh, women love that when you do the old radio tune and nipple twist. So. <laughs> Or you, or you squeeze the breast and do it. Pinch them. Just pinch them really hard. Yeah. Oh, they they love it. There's nothing, <laughs> n- nothing like a very nothing like an inappropriate joke to really sort of get the, uh, you know, get the old whap out and uh, get the whap going. And um, <laughs> um, your boyfriend slash husband wants to explore your sexuality, so do it. Right now, he wants. What the hell is this? This is so good. Two step. Do you know what? This is like one of those things where you write a story, but you fold. You write one line, and then you fold the paper over and pass it to someone else, and they write the next. And it's like just a bunch of incels and losers yeah. have passed this around. Like, and, and this is like a is what forum they thread. With. This is not an article. <laughs> It's not even, yeah, this is just a Reddit, a subreddit for fucking, you know. <laughs> this is just, no, this is No Nut November and the other 11 months. Be open to try new ideas afterwards and during, not before. Do you know why? Because testicles before anything. <laughs> like, no, no. Yes, your boyfriend, yeah, your boyfriend wants you to explore your sexuality, so do it. To try to, here we are. Let dinner and dancing be your night to have elegant fun, not on porn night. Like, so you can't eat <laughs> or enjoy it. For God's sake, don't act, don't do anything like. There's you know, a lot of rules about exactly. porn night. Well, por- watching porn with your partner, it's like going swimming. You can't eat any, you know, mm. don't do, don't eat anything an hour before. You might get a cramp. And um, um, it might give you, the, you might get the trots, you know, you, you might, you know, follow through. You might get this. You might drown. You might get the two bob, you, you might get the squits, you know, you don't want that. <laughs> and um, 39, <laughs> the right porn in the right evening is like magic waiting to happen. This is not advice. <laughs> what is the right <laughs> What is the right porn? The right porn. It's like the the. This is okay. You oh, don't yeah. want Die Hard. You don't want Die Hard. Man. You don't want <laughs> Die Hard because that's the wrong, the right right guy in the wrong place. The wrong. <laughs> you want the right porn in the right on the right evening. Like, what if you get the wrong evening? What if it's when this is a Wednesday night porn? And mm-hmm. We're watching it on a Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday like, for bad luck. <laughs> this porn. <laughs> this porno. This porno only works on the 15th Wednesday after Pentecost. It has to and be. And uh, other than that, yeah, full moon. Yes, exactly. Because, you know, because it's called Big Butts 12. Oh, of course. So it, it, has to it needs to you, you, Exactly. Um, 40, 40, no, 40, lastly, I like the bit he puts lastly. Mm-hmm. It's clearly the end of the list. But lastly, if you are fighting, if you are fighting today, don't have a porn night tomorrow. Just give, just to give him blue balls. That's just wrong. Ooh, wrong with it. Because, because, because if you have a fight with your girlfriend on, about anything, the first thing is like, what? Tomorrow night, I'm gonna fucking make him watch pornography, and I am not gonna fucking jack him. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna stare at him all night, uh... disapprovingly. You know? What twist? Like, that's the punishment. That's like, cool. this is how these blokes think women think. You know. Ugh. I just, I'm just the relationship that this man is implying is just. It sounds. I mean, okay. Let's let, let's try and be positive here, right? There was there anything you got out of? There must be something like a di- There's a di- got to be a diamond in the rough, I'm or even say, just you, know, you can't save a bad relationship with porn night. Is a good right. one, but, you, also, but surely you like knew that tacos, already. So you do like tacos, right? So, that's yeah. Cool. <laughs> that part- also, is also isn't there? I mean, isn't t- pink taco a euphemism? So mm-hmm. what if? Yeah. Pink taco, pink taco per Thursday is because. Oh, right. you know, yeah, you just have to pick one kind of taco um, in your relationship. I don't know what I don't know what colors your color yours is. Maybe you maybe no. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, um, I mean, I do like the fact pornography is a source of visual aids. <laughs> that is a really it's good like, one. Dude. It's the one. It's the one word. If you're writing about sexual advice, you don't get the word aids wrong. You have to make yeah. it like it's that South Park episode where Jared from 
Jared from Subway is like, I got AIDS is how I lost all this weight. And he's like, no. <laughs> so that, ladies and gentlemen, um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope, you know, if any of you like, you know, if you'd like to give me your thoughts, if you've got, maybe you've got your own additions, maybe we can expand on this. Maybe mm. we could build this up. I think, how do you, you know, how far can we take this? Friend. So, so, so it's, yeah, how would you, what advice would you give to um, add to this list of, of letters um, and words next I would have started in a, in a, with, in a particular uh, order. Open your eyes. Uh, look mm. at the point. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey, how do like you feel? How, I get my hands and go like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, so that was, so that, ladies and so that was how to, uh, how to watch pornography with your boyfriend. We'll be back after this message. You know, no, it's it's it's. We're now going over to you, Danny, because I've already read okay. two, and I think uh, and I think we can agree. You're living at home, you know, and obviously, if you're now, if you're if you're watching, listening to this, you know that before before anything, Danny, what is it? What's that? The Be- here? Before anything, well, no, no, no. Come, see, she's forgotten already. That's how long ago this was for you I'm listening. It was twenty minutes so ago. I can find this beautiful. It's te- testicles, te- it's testicles, testicles before anything. It's always testicles before anything. That's what it's. Uh, that's the, you know, it's not just a rule for masturbation. It's a rule in life. See who I was. Good I was already, and I had forgotten the most important part, which is testicles. You are you telling me? Are you telling me that it's now? It's oh Christ, hundred hours, right? It's it's four thirty five a.m. in the morning this morning, and you haven't even got the PDF document out. Ready to go. I thought we had one more on your end before I was doing mine. I well, no, because I sent it to you. I sent it to you. It'll be on your. It'll be a link posted. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not like we're in a. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. We're only. We're only at the hour number seventeen <laughs> of this podcast. I thought we were having fun. Yeah, let's see where. Oh yeah, I am. I'm having immense fun. Yeah. Where did you send it to? I sent, one, I sent it to one. I sent it to one of your. I, I sent it to. Well, well, there you go. This is where. You, this is part of the. This is part of the uh, show. Is we've got to find where the other one is he- hidden. Mm. All right. I've sent you the thing. Can you see I've it? got the link. The linky. Okay. Right. Open it up. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I will be passing you over to Danny. I will be here, obviously, uh, giving commentary within the next two seconds. So this is the and, first um, time that I'm reading this. By the way, I wanted it to be fresh. Yeah, Reading anything, I taught her how to read. Oh yeah, from she came from this, these. She couldn't. Read I was anything, illiterate, like, and, and I. Uh, yeah. I. Yeah. And, and so I thought I'd get her to read illiterate people. So. Advice. <laughs> I. I Because this is the stuff you want to read if you're I mean, illiterate. Obviously. People who are all people who are almost illiterate, <laughs> but they were told there's enough. Not there not going to be get, guaranteeing that I'm going to be learning anything important from this, but I might. Well, it's not about you. It's about oh, your that's ones, true. Yeah, they're the ones because they're the ones who are giving me money. Oh, yeah, that's so also true. We, uh... Let's see what <laughs> so I'm going to learn so Danny, from this. You... So, Danny, they Hulk, would you please introduce the paper that's and me? then take it as you take it at your take it at your leisure? Okay, so this one, this one is titled "Sex Statistics." And there is a intro here. It says, "The next time you're at a party and there's a low in the conversation." <laughs> Are you laughing that, that I would be in a party? No, I'm just thinking of the geezers whose stuff we've already read. Next time you're at a party and there's a lull in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to I've always, that, I've always felt that sex... Te- well, I've always thought sex shouldn't be a lull conversation. It should, mm-hmm. That should be small, irrelevant, stupid, mm-hmm. small children. That Sex should be like a very expensive one. <laughs> Getting quiet in here. You guys want to talk about cocks? <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so it just goes in. There. Anyway, um, have you heard of space docking? Can you explain. Right, let's say. So anyway, balls. Am I right? <laughs> all right. Uh, testicles before all else. No, that was the last one. Yeah. Okay. So Any, anything, not all else. Anything. Oh, it's, it's very it right. fun. I gotta have it's heresy. It's heresy. I should have brought my <laughs> notebook. That was. Obviously, my bad. It's like calling Jesus Jeeves. <laughs> you, you know, it's close enough. <laughs> I ask him lots of things, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, carry on. Party. Lol. 
I almost got through the first sentence. We can do this. Uh, if you're yeah. trying, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Trying to fill a gap with uh, with your knowledge of sports statistics. No. <laughs> trying to fill a gap. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, I see what you if did there. A, if you've got a gaping hole <laughs> in this conversation. There's a hole in your life that you need filled. <laughs> you're there looking at it going, my God, that looks like I could, I could do with filling that with a nice great big appendage of of conversation and stimulating debate yeah i don't know well, if it was a freudian <laughs> slip or if they really meant to do it but <laughs> it was a freudian slip yes these people speak a language called freudian mm-hmm. you know <laughs> Fre- freudian shits i would say is, is the category because well because fuck sigmund freud i'm <laughs> sorry just because you wanted to fuck your mum doesn't mean you have to put everyone else yeah, like, feel like, bad about please, it you know? stick to your own trauma buddy you know <laughs> Have you seen? Have you seen the amount of people fucking their mums on fucking Pornhub? They're it's common steps, now to though. get over. Got to be steps. <laughs> you want something weird? It's fucking Jordan Peterson and his oh, daughter. That is a yeah. weird fucking relationship. <laughs> you know, that is. A it strange is a very one. strange relationship. He's like, look, yeah. Dad, look, look at my new bikini. Okay, good, good prop. It's like two. Good prop it's like two. It's like it's like two. It's like two weird like meat eating mm. eunuchs. Like who have, who have asexual eunuchs who have no who don't even know they're it's bizarre. My dad's fine. He's just in and a dude. He's fine. He's fine. You know he's weird. Oh, he's, he's fine. He's them. a fucking. He's a puss. He's a pussy. I'm sorry. You had to go to rehab, did it you, wasn't Jordan? Even oh, rehab. I'm sorry. It was, it was a coma. Well, that's easy, isn't it? Suddenly he, he he chooses the most easiest bitch way to get out of a drug addiction. Which me, do you know what I was doing? I was in here cleaning my room, mm. right, Clean and getting room. clean on my own. Yes, so I should be the one writing a book telling people how to live yeah. their life via 12 easy steps. You could probably come up with it least 13 get... steps. Well, and also, this is the geezer who decided to get a fucking drug problem because his wife was suffering from cancer. So it's not even him. Like, it's not even something he had to worry about. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't judge, had... like, uh, like, you know, he got prescribed something. that, But the the way he went about judging other people for addiction and then uh, well, the not, he not he, he has, we don't he can't we get to judge him on that we can't sit here you can't sit here and go well he got some prescribed that well he should have taken it responsibly or said no i'm not going to do that i'm going to try and get through it without your evil <laughs> you know your evil pharmaceutical medication that you <laughs> that's pro- i feel like i'm gonna have mixed feelings on DNA that one like there's definitely you know yeah there's definitely enough what? thing that make fun of Jeepers Creeperson. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well no, just like you know anything really. But oh, tell what, carry on before we get on right. to Jordan Peterson. Let's. Uh, so uh, your knowledge so, of so, so, lulling, lulling the conversation. Sitcom trivia Sports. or movie tidbits. Wow, your <laughs> listeners with this amazing array of info on everyone's favorite subject, sex. Mighty Mister Willie is the title of this sex. Section and then there's a subsection. It says size. mighty mist, mighty mist. So wouldn't it be Mister Mighty? Will- you want and why Mister? Like yeah, we don't have to the penis. That's like all right. Just the yeah. Just call it the mighty yeah mighty Willie. Mighty yeah. Willie. And, um, yeah. Or might yeah. uh, there's lots of <laughs> names for them. Personally, I, I would Mike T. <laughs> Willie. Yeah, Mike T. That would, Willie. That would make that and, would be a real name. So this sep- section is titled Size. There's a great variety. Size, right. <laughs> in the size of plastic. When, when, when you say size, when you say size, when you say size, you're, I'm assuming they're going to be talking about the size of the of the statistic. Oh Nothing yeah. To do with, uh, this is this is definitely not going to be some geezer just making stuff mm-hmm. up to try and uh, try and make yeah. you feel better. And it's by math. you, I mean him. Oh okay. my god, your graph! It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen? Look at this pie chart. Look at the symmetry on oh that. Have you seen this Venn diagram? It's Life. amazing. It's just... Wow. <laughs> There's a great variety. Look at the. Do- I'm oh sorry, like, it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> you can say you can say this is fallacious, but look at the direct corollary mm. between that or a graph. It's almost fucking. Wow! Look at that 45 degree. Uh... Yes, I'll show you a fallacy. I'll I'll show you a fallacy, bitch. I'll give give you a fallacy. (laughs) I'll give you some post hoc to hoc ergo proctor hoc, bitch. Get over there. I'll give you an argumentum ad ad authority. Anyway, 
So yes, uh, we see we're doing it for them now. Um, There's a great forum. variety in the size of flaccid penises, <laughs> but there's less difference when they're hard because smaller penises enlarge more during elect erection. Election. <laughs> in the, during elections, yeah. <laughs> Over a fucking there's four a month period. There's a slip for you, because I voted for There are people, there are guys out there. There are guys out there. There are guys out there. There are guys out there now who are literally just like almost fully hard. They're one week away. The only reason that Trump's doing it, it, let's be honest. Yeah, but I mean, he, Trump, that's why he's always leaning <laughs> forward. Because I think he's just got an, ere he's got an erection, but he's got that big gut. And he's just, so if he leans forward at this stupid, unnatural oh, angle, boy. he'll just, you yeah. know. And you know what I did? We should use that to so our advantage, right? Like... Yeah, I know, but, but I think he's. The thing is, he's probably used to it because his bones have probably mm. frozen, yeah. or, or, like, have gone stiff. And what, all we need to do is, when he's asleep, get a hoverboard, mm -hmm. take, get it on his, glue yeah. it to his feet so he can't take there it off. Go. And when he stands up, he'll lean forward, <laughs> point him in the direction of the nearest ocean. He'll go off there. We, he's not going to stop. <laughs> you know, he's like he's. He would have to fucking straighten up his back, and he doesn't know how to do that. This cunt can't walk down a flight of a little there slump Donald. without. Yeah. <laughs> He can't, he can't, he has to drink two, he has to use two hands for a glass of water, you know, and it's, like, it's just, it's ludicrous, and he's sat there, anyway, so he's not getting an erection, right. but he could be getting one. Definitely and, a lot of the voters, I think, but during so erection so, yes, so, is, so, is what I intend. So let me get a pen, because I'm not a scientist, oh, yeah. so penis bigger, penis, penis, penis is bigger, bigger when when erector. Erection. The erector, right. Also, these guys need to stop talking about flaccid penises because they don't seem to realise there is no value yeah. or worth in them <laughs> whatsoever. It's, it's like giving someone the sort of wire casing of a Fabergé egg with no jewel. Well, they, it's can no, it's no... they can do at least that function. We can pee and we can spin it <laughs> around and stuff, but you can pee with an erect. You can pee with a boner if you're willing to do a handstand <laughs> at least, or you've got some system of like pots and pans rigged up. I don't know, but um. <laughs> Alrighty. I, wouldn't want, I, don't, I don't think I want to go to a dinner party where the people don't know that penises get bigger when they're <laughs> too erect. You know? I feel like that's a, a pretty normal uh, standard. Yeah. Well, right. that's my chat so now movie. they've got it. They've got it in <laughs> centimeters and inches, so that's good. So now he's got it. In right. I think they should. They should do it in cubic mm -hmm. cubic liters. That's what I want. Yeah, I want to do it as a volume measurement, actually. Yeah, I want it in hectares. <laughs> what is the area? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think we need a new measurement called whatever it is that gives me twelve of them. Really? Right, the, the, uh, <laughs> whatever the unit is, that's that's the one I want. Um, all right. Yeah. So it says the average length for a fully fully erect penis is fifteen centimeters, mm -hmm. which is about five and three quarters. Inches. He's doing centimeters. He's doing centimeters for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just a big. It's just a ninety percent of men's pleasure poles, but it's it's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's not cool. Okay, you can't sit here. You can't sit here and try and be all pernickety with with measurements and that, and then use the word pleasure. Yeah, pole. at first right? I'm <laughs> like pleasure polls. What is that like? A like they ask you a questionnaire yeah. about your. Nope, nope. It's not spelled it, like it's, that. It's, a stri it's over here. Over here, pleasure polls is a strip club where all the Pleasure's all the pole dancers are from Eastern Europe. It's like yeah. a disco stick. <laughs> I hope they use that later on in this. Mm. Measure between oh, 13 so and 18 centimeters, centimeters, which is five to seven inches. Right. I'm sorry, that is that that is a too big a, a, a sort of a gap there because the geese are with 13 and the geese are with 18. <laughs> there is a huge you, you can't put them in the same, the same bracket group. of like it's like that bell curve. You could put maybe I think two centimeters is probably the most sort of difference you could have <laughs> between. Well, I I do I I have trouble thinking in centimeters anyway, like. Yeah, right. Well, this is what's cha but this is what's challenging about this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, this guy. The thing is, I know you know this guy. He doesn't just know how to convert inches mm -hmm. to centimeters. He can do any conversion of any unit of measurement between inches and down. Only if it's right? he can do it in any of them. He can even do it in things like 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 uh, milliamps. Mm. In the uh, or like what yeah, is you like, call, you'd you call a girl anything. like, hey, I'm 18 centimeters long. She's gonna yeah. be like, damn, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> it's always like, oh, it's like, oh, here's one for you. This is a brilliant, it's a very useful fact that men can use to try and sort of like justify it. But you, you, may, you, uh, you have to learn first that the penis actually goes back into the body about another six inches before it hits the back mm. wall, whatever. 
of course, that's just place. no of no good whatsoever. That's just rebar <laughs> keeping it you no know, pointing forward. Yeah. But but you know, if you but you could technically speaking still add it to your overall measurement and, uh, and if you need it for negotiating purposes, you know. All righty. Let's see here. Records for the shortest and longest fully functional penis are a tiny. Fully functional. <laughs> I don't know what this the criteria are. Like, does it What's piss? partially functional? Fully functional. <laughs> does it come? Does it piss? Does it shit? Well, there's so many options. Yeah, yeah but you don't want it pissing, do you? You don't want it fucking. That's not an option. That's any use. <laughs> what else can it do? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Well, maybe he can play. Maybe he can play the fucking. You know, can the, it play the bass? Uh, flower. He can play flower of Scotland mm-hmm. with it. I don't know. Maybe he can like. Maybe he can do an impression with. I it wouldn't know. There's like, lots of like, puppetry. Can... There was. <laughs> well, have you, have you not heard of puppetry of the hmm. penis? Have you heard? Have you heard of it? No. They were, they were okay. I'll tell you. This was a live. Um, this was a live show. It's a comedy show that I it went toured the world. This. And um, and it was two guys from Australia who went on stage completely naked, but for two little mini capes they were wearing, and and what they did was they used their penises, which I have to say, I saw them, I saw this show, and I met one of the geezers. I even was on stage naked oh. with him as a part of an All show. Right. But he, this was to put it economic, This was not a penis. It shouldn't be classified as one. You know, it was a midget in a Dixon hanging off his hanging off his side. It looked like it looked like he had wrapped a pink pop sock over a tube of Pringles. <laughs> And just shoved that over there. It was ridiculous. Oh, and um, but no, there was, there was basically, penis, honestly. Uh, but for me, but for me, this the funny thing about it was, it was like this is it, it came out at the same time as the vagina monologues, mm. and I'm like this is perfect. This sums up men. The well, opposite you know, experience these, ca- of they've got these the, characters and these emotional the connections. Gender. Men are on stage with capes. One of them, one of the tricks is one of them gets on a skateboard. Stretches out his ball ball sack skin, and they get a fan, and he blows him across the stage, <laughs> and he rides like that's that. People paid that to see that, you, you know. know? <laughs> I can't kink same. <laughs> I try not it's not kink. kinky. It's not. A, it's not a kink. It's not a kink. It's like, hey, well, can we make money from this? Because this is funny to us, and this was the time right. of jackass and people men take men <laughs> getting their clothes off on TV for amusement's sake only. So why not? Mm-hmm. Oh, all righty, so let's see, let's see where we're at. The <laughs> records are the the small the shortest is one point five centimeters, and the other one is thirty centimeters. But here they don't have the translated uh, measurements. One point five so centimeters, to, like that's like, like that sounds just too accurate. That, that sounds too precise yeah. for a rounded number. Is that like a, a like a, like one of my knuckle? Like finger knuckles. It's, like less, it's like less than an inch. An inch is two. An, to an inch. Knuckle. An inch. An inch is two point two centimeters. So this is like right. This it's is less like than point an seven. Inch. And then yes. thirty centimeters. What's the <laughs> what? Well, that would be two point two. That, that would be a, that would be about fourteen inches something yeah, around plus. like that. Or it? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's wow. Damn. Damn. <laughs> mm. If you feel the need to see how you measure up first get an erection, then <laughs> while standing. <laughs> oh, oh, slow and down, slow important. down. Step one. First, get a oh, don't, boner. Don't, don't, don't rush me. I'm new to this. Don't rush me. Step I've never heard this before. <laughs> get an erection. Get an erection. Right. So I need to go back Step to one. the porn one. Go get an erection. An erection. Take notes. Where's my notepad? Where's my notepad from the fucking <laughs> Somebody finds your notebook and it just says, step one, get an erection. <laughs> People walk in, go, Richard, what are all these, what's all these notes and graphs and stuff? I've been wanking all weekend. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> Where's the porn? There's no porn, for God's sake. I had to get rid of that. I had to do this uh, cross-section of the of the d- different dem- the age demographics the in the Portsmouth area. Yeah. <laughs> there was an anomaly. I found and I thought this isn't right. I can't masturbate to this. I need to get like a. <laughs> All right. So, first get an erection. Then, while standing, uh, angle your penis straight out from your body. As opposed to like, like a bike. Like a bike stand. Like a, I guess. It's like a dick. 
His dick's like a bike stand then. Get an erection, <laughs> lean yeah, forward, point, and then just pop it. You have to do it. What do you mean standing? Why do I have to be? St- what was I doing that he would he anticipated I would be any It's like- too small. You have to stand. I'm the only one in the room. <laughs> <laughs> like if I can't, I should Maybe be that embarrassed that I can't even. Look this it. guy's obviously the measurement expert. We got it. <laughs> I mean, how small does your dick have to be that even if you're on your own, you look at it and you go, "Oh, I can't. It's too embarrassed. Oh, how could you? <laughs> it's, it's, it's wrong. It's na- unnatural and wrong." Mate. I mean. It's it's perfectly sized and proportioned that it would be a, if it, a, a six inch high man mm. would be quite well hung, you know. But <laughs> apart from my height and my body mass index, there's nothing else. You know, I've got everything going for me. I've just got this one problem. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Extend so you're leaning against the wall with your dick What's out. that? So you're leaning against yeah. the wall with your erect penis, you it, just sort you of flexing straight right? out Don't... from your body. Extend a ruler from your pubic mm. bone just above. <laughs> From my pubic <Yeah>. bone. <laughs> I'll give you a pubic bone. Here's an idea. <laughs> how about you just go from? How about you just go from the base of your dick on the outside? Right? How about you don't sort of worry bone, about the bone? <laughs> just above the base of your penis. I'll the pubic bone connected to the, the ass bone. You have to count it. the ass bone connected to the dick, dick bone. bone. The pubic bone connected to. <laughs> all right so, the pubic so that, bone. that's where is the, the pubic whole subset bone? i don't even i don't even know where the pubic bone is i didn't even know i had bones in my pubic <laughs> where, did, where did this come in i think it's that one that's like it's the front of the pelvis <laughs> like the part that's not where you sit <laughs> and it's not your tailbone. How how desperate again? How desperate do you have to be that you're forcing a ruler through your <laughs> self harming just so you can make it to the? I'm gonna get every last point fucking one millimeter. <laughs> yeah, bottom. you actually have to insert it so that it touches the bone. He should use a dipstick from a car to te- that you use to test the oil. Just stick it down his dick hole. There we go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Or get a tape measure, put it down his dick hole, and then just Ooh. it back Ooh. like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even have one, and I'm just like, rah! <laughs> I don't, amazing. I've got all these great ideas now. Yeah, he, turn, he, he turns up with one of those things. It's a wheel on a stick that tells you meters and stuff. I'm like, put it away. You're not, you're not taking that anywhere, are you? <laughs> all right, so the next subsection is titled Helping Him Grow because they continue to want to gender the boner. Helping, have oh, we've had enough of this by thought? But no, come on, helping, helping him grow. Helping him grow. Right. <laughs> <'Cause> it's... <laughs> it sounds like a Did fucking read, shitty self help. I read this book one in like a wholesome, like nicey nice voice. This, uh... yes, okay. oh, definitely, yes. Because there are no muscles in the penis that affect size, exercise doesn't <laughs> do anything to make your penis bigger. There are techniques. Your penis, penis, make, make, make my penis. Penis. <laughs> my kid, make my penis bigger. I've been trying, I've been trying to make my penis make bigger since I was. Well, I'm, well, my penis is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the way you went. You managed to get an extra three syllables in the word penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to hear that version of that song, My Dick, those two guys singing time. My <laughs> penis. <laughs> I don't know what state I was from for a second there. But not I think you were somewhere like, I think you were just the <laughs> yeah. That was it. Like, Alrighty. <laughs> there are techniques for enlargement, but they involve serious surgery and can have very unpleasant side effects. Serious <laughs> surgery. As opposed to minor very surgery on surgery, your penis. This this is very serious, this surgery, where you actually do commit to do surgery. I would imagine you know, all surgeries. This isn't one of those surgeries where we just do a little magic trick and then wave a wand and it just grows bigger. No, this yeah, is no, actual you, surgery. You can do surgery, but exercise won't do it. And it says, no matter what the advertisements say, no creams or ointments will help him grow at all. And that's it. No. That's the whole section. It doesn't so tell you how to do pee, it at all. Make your... Well, can I just say, Ted, I think I think it's worth pointing out that you made the made the word penis bigger than you <laughs> actually made an actual physical so one. I'm getting something like, done. <laughs> hmm. 
You 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 made it by adding an extra A and a Y and an N and an, N and an X. Oh my god, my so it's now so it's now it's like panini, but with an with it with penis and you know, it's like a panini. It's, it's like torture porn again. Like I don't want panini and penis yeah. in the same mm-hmm. part of my brain. But it's not it's not penis. It's pain. Pain. <laughs> My penis always said life's like <laughs> life's like a box. Uh, me and Lieutenant, well then Lieutenant Dan, he came over here and said, Good, get out your penis. <laughs> so I got my penis out. And I said a twelve inch penis. And he was like, My accent was desperate was, for me to be saying pianist. <laughs> well, that's, that is the joke. <laughs> Oh, so, so that sounds, that now, to, to doesn't sounds, teach you how to help him grow. To, it says nothing will help to me, that surgery. Like, what you said sounded like some sort of website where you can get crowdfunded. It's payernest.com. <laughs> Welcome to payernest.com. 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 Hey, we're a caver. Welcome to payernest.com. <laughs> My career's going down the tube, so I have to do another earnest movie, so we're gonna pay earnest some fucking money. <laughs> it's honest work, it's pay earnest. <laughs> yes, why not? We've had Brill and Ted come back. I think Ernest P. World to get another shot. <clears throat> the next uh oh, the next God. title t- section oh. is says shape and it says concerned <laughs> Concerned about the way your equipment stands. Boom, boom, There's boom, boom, no boom, need to be. Twenty five percent of boom, all penises boom, bend in boom, some direction, boom, even when erect. Boom, some bend downward, boom, and that's the whole I've section. Got a shape penis. Oh, penis. <laughs> penis. Penis. <laughs> the next section says sperm production. Several I'm sorry, hold on. He's going on about shape. So let's go. To- What's that? Let's talk about let's talk about the shape thing here okay. because like what the fuck he can't even make it bigger. What he's gonna mold it into a new but like get a jello mold of a spaceship and then mm. what's he gonna what are you gonna do with it? Presumably you haven't got enough for it to make many interesting shapes. That's why <laughs> it looks like a bit of, it looks like one of those little eggs you get put putty eggs you get out of a fucking fairground. You just stretch it out long like enough a... and you do like a balloon animal. <laughs> That was one of my favourite bits of the Jeffrey Epstein Ooh. documentary. Was where the guy decides to do, to you know, press him and interrogate him on the shape of his egg shaped oh. penis, his small egg shaped penis, which is apparently what he's got. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's something I know now. <laughs> it's it's egg, and when you say egg shaped, what he means is like you know, it means like a shell, not like scrambled, mm. well, or that's fried. It's a not little like bit better. <laughs> And it's not like frog spawn or anything. It's like, oh, it's probably penis. Yeah. I don't usually think penis. about egg. <laughs> when I when I test when it's testicles before anything, but then it's penis <laughs> all the way. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> That's enough we... for me. You've justified every fucking thing in this podcast. That yeah. word, the, you accidentally I saying penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit! Payness and testicles before anything. This is a this is a win mm-hmm. for me. This whole we've got loads got out of it. Logan's two t-shirts. now to live by. Think of my twelve yeah. rules for life. <laughs> so the next section. Do you want to learn about sperm production? Oh, what have I, what do I not want to learn about <laughs> other than sperm production? You know? What am I known for? Production. I'm known for t- I'm known for several things in this world. I'm known for my I'm I'm known for being you know being British, being on YouTube, and always always up for learning about sperm. All right. And so it says several hundred million sperm are produced daily by a healthy fertile man. <laughs> <laughs> really he's counting <laughs> how, how many is that is that how many is that is that is that, is that, is that enough to fill a boot of a mini metro yeah i <laughs> that's so many sperm yeah but it's yeah but it's not is it because it's like it's not like a whole you couldn't get a, a decent hors d'oeuvre mm. out of 100 billion sperm that's not even that's it's probably like two arcing jets but individuals no. that's a that's a lot of individual stuff Yes, but you've got to understand about sperm is they're fucking idiots. <laughs> you need a hundred million of them. And you, you need a hundred million yeah, of them to hope that most one of them are fuck goes up. the right. And I wouldn't mind, but there's only one way you can go down Ooh. there. It's not like there's loads of It's not like a fucking intercity spaghetti junction route or the London Underground. They don't have to swap trains at, Bra- at like fucking Tooting to go and get to the egg at fucking Northern. You know, it's there. Just follow the fucking 
root around you, cunt. And no, they can't well, do they that. They have eyeballs. <laughs> it's not their fault. <laughs> All they, they have need is them. This thing. forward motion. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, they're so, they're, they're this fucking, you know, there's that joke about two sperm are sitting there going, do you think we're near the egg? Yeah, I goes, now nah, we've just gone past the tonsils. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're just like, oh. You well, had one cat. This thing, they just <laughs> Do you know what else doesn't have a brain? A jellyfish, they're doing all right. Do you know what else doesn't have a brain? Back- bacteria, they're on Mars, right? So don't fucking tell me about have- having a brain, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what has a brain? War Corps. War Corps has a fucking brain. Do you know what else? <laughs> All right, let's see. On, on ejaculation. On ejaculation. <laughs> I think just sat there on day one. <laughs> what it says. Um. I want to... <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready to hear? Are you ready to hear what Joe Rogan on ejaculation? <laughs> Welcome, Gore Vidal on ejaculation. <laughs> Noam Chomsky and his final on book, Madam Master Manufacturing. <laughs> Sir Norman Finkelstein on ejaculation. <laughs> on ejaculation between. <laughs> Five to fifteen milliliters, which is one teaspoon <laughs> to one tablespoon of semen. Is yes, but, oh, if you're broke, I'm sorry, but in order for me to test this, I've got to find it afterwards. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck. Like, it's, it's not an exact like, science. The little like the pill, the pill taker cups, the little one shotters of, of water. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you you don't seem to understand. I don't put that much thought <laughs> thought into this. It just sort of. I'm I'm 41 years old. I still 50 percent of the time look round and go. Oh, of course, I forgot to get a <laughs> towel. Well, that's these that's these curtains ruined for another d- oh, week. No, right, what a mess. Um, <laughs> or if I if I notice that I haven't got a towel beforehand, before I can actually, if I'm near the window, I can just lean oh, no. over and try and get it all oh. out. Yeah. yeah, you gotta start. You gotta start <laughs> and you can't be done. You can't be done for. You can't be done for sexual assault because you're in your house. <laughs> That's your sperm out there. You didn't do anything. Like they left of their own no. court. But you, you need to arrest them. <laughs> like, oh man, yeah. My my rights to come and that your right to yes. not be covered in my company. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How can I be guilty of sexual assault? Three floors yeah. up and and, 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 and and from a different. <laughs> and I've never even met you before. I wasn't even there. You know what I mean. <laughs> On ejaculation between five to fifteen right. milliliters. Of semen <laughs> is released <laughs> containing about 300 million sperm, which <clears throat> now that I'm thinking maybe he did mean on, it just doesn't, either way, it's not a good sentence. 30 million, 30 million sperm. Yeah, but I mean, he's probably like, this This guy's like, they're little, they're little w- shitty, you know, weedy little crappy little fuck. They're like Jack, you know, those Jack fish you get they're not they're, you know, like ain't even fish. they're just like a row of they're, they're like a row of arsehole it's an, it's an arsehole with pet with <clears throat> it's an arsehole with two <clears throat> fins those sorts of fish <clears throat> you know what i mean whereas me 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 i, I have koi carp flopping <clears throat> on the floor like fucking about 10 pe- they're there for ages oh, no. like they've got beards pipes they smoke they're drinking bit bitter you know and they um come out they're already <laughs> full babies proper, yeah, they're reading the they're reading the fucking Guardian as they come out like they're fully a tweed jacket, you know, fully grown up, manly sperm, and um, <laughs> they've got a smoking jacket mm-hmm. and they're you know, driving an Austin Maxi, and um, <laughs> this is this is all true, by the way. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> the next section says so, ejaculation right. spasms as the title. <laughs> okay. okay, he Which doesn't need to divide this up. These are not these are not two concurrent things you can deal with. You can't have compartmentalize the shot at shooting of ejaculation and the physical act of getting it out. <laughs> it's a separate section because the Sp- title is great, yeah. and I'm using it as an the, the spasm ejaculation spasm. If only we had a word. That's if only we had a word. That's, I, I, Hold on, didn't we have a word that sounds a bit like asm mm. that describes exactly it's very what that close is? to this other <laughs> word that I cannot remember. Ejaculation spasm mm. or gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or it could be that one. <laughs> yeah, or gas. Yes. <laughs> Shall we go to the cinema or, or gas? <laughs> When a man climaxes, the muscles at the base. <laughs> when a man climaxes, the muscles at the base of his penis contract approximately every point 
eight seconds, expelling semen in up to five exquisite spurts. What what fucking scientist who they what this was the scientist who everyone in the office hated. They gave him this job. You've got to measure the size of the contraction at the base of the dick and how often it happens during an orgasm. So whilst he's blowing his load in your face, right? Which you, you've got the to things fucking we do for this science. Way. But this is the sort of stuff that we don't need to know. That's just inf- that is just knowledge that I have got in my head that has pushed something useful out. Well, right? my favorite part and is now... the last part of the sentence. I don't know if that one caught your eye right. or caught your ear. Always the last bit. Yeah. Expelling no, semen in up to five exquisite spurts. In up to <laughs> in up to up to that is a use. Of, I, I like the phrase up to and including, <laughs> including but not including but not completely limited to and mutually exclusive from hitherto foreseen outwards. The I just like the 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 difference between the statistics and the like scientific and then the yeah. word. Exquisite. It's like he's, it's like he sat there. This is. This is written in a way like when a 14 year old is trying to sound like a True. grown up. Like he's watched one, he saw like an episode of LA mm-hmm. Law or something like that once. He seemed like some grown up program. <laughs> yes. Like he, so he saw like an episode of like Poirot or something. And I'm going to use yeah. it three times this week. <laughs> <laughs> he saw an episode of Mud <laughs> the other day. So he's got enough, he's got enough legal g- g- terms yeah. to come out of. I get it. I get it. All right, well, that was the whole mm-hmm. section. Ejaculation spasms, exquisite spurts. Well, thank God. For, well, I mean, I, I thought it had to be. That's, That's the, the whole thing. thing. You know I mean? it's, there we uh, go. This is what we learn about, you know, this is what these men need to learn, is that you've got what you've got and you need to learn well, to Well, now we've it, got so the, the male up. G-spot. The male the G-spot. G-spot. Right, right. Sorry, so the, oh, part. the fix, fiction. I like it. Fiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're going into... In addition going to into their penises, realms. men have other... Ain't nothing but... What? I said, I said, I can't believe no one's ever written a book about this because I looked it up and it's, it's called Ain't Nothing But a G-Spot. <laughs> Ain't Nothing But yeah. a G-Spot. Ain't Nothing But a G-Spot, yeah. No one's ever done it. I'm like, it's there. Just the title is enough. Don't, doesn't matter what's in it. Just sell that. <laughs> okay. In addition to their penises, men have other highly erotic parts of their bodies. Yeah, but, you know, they don't really... It's like in the same way of saying Yahoo is the second most popular search engine. It doesn't like matter I mean. because there's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> the gap between the, the next one, you know. Yeah. So it's it like, says one is the male G-spot, or more accurately, <laughs> P-spot, or prostate gland, which I I can understand why it's not a The certified G-spot. G-spot. Yes, the, um, the, old, yes, the, the old school, the old school yeah. G hit spot. Him, hit yeah. him on the old G-spot. <laughs> Oh, hit him on the OG spot, you know, just uh, don't be, don't, it's a good, today was a good day because I didn't, yeah, today was a good day because I didn't use my OK <laughs> up my arse or for masturbating. Living in a G spot paradise. Unload. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> in a wanker's paradise. So what I'm, what I'm wondering there. is if it's, it's the P spot for prostate gland, gland is a G, let it, let it G. keep it as yeah, and this is not this a ain't PG, spot. but it is. It, it, <laughs> don't use the word gland. You cannot use a real oh. proper like the actual. You, you cannot use the real proper the language in, in sex. Yeah, you can't sit there and talk about you know. Erotic. I mean, it's like I mean because that, that's what that's why we make them up because the real words. I mean, imagine someone saying penis. Pen. It just it sounds or, or scrotum. Scrotum is you know, a hilarious or, or, word. <laughs> yeah. And the woman's one is like labia, labia flaps. You know, flaps it sounds is like funny, a, but labia yeah. just means lips, which I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I know what it means, right. but it just, it's the technical term. Right, but it's some like, of them make sense and some of them a, just make me laugh. <laughs> you can't just say, you know, you, you know in, in, whereas in a science class, your teacher can't say, right, at this point, the bearded axe wound <laughs> should be proper, squir- should be squirting and sounding like a job lot of porridge on the boil. <laughs> right? It's like that sort of thing. <laughs> Macaroni in a pot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the male if you get your fi- Have you ever put your fingers in a gel in some jello and then you go <laughs> a gag? Oh, no. That's what they were called. It was like it was like slime in a, in a. I had a gag when I was a kid from Florida, and I was like, <laughs> that was it. That was the noise. Alrighty, so <laughs> the P spot, as this one article would like to rename it. See, he's trying yeah. to be cool there, and it's just not happening. Uh, stop trying to make P-Spot happen. It's not going to happen. 
Personally, I call it the <laughs> well, there's gonna be confusion. There's confusion. If the dude in your came life up to me and was to... like, Will you stimulate my pee spot? I will be like, I am not going to put my finger in your urethra. I'm sorry. Also, and also, when you say the P spot, it sounds like you're saying an, a, a, an offensive mm. slur, but you're censoring right. it. Like when people say what N word, the N word and the P spot. The P spot? Yeah. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, that would be a thing because people, you know, people are Hindus, they have um, dot, dot, dots on their head under their turbans, and that would be the Paki oh, spot we used no. to call that as kids. So there you go. He's, so he's, he's already that's got, why got a, 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 a sling. Yeah, but don't tell him that. This could be hilarious. I mean, it's already <laughs> hilarious, but not. I, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, stimulation of this spot either externally. I know I have to just keep going anytime I don't I'm just like through the perineum I don't remember perineum which the skin between the anus and testicles the the gooch the paint (laughs) but again again, it's not called the gooch why is it called anything I like that it has a science name that's nice it's just got a well I mean everything's got a name it's just it doesn't it's it's really gonna it's one of those body parts you don't really need to know the name of unless you're a woman who's had just given birth and you've torn it <laughs> and you're, you've, you're, 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 your anus and vagina oh, are now there story. cleft in twice in this one. Yeah. can't imagine I'm like oh please don't ever put a baby in me that's so <laughs> oh my god no that's so scary the whole idea fuck I that it would be funny. It would be funny if that happened, but you had two babies because the first one would do the damage. And the first one would just be like, be like sliding out. Insult to injury. The second one. Like, yeah, he sort of comes down on a big like, inflatable <laughs> tube, going wee. Uh, oh, or internally through the anus can result in extremely pleasurable sensation, including orgasm. Include. Uh, what, 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 wait. A pleasurable sensation, including right. orgasm. It might what's, be nice, what's but other? might also make you come. But what's the other one? What are the other sensations that I'm likely to encounter? Just like, uh, uh, like, like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the scientific like term, term. Like, when ooh. He, when he says pleasure, does he mean the pleasure? Because orgasm is obviously the pinnacle, but there's like so completing a Sudoku. Mm. That's quite a rush. Finding a finding a five pound note in my back. Yeah, it gives you that like a, it. You know, it's all chemicals. It's just which chemicals yes. is this activity releasing? But I, it needs to be more if specific. It's like less, saying, maybe you'll you know, have a good. It's like it's, it's like someone saying you're going to go out tomorrow night and you're going to get killed and murdered and raped and eaten by hmm. a cannibal. Well, that's a bit extreme. Not, on the way there, I could encounter other criminals mm-hmm. that might do other stuff, but won't put like believe me in that state. Mm-hmm. So what the what are the other levels? You know. We're moving on. I'm, to I'm just going to be. I'm, I'm just. I'm just going to be sad there, getting my uh, getting my G spot ah. up with my, my finger up my anus whilst I'm playing a game. But of it could be extremely you know? pleasurable. <laughs> so hey, I can't. I can't knock it because I can't try it. <laughs> no, we won't be knocking anything. No, <laughs> Don't this is knock your, on this it. Not, um, the only thing, yeah, knocking off, knocking knock one off, on, or knocking knock one off. off. <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock, Ooh. knock. Who's there? Knock, it's knock. me. Ow. Wonder Ow. why you're no, not, not naked. Wood. Yeah, that, that sounds a little painful. <laughs> Careful with that. The uh-huh. next section is blue balls, but it's in actual quotes instead of like the one. It's got like the two quotes because it's like it sounds like a superhero. Like these spots exist. It's, it's blue Captain balls. Blue Balls. The medical term for blue balls is epididymitis. It's blue balls. <laughs> An inflammation of the no epididymis, one... epi- epididymis, which is Steve, the scrotal Steve. sac where sperm mature. Yeah. I'm sorry, no man has ever got to the point where he's got so much sperm that his testicles are swelling and overflow. That doesn't happen. Well, I mean, there's a very, very <laughs> easy way to get rid of that problem. <laughs> You do not yeah, need yeah. another human being, and it's not—it's not the woman's fault yeah. for turning you on like, either. Oh, it's your fault. Oh, for... <laughs> sorry about your boner. That's a shirt that I really want to make. I want like, to make Chris say sorry about your boner. As if women know. I'm sorry, but women are not stupid. They know they don't have to go to that much elaborate fucking effort to make men <laughs> to, to wind <laughs> men up. They can do it very easily. Oh my god, sounds like you a know, you problem, buddy. 
<laughs> go take care of it. Go ahead. Whatever. <laughs> Just this guy, he's got this guy laying there. He's got what is effectively like a sort of like a, a bagpipe oh. sized scrap. He's making like, oh, more noises. <laughs> just oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> The trouble is that this is the way men think because like he probably left it for a bit and it got noticeably bigger and then it became a competition. It's like, how big can I get huh? it before I have to go and I get it burst? And it's like, it's not, then it'll become a competition. We'll have competitive ball sack filling and then that'll carry on. You know. I like that this section and, uh, is way longer than a lot of them. Like this was like a full paragraph yeah. that it's doing. This is the Chad. This is the Chad yeah. section. The other ones were the, the other ones were the. Uh, in simple <laughs> terms, blue balls occurs when the epid. I'm gonna have to say it in slow motion every time. Epididim, epididimus. Epididimus. I know. Epididimus. Too many syllables. Like, I'm like epididimus. It's like a character from mid. So it's like a character. It's like a character from like you know um, a mid midsummer night's dream. Yeah, usually it like, usually doesn't like take me this long. I love learning big stupid words. They're great. <laughs> Epididymitis. Epididymus <laughs> <laughs> time. It's just Harley from Epid Meal time, just playing with his his, his scooch. I'm getting used like, to it. I'm to getting Epididymus. used to the way Epididymus feels in my. <laughs> that's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be Sean Coombs' next fucking rap name. Ep- Epididymus. Ah. <laughs> uh. Get blocked up with sperm that have left the testes, but not the penis. Welcome to, welcome to, I'm Puff Daddy, and welcome to EP Diddy. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, here with the EP Diddy fam. And, uh, <laughs> the vas deferens are the conduit for the sperm from the, the testes to the urethra. When they get blocked. The urethra? Or did you say urethra? No, I just wish then? I did. <laughs> That would have been oh, you did. I'm playing that Eureka. back. I heard Eureka. I, I heard Eureka. Eureka. It's just the best deference. <laughs> well, I won't, I won't argue. I won't Eureka. argue. I'll, 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 let you, I'll let you carry on. But if you said that, I'm fucking repeating it. That's at the okay. End, I always remember smug. Urethra because it reminds me. <laughs> because that's what it um, is. Uh, you need an Eureka. Hold on. You need something else to remind you. Remember what that yeah, is? Yeah, because there's Eurethra <laughs> and then there's what, Eurethro? Isn't there two of them? Who? Yeah, but if you point at the thing you're pointing at, they're going to know which one it is. Yeah. It's not like they're going to be confused. Well, I'm not going to be ne- I am not going to be required. But like, I'm not going to be required to do an... To do an to, sorry. We have two separate oh. female females have two separate like tubes, so they can... <laughs> yes, but if, yes, but I'm not in a position. Listen, Danny, I am never, and no one listening to this is ever going to be in a position where the confusion between urethro and urethra is going to be really an issue. It's not like they're going to be stood there with, with okay, scalpels but it always and tools. makes me think of Aretha Franklin, which is sad because it just oh urethra Franklin, urethra Franklin is not oh urethra Franklin. I, it's... I don't, I don't, I don't like that my brain is like, haha, that rhymes with that. Every time I see the word urethra. Oh, like, oh urethra thank Franklin. you. <laughs> my brain annoys me sometimes. <laughs> well, this next uh, of sentence. Course, of course. So, well, no, you had oh, urethra I'm Franklin, sorry. whereas over We're... here we had, sh- men, men, we had shot. <laughs> So you got two, two black <laughs> icons, two black icons for each one then. <laughs> She deserves better than this terrible association. Yes, I agree. I agree with that. Any woman who has been infected or afflicted by these documents did not deserve this. I am so sorry. (laughs) Hashtag walk away. I'm going to be cancelled before I ever get my first video out. Don't worry, (laughs) Don. I'll be be cancelled many times. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. (laughs) It's my fault. That's why I'm here. I'm here to say the things you can't or don't want to. And I just go, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and you just go, oh, terrible. And then you laugh after. Going, That's really oh, funny. No. Yeah. oh, just terrible, terrible. You know. <laughs> well, and then know, you publicly condemn me. Off. And then you have to come out. Anymore. And then after after every podcast, you have to come out and condemn yeah. me like the Muslims do ISIS. True. You know, you have to I come do. I would like to say that Mr. Coughlin's actions and words are not, go against everything I believe in. He does not by. represent me in <laughs> any way. His, his use of the phrase mongoloid porn inferno as, an, as a noun describing someone was in no way acceptable and does nothing but emphasize the ableism yes. within society 
uh, connected with you know pawns and fire. This so, guy makes <laughs> jokes I wouldn't make. He's a different guy. Fuck it. Yes. Whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> about it. <laughs> This guy does. This guy does fairly. This guy does lots of things yeah. you don't and never will do. And and not only that, I'm you just a different right? person. That's why I'm here. I'm just a different <laughs> dude. I'm here so you don't have to make the bad decisions that present you because I'm. I did the them. I did it the wrong. I did Ed life the wrong <laughs> way for you. Thank for you. all of you listening, I'm here to tell you why you should listen to people who know when you're younger because nothing. You know, I didn't learn one thing. Or taking all those drugs was great, but I didn't learn one thing mm. from them that I did, than what I was told at school. Yeah, you know, right. <laughs> you know, it's bad in the end. You know, it will get you. It will get you. All right, so we're almost to the end of the blue balls paragraph. We are going to learn the most important part. Ready? When yeah. they get blocked. Don't tease me. Are Don't you tease me. Are you <laughs> when they get blocked, you get pain. You can usually relieve this by ejaculating. <laughs> That's it. Blocked with what? Blocked with fucking what? With all that cum that's not coming out. Oh, you know what it's like when you're... Because you're so frustrated. When you're asleep, you tie your dick. <laughs> Don't you hate when there's a kink in it? It's like a, it's like a shaped uh, a balloon <laughs> uh, animal that you shape. You know, he just ties it and not again. And he's dreaming about fucking making, like, making little sausage dogs. And fucking stuff. <laughs> he's accidentally blowing his dick up and turning it into a fucking... <laughs> Can you make it into a dog? Yes, well, if he could, there's a career yeah. for him. It's like you know, there's something, you, there's some benefit of it. You can get into public. You're the corner penis, right? that market. They... <laughs> All right, the next question. Dick balloon. I'm sorry, penis balloon <laughs> animals live. That's what I'm going. I'm going to that. That's a five star Edinburgh festival. I'm imagining Perry it Animal as being... like, like the penis of a big scary clown. <laughs> But yeah, it, yes. it, it looks well, like one be... of those, like those <laughs> inflatable waving arm people. But that's yes. it. That's also, what the dick is doing. But also, it's flapping. And, and it, 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 it ends up looking, and of course, it looks like the classic long one. But also, remember, by the end of the night, those things were always shriveled up <laughs> and uh, up in the corner, yeah. and that's what it all looked like by the and end. And it's rainbow colored. <laughs> it's like rainbow stripe. Yes, of course. Because it's yeah. a clown. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's to it's topical. All right, so the next section is called the honey pot. <laughs> That's over to you, Doc. Right. The furry honey, the furry honey pot adventure. Women's <laughs> vaginas, as opposed to men's vaginas, which apparently are not part of this article. Excuse you. I can we? I, can we? <laughs> I mean, there are so many. Listen, I don't see, at least this do is, it a couple see, times. This is people relevant. will think that I'm being. Uh, but actually, but actually, Danny, what you've yeah. just done there is a very important. It can actually, there's a point to be made here because this is an issue where sometimes I'm reading something or I'm responding to a video, and someone will bring up something they said that was factually inaccurate. It was right. wrong, but they don't they don't realize that there are so many other. There's like twelve dozen other problems that we've got to get mm -hmm. to to solve this. You know, it's like. It's like saying that, you know, a, 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 it's like criticizing a Holocaust denier and a flat earther because he believes in horoscopes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, that's not the yeah, biggest not problem, the biggest if we're being thing. honest with you. Know, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's, like criticizing a a it's, it's like criticizing a pedophile because he hasn't been looking after his mm. van and it's got rusty. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not the, it's not where we need <laughs> to be, you know, and that's what, maybe that, and I think that's something that you've probably, you've probably heard quite a lot. And I do kind of get that sometimes i like to do it as like, like a joke though so like let's see this sentence here says women's vaginas <laughs> average between eight to ten <laughs> centimeters in length which is about three <laughs> to four inches and there's no mention of men's vaginas which leads me to believe they can be any size they're and because they and because these men are technically are still men, right. they will be of any size. In fact, they will be bigger on the inside Ooh. than they actually They'll be are. Like They'll the be like artist. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you when when they take their knickers off, it's like do. Oh, uh, if only Doctor if Who. Only. Who. Hey, Doctor shit. Who. If they all had theme songs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And he's going around again, Doctor Who. <laughs> hey, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> <Morning, my> doctor. <laughs> doctor, I hardly know her. Oh, 
All right. Uh, the K nine. I, I don't want to know what K nine is or the yeah the dar the Daleks. Most of the testicles before everything. <laughs> Any, to, any, to anything. <laughs> Don't give them. Testicles before anything. Fire, <laughs> testers, shoot. Shoot them in the bullets. <laughs> See, that, that's, the, that's the image that needs to go in the shirt, is the Dalek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, women's uh, blah, blah, blah. This expands during intercourse, including the clitoris, mm. vaginal lips, and internal spongy tissue. Internal spongy <laughs> tissue? I think that's the technical. Ne- I don't think I've ever heard a less erotic description. Internal. Let me see your internal <laughs> The The closest, the, the, the only other time I can think of an expression was when a girl, I, a girl I was dating, she just started taking, she got the injection, the pill injection thing, and she left me, she gave me the leaflet that had the side effects, and one of them was pungent vaginal discharge, oh, no. which... Which I was fine with, you know. It's like cool, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> but um, but p- internal spongy internal tissue. Spongy yeah. tissue. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> a woman has just about as much erectile tissue as a man. Just about. But just most about. of it is inside her body. Yeah. You got that internal boner going on. <laughs> just about. Just about. Just about. <laughs> And that's the whole, okay, so new section. We've got an entire Olympic basketball worth of mm-hmm. a foreskin inside you. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> and don't get me started on the fucking intestines. Those things are way too long. Mm. That's what it is. That is what your dick is. It's the <laughs> intestines. <laughs> it's wiggling. It's just there. <laughs> it's just there, flapping out here. I hate, it. I hate <laughs> it. All right. Women and orgasm. At least seventy percent. Right. Ah, finally, yeah. something. Oh, another bit of fixing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least seventy percent of women don't reach an orgasmic climax <laughs> through intercourse alone. Seventy percent of them. Yeah, that's the that's seventy percent of the ones he's most, fucking. Uh, most, <laughs> most women don't like come from sex. <laughs> That's so sad. You come afterwards. You come off. We t- we loosen it mm. for you. you. You finish it off. It's like the jar. You know, it's like when you can't undo a jar. Like so a- remember to pay lots of loving attention to her most sensitive <laughs> genital spot, the clitoris. The, uh, the genital, yes, the genital genital spot. Right. The sensitive, gen- the sensitive genitals, yes. But it's like saying that you know, I'm not. I'm. I don't know if I'm hungry or my stomach <clears throat> is hungry. They're the same thing. Like. <laughs> Sorry, this is amazing. The next section is titled <laughs> Female Ejaculation. I love how he just skipped over 70% of women don't come and that's tough. Yep, it. That's the it. end. That's just, women and orgasm. That's the way it's been. That's the way it's been. That's the way it's been since records began. The end. And we don't want to upset the universe. Yes. <laughs> the end.com forward slash 30%. <laughs> Seventy percent. Christ Almighty! No wonder. No wonder you see women go out and become serial killers when men dump them. It's a, it's a wonder. <laughs> men just put on weight and want and want to cry, whereas women just go, "I'm going to kill every motherfucker." What? <laughs> Statistics are like what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, female ejaculation during. Stimulation of the G-spot, a small area on the upper inside of the vaginal wall, about one and a half to two inches back from the vaginal opening. Back and to the left. <laughs> back and to, to the, the left. left. To the left. Some women. It's like he's describing the J. It's like he's describing a court scene where someone got shot. It's like a, 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 it Are we playing Clue? And no, no. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just some okay, some women ejaculate through the urethra. One to two ounces of clear odor. What my urethra or, or hers? Urethra right? like, Just to be clear, like, just, just to clarify, she's going to come from her <laughs> urethra, not my one. <laughs> no, no, if she no, could do no, that, that would will, be impressive. They have it's, it's like a uh, you get possessed, and they will. Come I know room. what it fucking is, Danny. You don't need to explain that. To no, me. no, 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 no. <laughs> they come through your urethra. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, what I'm saying. It's like, that's the that's like the that's like the pinnacle. That's the epitome of, of <laughs> fake. That's the opposite of faking an orgasm, is it? I'm gonna have yours for you. It's like who shit my pants? What the fuck? That's what men mean when they say give. Oh when men say give her one for me. <laughs> That's like the, that's like the ultimate voice throw of a ventriloquist. I've just I've just come in your pants, sir. If you do. I would pay to see that guy. Yeah. Worst <laughs> night out ever. Well, it depends, really. It's if you're the. I mean, I guess if you're you into are. it. All right. Oh, but I almost I almost missed out on this like wording. One to two ounces of clear odorless fluid are expelled. <laughs> Glorious gush. One to two ounces of clear, yeah. In the same way that a, a haddock is ninety eight percent genetically identical to me, <laughs> but that two that two percent is very very important. You know, it makes a huge difference. One to two ounces of clear odorless fluid are expelled in a glorious gush. <laughs> that is a terrible sentence. Glorious. <laughs> Why? Like just. <laughs> It's it's over and over. It's like we're gonna get real technical here, and then I'm gonna get real. But he's trying to make it sound like, he's, like he's, tr- he's trying to fucking paint an yeah. image in your head that's like, no is not gonna science work. Science or smut? What am I reading? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Hold on. All right, that is the end of female ejaculation. Now we're on to baby making. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I just let me get this. Oh, I've, I've just got, where are we I at? Just want to, I just want to do one thing. I just want to do one thing. One second. I'll be. I'll give me two. Give me thirty Hurry. seconds, and I will be. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit! Wait! 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 Go <laughs> <laughs> until I'm victorious. There you go. There you go. Glorious the gush, <laughs> which is also a great band name. I think gush is better than squirt. Yeah. Squirt sounds silly. Gush, you know? gush could be a cooler word. Squirt is like gush. Oh. gush with gush, you th- you picture like tsunami yeah. waves ripping through villages. Squirt yeah. is like I imagine you know. like the elevator yeah. doors in The Shining. That's a gush. Yeah, I want monsoon. <laughs> of, 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 be, of be preferable. Are you prepared for baby making? <laughs> <laughs> First, oh, a woman's oh. over. Baby making, right? Okay, I've got Hold two arms, second. two legs. We need a... At birth, going? a woman's ovaries. You mean a baby? A baby's ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> you're not born a woman. You're born a baby. Uh, so, well, no. Well, no. When you when you're conceived, the ovaries are your apartment. <laughs> you know, that's where you live. That's your gaff. You don't want to fucking you know. They can, They contain up to two million immature eggs. After the onset of oh, menstruation, cool. one egg there's, there's a couple of smart asses there. There's a couple of there's a couple of pretentious, like, overly assholes, mature ones. But most of them, are- <laughs> yeah. you know, the kind of the ones who used to put a line on the milk where so they knew where it was, or they'd measure the butter. You know, they'd leave notes, leave notes for you. You know, <laughs> those, those cunts. After the onset of menstruation, one egg matures every month and is released into the vagina, just waiting for those millions of sperm to come fertilize it. Because an exclamation point. Is. The onset of menstruation. It's on ejaculation. Onset. Oh my god. Yeah. Sperm can survive in the vagina for three to five days. That's fucking. It's not I much of a, a life, though. It. It's not like, it, they're not like those. Co- they're not like those fucking Chilean vi- mi- uh, miners who were trapped down there, like sort of go, Dave, hang on, Dave, we can make it. No, and there's not like there's nothing to do, mm-hmm. you know. So that's all. They're not like that's taking up. Res- they're not going to. They're not the planning. They're not planning some kind of coup down there and to, to take things over <laughs> to overthrow anything. <clears throat> okay, the next section I think is going to be very. Uh, the, I, I I'm, I'm excited to it. see what what they're gonna say about it. It's titled "Anal Sex and Pregnancy," which, if it was my article, <laughs> well, there you go. This is potency. If this was my know, article. Right. Like, just... This is for me. This is for me. This section here. It would just, just be uh... like, nope, that can't happen. And then go oh, no, you don't think, no, Danny, 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 you don't seem to understand. Some real men, like I don't know. Seriously, if I if I masturbate, I have to put up fe- like big nets because my sperm might go down the street and a woman could get pregnant three. Three towns away, you know what I mean? It's a danger. It's a very dangerous. You know, it happens. It can swim. 
Some of them have got wings. They fly <laughs> away. You, know, <laughs> you can't have to go catch them. All right. So you're ready to learn why anal sex won't get you pregnant? Oh, yeah. Didn't... Well, I mean, yeah. finally, someone's going to tell me. You know. how... <laughs> I've been asking. We've been why? asking this question for centuries. Why can't I make <laughs> butt babies? <laughs> Because sperm can't travel internally from the rectum to the vagina, technically, it's not possible to become. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not a very male attitude. I mean, just try. try technically, hard. it's not possible to become pregnant through anal sex. But beware! I'm after sure. intercourse, sperm can leak from the anus and drip down into mm. the vagina. Uh -huh. Those are the geezers that when they when you when they ejaculate and go into the arse, they, they hang back. The they hold on. They hold on like those like you know the water's going. Hold on, yeah. guys, we're gonna pull back. <laughs> We know the we know the cheat okay, codes. So we're gonna get through this. This is a weird statistic <laughs> that I'm uncomfortable with. Of right. those who use <laughs> anal sex for birth control, every year eight percent end up pregnant. What? Bit? What? <laughs> what? Maybe, it, maybe what? the thing is, you know, well, maybe the thing is, you know, the way that sometimes there's that thing where a man is meant to, is, he's aiming for the mm. vagina, but he gets it in the ass. Maybe if you, yeah, maybe yeah. whenever men have sex in the ass, they, yeah, they do it, it the other way around. It would be easier to mistakenly go that direction. <laughs> also, or maybe they were, maybe they were with, how can I put this, this is going to be very sort of issue, but maybe they're with a particularly large mm. woman for whom it's very difficult to know which hole you're, you're at down there, but you found it's one like under the, and it could just be... It, like 8% of people are flat. reporting that they have anal sex and you have a baby. Yeah, but I mean, she could, they could be 8%. Well, in America, people, you know, how many people are mm. fat and obese to the point where, to the point where you're thinking, this could just be a fold of I skin, quite frankly. Right. I don't know like anymore. that yeah. wouldn't be a statistical... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That's... Well, do you think the bloke's going to lie? I, this <laughs> next section is... A, it's a, it's got a bulleted list, and the title of the section is Bodacious Breasts. <laughs> what? The adjective that this person... Bodacious. Bodacious breasts. <laughs> Not just breasts, Bodacious. which, like, that's a good enough title. Like, what is this title Bodacious... About? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, is this starter <laughs> porn for children? This fucking thing? P I'm Bodacious very, breasts. very interested Imagine... to know the age of Imagine jacking off to that. You know, I wouldn't do that. And if someone, if someone, if someone found a porno called Bodacious <laughs> Breast, I don't think so. Mate. It's the same. Oh, I don't so think I'm going to be you know, jacking off. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same reason I'm not going to watch a silent film or, you know. <laughs> All right. You ready? <laughs> yeah, Small, large, round, pointy. No matter what their shape, men just seem to love women's breasts. <laughs> Mammaries. Are as diverse as the women they sit on, sit so prettily on. Women are, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. An individual woman is not diverse, <laughs> right? <laughs> They're as div the tits are as diverse as the women. They see there's diversity. Women. Yes, you but there's tits. exactly there's two tits and there's two tits. And they're exactly the same. You don't get one black one. <laughs> you don't get one big black one. One tiny little white one. one like, Most of the time, yeah. That would be a, that sorry, would be an interesting. Just, but it's just his use of the way he wrote that. With they're as diverse yeah. as the women they sit on. No, it sounds like you're saying these women are all diverse. Mm. Like the best, the breasts yeah, I'm a... are. I want my. Well, I want my Aryan <laughs> superwoman tits. Where are they? I want my. <laughs> Here's some general guidelines. Bullet one: It's perfectly normal for a woman to have breasts that are different sizes, just as her hands and feet differ in size. <laughs> Bullet two. <laughs> what? Her, hand, her hands and feet. Why was she late? Oh, she got one foot <laughs> in the other. She was fucking going around this. <laughs> yeah, I can only turn left, actually. I just got this woman, I got this weird thing in my head of a woman who's got a massive right foot, massive right hand, massive right foot, <laughs> and just this tiny little body. And she can't fucking get any. She goes swimming and she just spins around. Oh, what is that? Would, that would be rough. That would be rough stuff. <laughs> All right, bullet two. <laughs> When a woman is aroused, her breasts swell by up to 25% and her nipples may become very hard. <laughs> Bullet three. Many women have hair around their nipples. <laughs> because we're Not mammals. Unless she, me, unless, she wants, unless she wants to be set on fire and can <laughs> banish from the town. <laughs> I mean, I'm Italian. I have to shave those little fuckers. 
Oh no, it's this bit perfect. It's, it's, well, this is the funny thing about like the whole thing about women waxing and mm. all that, and even and everything and everything like the eyebrows. Mm. I mean, I think he says it in Wolf, Wolf on Wall Street. He says <clears throat> women are he says women are bald from the eyebrows <clears throat> down, right? But that's only happened. That's only happened in the last like no, only in the nineties did it become like normal for everyone right. to have no 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 pubes yeah. anywhere. No, it was just no no pubic hair. Whereas I go the opposite. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just I'm leaving. It everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna be a relic. I want to be. I want to be retro. But now it comes back. But the thing is, it is. But it is come back now. It's like you look on porn sites. It's like a, it's always a top, a top trending topic is hair mm. because people it's are like so used to it. Now, being women having no to hair, have yeah. normal, and that people are starting to realize as well is you can do interesting things with hair. True. You can have little shape, little. You can have the landing mm -hmm. strip, which I think is the best one because the landing strip tells you where to it's, go. It's. <laughs> No, no, it's not just that. The, 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 do you know what, psychologically, for a man, if he's particularly in this day and age, it might be good because it's enough hair for you to know she's right. an adult, but not so there not so go. much that it's going to be you're going to be picking it out your teeth in four days. But time. you know it's there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just there. It's like a it's like a little geezer with his thumb up, going, "Yes, you're all mm -hmm. right, mate. <laughs> like, you know, go on, get in there, son. It's perfectly. Uh, <laughs> there's no legal recourse here. <laughs> all right, so hairy nipples. Uh, bullet number four: right. About ten percent of women have inverted nipples. Right, inverted hairy yeah. nipples. One massive one, big massive tit. Yep. One small hairy one. They're <laughs> all titties. That's just you know they're diverse, just like the women that they think. Yes, they're either they're either nice or they're hairy <laughs> and inter and, and deformed. Is what they are. This is what I get for you. Uh, bullet five: Breasts are mostly fatty tissue. <clears throat> Which isn't very sensitive right. to caresses and kisses. However, because the nipple itself and the area surrounding it, the areola, are full of nerve endings. Yeah. They're very areola from Little Mermaid. That's what it's named after. The off. areola. <laughs> I like that it's in parentheses. Like I, I know what it's called. Actually, it's the areola. Are, 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 <laughs> All right, the next bullet says men also have many sensitive nerve endings in their nipples and can become very excited by nipple kisses, sucks, and twirls. Well, hey, there you go. There you are. Now we got some. Yes, but men, yes, but come on. Men. When you've ever done when you've ever done that, if you've ever done that to a man, I guarantee you looked up and you saw him with a face going, right, okay, get on with it. Next next bit. I've never tried next it. Next area. You know, uh... Yeah. Exactly. See, that's how fucking stupid I mean, when it is. I, I'm, I'm mostly into tits of women if i'm gonna if i'm going for tits you know, oh i see you're a, so you're a bigot right yeah you're you a know fucking bigot uh, you you've got nipple I preference just like that's just totally you know, like you're basically the holocaust denier by modern i'm a titty I mean, denier no one actually has nipples they're a conspiracy you are a male nipple lick non-lickerer and the people you like you for shameless. not licking men's nipples you are cancelled for not sucking <laughs> i do suck just not okay whatever <laughs> Get this, get it right. <laughs> you can't the fuck that up. Oh, nipple. should we do that? Should we write our own one? Should we write our own one called How to Suck Men's Nipples? And, 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 one sentence and, and it says, just scene. try it out, man. How to how to suck a man's how to suck a man's Use nipples if you're a woman and you don't and you don't want to and you don't want to make a massive faux pas and cause a bit of a rum do by Anton E. Semite. Oh, now. gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure we got that. Come on. All right, the next this, section. Please. Doing it, in quotes. How often? <laughs> doing it, doing it, doing it. Everyone, oh, doing, doing it, it, doing it, doing it. <laughs> let's oh, do it. Sorry. Let's doing fall it. in love. Come on, come on let's do mm -hmm. it. Now. Do it. <laughs> All right. According. Oh, that maybe he's sponsored oh. by Nike. Oh, doing, doing it, just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. I really, really think we must. Oh, why don't we do, do, do it, it in the road? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Um, I don't know. Maybe because, like, you know, there are cars not everybody in the road, has consented you? to witnessing that. Also, what sort of road is it? What Who's time is it? Is this? You know. Yeah. All right. And, uh, Need some we're on the road to nowhere. <laughs> we're on the road to doing it. Also, have you ever tried? Have you ever tried shagging on fucking asphalt? <laughs> it's not comfortable. 
Instead it's of doing it on a hot day, so you get some like weird mirages. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, you want it to get down, so it's like, ah, 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 you know, because you're going to burn your so you, <laughs> you start yeah. to mummify. All right. So, according to surveys by condom company Durex, the worldwide average for making love is 106 times per year. Canadians fit right in with the norm, hitting the sheets at an annual rate of 105 times or about twice a week. That puts us... Oh, they're a Canadian, the writer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Canada man. Manada. Right. <laughs> Behind the French, 141. Americans, 138. Russians, 131. Australians, Brits, and German all at 112. South African. Mm-hmm. Good number. Cold. Good number. I like it. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> good number. 112. It's all times a it's year. Enough. It's enough. It's, it's, enough. it's enough. right. <laughs> Ahead of Mexico, 108. Italy, 92. Spain, 82. 88, uh, Thailand, 80. And Hong Kong, 57. <clears throat> yeah. Everyday love making yeah. occurs about 120 million times Every around the world. Everyday love making. <laughs> Resulting in we are everyday fucking <laughs> everyday love making. Every day, it Hillary Clinton. Say, Hillary Clinton hates so everyday much. American love making. You know, it makes everyday American weird. love making. It's like, everyday. Yeah. Love. It says every day. It should say comma love making. <laughs> every day, every day, I'm love making. Every day, I'm love making. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you got it there. See, my rhythm's out. So. I'm sorry. Uh, occurs about 120 million times around the world, resulting in 910,000 pregnancies. And that's just in my that's just in my street. That's just how many times I have sex in a day. 120 million. I, I, that's that line from is that line from Blackout? It goes, "Well, I only smoke after sex, so I'm at 20 a day, man." <laughs> Oh, and Saturday night is the favorite time for Canadians to have sex. Saturday night is all right. I think it's just that's when people are free. It's not a preference night's of night. All right for Can, you know what Canadians are like? It's not like a Canadian stereotype. They're always fucking on a Saturday. <laughs> you know, it's like it's not that kind of. Most North Americans do it at ten thirty-four p.m. <laughs> that, that's so specific. Who? Oh boy, ten thirty-four p.m. Time and none of this is what sexual fears, unwanted <laughs> pregnancy, and STD women, women, and sex. Yeah, sex and I'm vaginas. afraid of uh, sex. <laughs> yes. a twat, a big giant devouring twat. And then there's this says sexual problems, and there's only two. And it says either <laughs> there's only two types of sexual problems one is sexual dysfunction. <laughs> Which says more than 40% of women and 30% of men suffer from some sort of sexual difficulty, such as no interest in sex, which I thought was just you. I've got 99 like, problems, but this is this, this, this ain't one. Sex ain't one. <laughs> yeah. Inability to achieve orgasm. Okay, I could see that as a dysfunction. Inability. You don't have the ability to. You're, you're, you're lacking it. this. You, you're lacking the yeah. skill. It's, <laughs> it's all in the technique. It's your fault. You're not practicing. You don't, believe. you don't believe in yourself enough. <clears throat> yeah, you just have to believe. Uh, let's see. Painful intercourse or premature ejaculation. And then it's like, it's one <sighs> section. Oh, they're, they're not mutually exclusive, those two ideas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be a terrible, like, twofer. Like, hmm. you, it's premature and it hurts. That would suck. No, it, it hurts in the day to hurt your pride. It hurts your That's feelings. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Premature ejaculation, about 25% of men come before they want to. Well, I can I also, actually, no, can I just say, there is no, that? I think we need to establish the misnomer of this because there is no such thing as a premature ejaculation. I have always been glad that I came. It's the other person who finds it inconvenient. <laughs> and so I think there needs to be, but it needs to be put on my, it's my fault. I'm the one with the problem, you know. Uh... For men under 40, premature ejaculation is the most common sexual problem. Under 40? 
40. Jesus Christ. I think it's like 40 years old if you're still premature. Bloody It doesn't hell. say anything about men over 40, which is even weirder. Well, that's good. No, listen, men under over 40, if we come at all, we're mm-hmm. just like, when, yeah, when, when you're over 40, really every man, marketing. every man, Every man, when you're 30, from the age of thirty-five onwards, at some point you're going to have this for the first time. You're going to be mass. You're going to be wanking, and then you're suddenly going to get like a few minutes in and go, "Oh fuck this! I can't be bothered," and then just give up. <laughs> you're not even. Gonna, you're just going to walk away because you can't be bothered. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. The good news is that by strengthening your genital muscles with Kegel exercises and practicing going up what, to a climax, what, wasn't he, you master what, he's the, when it, Kegel, wasn't he the black kid from Good Burger? <laughs> Kegel? Kegel and Cal? Ke- yes. <laughs> welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good welcome, Burger. Can welcome I, to my welcome to my dick, would you please? <laughs> can I take your Kegels? Can I take your Kegel, yeah. That's a bad word. This is such a run on sentence, too. And it's the last sentence, it looks like, of the whole article. And it's all right. I feel like I have to do this slowly. The good news. That's what she said. The good news is that by strengthening their genital muscles with Kegel exercises and by practicing building up to a climax through masturbation (laughs) and then stopping to rest and building up again and stopping to rest and building up again and so on, dot, dot, dot. (laughs) Most men can learn to last much longer, exclamation point, semicolon. Oh, fuck you. Disappointment's much more preferable after the third get there, go back, get there, go. I mean, I'm sorry. Can I say I love the term building yourself up as if this is you achieving it, as if you're running up a flight you of steps like, like an Rocky. exercise montage. As if you're Rocky running through Philadelphia exactly. up the fucking stairs, you know. Or building it up. Start I'm not building up. Like, song I, don't, like, I, I don't build up to a climax. You don't build you don't build up to a climax. You just you're wanking, then bang, you've come. There are two stages of it. There's no build up. It's impossible to build up. I wanna count how many ands because that was a, that was too many ands. Okay, do count the ands, because like, you know, that that, that One, that's a deal breaker for me. Two, 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 two three four. Four, five, six, six ands. Six ands. They got six ands in that last sentence. And, and they also and ended and with and an exclamation point and a semicolon and then nothing else. Yeah, and he, th- and he, he thinks he's an expert on how to get people aroused and he's oh, using yeah. six ands and an exclamation mark. And it's, I bet he's got a sp- That's oh, his I signature. Got, it must be. I bet he's got a split. I bet he uses split infinitives as well, cunt. And, um, I just, I can't, the juxtaposition of the statistics and the, like, <laughs> trying to make it yeah. like a sexual poem, yeah. yes. that was a little much for me. <laughs> this is the kind of cunt, this is the kind of cunt who uses the word, the letter U, when he means you, even if it's in, in like a slang post, you know. But he'll spell OK, OK, A-Y. He'll put extra letters on that, you know. <laughs> it is funny when people have a... I mean, you know, they'll do one and not the other. I mean, this is what's disgusted me at the end. This is where we've got to. This is what I'm disgusted by: is his use of the word "and" mm. six times in a sentence, where it makes up ultimately forty percent of the of the word. It's just a word count booster, and we right. don't care about the word count because this geezer, this word, the word count of this fucking document was not going to be the mm. thing that fucking swung it for someone. There well, weren't like, going to be some woman no teacher grading this. There is no woman sat no, there do ready to put an SAT words. Yeah. There is no woman sat there ready to put her knickers in her handbag, just making sure there's no padding on this. So it's like, you know. Oh, well, man, I well, feel like yeah, I've learned well, a lot about sex. Well, you know, <laughs> yes. I mean, but not good sex uh, or sex that we're going to have or sex that people have had. It's not even sex that they've had. Okay, folks, well, we're going to call it a day then. So from myself, Dick Man, and from They Hulk, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. It's been a long one, I know, but you can't say you haven't got your money's worth because you've paid fuck all. Uh, if, you, if you've got anything to add, if, you'd like, if you've got an idea for a subject you'd like us to cover in a, in a future episode, please post it below. Other than that, thank you very much. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and to uh, Danny They Hulk's channel. And uh, from both of us, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.